Good morning. Happy Easter, everybody. We can say that now, can't we? We can definitely say that. It's, it's, it's Good Friday, exactly. Um, who's tucked into chocolate already? Have you, yeah, I don't blame you. Why not? Why not? I will be a little bit later on. It's a little bit early at five o'clock in the morning for me to delve into Easter eggs. Um, but I am judging if you are. It's Easter, you're allowed. We have the most spectacular Good Friday show planned for you. In fact, you've got the most spectacular Easter lineup this whole weekend. It starts right here, right now. And I'm going to give you a little bit of a, um, a, a little bit of a, well, start telling you everything that's planned. Every single customer that shops with us today, tomorrow, and the next day will receive a free gift from us, an Easter gift from us. So how amazing is that? And it's not one per weekend. It is literally one per customer per day. What else do we have? Um, social media team, I've done an amazing giveaway for you all. You have to enter on, on the, on the uh, online. You can't do it here in the studio. Um, so on our Facebook page, um, and you have to like the post. You guess how many how many beads and gemstones are actually included in this box? Um, obviously, the person that guesses it right will receive this, uh, this beautiful stash of amazing treasures. Um, it's on the Facebook page. Find the video, which was, is with lovely Carol. Um, you've got to like the post, share the post and comment with your guests, okay? Tag a friend uh, to encourage more people to get involved. That's on until 6 p.m. this evening, and then we'll announce the winner tomorrow morning. First thing, um, 24 hours exactly from now. So there we go, get liking, get sharing, get guessing. And you will win this, well, one of you, I should say, will win this box. You've got Master Carved Jade in here. You've got one of your beautiful maypearls in here. There's more. Oh, yeah, pearls at the bottom there as well. Let's turn it around. Let me give you a little bit of a teaser. This is all happening on our social media team. Look at the... Oh, my goodness. And by the way, credit to the amazing uh, jewelry, member, uh, jewelry, jewelry maker crew, sorry, um, that has physically counted all of those. Um, was it Georgia and Alice? There we go. That actually sat and counted all of those. There we go. One of you is going to receive those and we'll announce it tomorrow. But every single customer that shops with us today will receive a free gift as well. Now, what is planned? Your eight o'clock hour is bringing you, to my recollection, and forgive me if I am wrong, the first three millimeter faceted round strand of type A Burmese jade. Um, I mean, I'm visualising, Monica, your looms. I'm visualising your oh. seed beads, yeah. stretchy bracelets. Yeah, bead embroidery. You can use these. <coughs> I can't believe I'm going to say this, but you can use these as space beads. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jade, yeah. type A, yeah. jadeite spacer beads. Yeah. Madness, absolute madness. Now, you can shop ahead. We've got a 100 of those, and I think there is every possibility that they will sell out as well. Uh, shop ahead. We've also got these beautiful lariat chains coming up within this hour. Again, um, think ahead for your deal of the day, which I'll tell you in a few moments' time. It's basically one size fits all. You've got that sort of interchangeable length, very, very elegant, very, very Tiffany's & Co, actually. Um, so you can shop ahead. They're coming up at 15 minutes past. At 9 o'clock today, Today, we have Monica's introduction to Sea Beading the Vine booklet, which sold out the first time it was brought to air in less than 10 minutes. Um, so we're relaunching it. We're relaunching the kits. Um, that's coming up at 9 o'clock. So if you were one of those people that missed out, then make sure you're with us at 9. At 10 o'clock, then, it's all about beautiful amber um, because we have faceted amber. Do you know how, how, how... Think about it. How often do we see faceted amber? very 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 rarely and that's because it is so incredibly challenging to cut it physically burns the gemstone usually um they're five millimeters and they're coming up today at 10 brand new there's a hundred of those on the back of that beautiful strand some amazing amazing pieces let me just grab my tweezers a second because i want you to see how amazing this little chap is now most of us would agree the most one of the most popular species on the planet is the elephant? I think so. 
Um, we have your amber sterling silver pendant coming up at 10 o'clock. Again, there is a hundred of these um, available and they are going to absolutely fly. So make sure you're with me for that one. What else do we have? Let me show you this one here. We've got the point, which I don't recall ever doing amber in your points. <coughs> it's lovely though, isn't it? Really beautiful. I'm visualizing this on a... Um, Um, I'm visualizing this on a nice long line chain. Um, you can see as well the quality of the amber because it is absolutely full of inclusions, which is obviously what we want. Still haven't done with the amber because I have um, a beautiful little mouse. Look at this little chap. He's so sweet. So, so sweet. Did you just squeak then, Paul? <laughs> I can't hear you very well. Mises, Mises. Can you imagine this with like a, a nice yellow gemstone? Oh, yeah. <laughs> really lovely, really beautiful. The little mouse, like it's chasing some cheese. Yes, absolutely. I, 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 that's my inspiration for you. That's why you have the guest designers for inspiration rather than me. Um, that's coming up at 10 o'clock today. Um, at 11 o'clock, we have the amazing Toby Cavill. Oh, my my uh, fellow Tucson adventurer, um, who is going to be bringing you a very limited opportunity. This is Panchia Emerald. Um, Panchia Emerald, and I said this before, it absolutely blew Colombian Emerald out the water when I was over in Tucson. Um, it, it, uh, that totally, Ross. Ross has just said it's unbelievable, isn't it? It's the first time he's seen it. Um, he said he's seen, he's seen him at Colombian emeralds in his time and emeralds in his time, but nothing quite... I agree, totally agree. It's, it's, I, I genuinely, over in Tucson, you had your Panchia emerald, say, here, and then literally situated alongside it would be your Colombian emerald. Which one stood out the most? It was your Panchia by an absolute country mile. So these are coming up with Toby um, at 11 o'clock. There's only six lines of the Panchia Emerald, so very, very, very limited opportunity. Am I missing anything? Because like I said, it's 12 o'clock, of course. 12 o'clock, your masterclass. She, Monica, seriously, you are like a miracle. How, <laughs> how, how you make these, I do not know. Well, you will know because Monica's gonna teach you in your, in your masterclass, the seed bead purse. Yeah, it's a, it's a different one this time because obviously I've done a few purses, uh -huh. so this one is a bit different. I've seen them; they're absolutely amazing with a zip as well. And yeah, oh, they're absolutely incredible. Literally a work of art coming up at midday today. Um, we do love a very interactive show, so come and text in. Remember, it is viewers' choice within this hour. Everything's locked and loaded, so if you want to guarantee your jade eye, you want to make sure you secure your lariats, then do that. Some of these items will be going lower. Because it's so jam-packed today, I'm going to start with the Wall of Fame, uh, showing off your beautiful creations. Um, so, Hazel, you're starting us off today. Your Wall of Fame is up next. <laughs> Starting us off this morning is Hazel. Good morning to you, my lovely. You're number 332. You've been busy. Uh, here is a picture of my first attempt at using Milliput. Gemma Crow has given me the confidence to use this medium. Not perfect, but quite pleased. Good luck to all this week. Uh, they look perfect to me. Absolutely. They're absolutely beautiful. Good luck to you, Hazel. Number 333 is lovely Nikki. Oh, oh my goodness. There's another seed bead artist, yeah. if ever I saw one. Um, hi, happy Easter. This is my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a jar made with 10 Odelicas, 11 Odelicas, and 3 and 4 millimeter fire polish and bicones. Um, it has a removable top. I love making these. Good luck to my fellow waffers. Love from Nikki Mellish. Nikki, you are amazing. You really are. Uh, 334 is from Kay. Wow. Wow, wow. And how apt for today. Yes. How perfectly apt. Kay, these are beautiful. Hello, everybody. My entry to the Wall of Fame this week are more Easter eggs inspired by Monica. Her DVDs are easy to follow and clear. <laughs> I think I'm hooked on these. My friends uh, call the, them Fabake eggs. I love it. 
I love it, love it. Twist on the Fabergé and your name there, I see, Kay. Uh, thank you for the inspiration. Keep up the good work by all. That's from Kay in beautiful Hertfordshire. Only three entries this week, so make sure you do send them in. Oh, sorry, today, rather. Uh, make sure you do send them into the Wall of Fame because you stand a very, very real chance of winning some jewellery-making money. That's announced on um, the Wednesday morning show. Right. Like I said, viewer's choice, you have until the top of the hour to make your confirmations. Um, some of the items will be going even lower. And I'm going to start showing you how amazing today's show with Songia Sapphire. Now, this is a depleted location of source. We talk about your, uh, uh, your Burmese ruby on the, you know, 10 years left of mining. Um, we talk about tanzanite, for example, being between 10 and 15 years of mining. This happened. This, this is already gone, done and dusted, um, actually about a decade ago, over a decade ago. One of the, the wonderful traits of Songia Sapphire is brilliance. They have amazing brilliance and also offerings of some of the finest, finest colors. I don't know about you, but I'm looking at this strand seeing definite paparazzi-esque, beautiful oranges and pinky tones running through the entirety of the strand. Now, if if it were at £39.99, that is already an incredible, an incredible deal because you've got to remember this is gone. This is gone. It's done and dusted. Whenever a location, especially one with such prestige as Songia, um, it runs out and becomes inaccessible to us all. Human nature is that we want it all the more and the price per carat gets driven upwards. We launched it at £39.99. Far too low, far too low for a parcel of Songia Sapphire. You have paparazzi colours within here as well, don't you think? Can you can see the fusion of oranges and pinks within this strand, <coughs> excuse me, drop down to 19 pounds and 99 pence we've got just under 100 of these i can't quite believe i'm about to say this we're taking a depleted location of source to a clearance price and uh, ross i did hear this right didn't i you said that was the next price suggesting that there's another do you own song gear sapphire i don't i don't own it i'd love to own it um, oh my goodness, this is frankly ridiculous. Um, under £10 for you today. It's gone. The mine is closed. The price per carat has skyrocketed. Yeah, absolutely. Ross says, cut the strand up, literally wrap it up into your white paper. You've got a parcel of a depleted location of fine sapphires. Look at the quality of those colours. Never been anywhere near the price tag that we're about to go to. It is an absolutely ridiculous uh, clearance price. We have 90 available. Almost half the stock has gone already. I don't blame you. You know that, that, you know that 19 was an amazing deal. Um, but I've said it now, verbalised it live on TV. We are taking it under £10 for you all. Good morning, Elizabeth. Good morning to you, Sharon. Hazel, Kay, Iris, Barbara, Valerie, new customers, London. Hello to you, Barbara. Hello to you, uh, uh, Ange. Ange, nice to see you. New customers on the phone lines. Multi-buyers as well. Maybe you need to see it to believe it. Well, it's happening right now. Songia Safa. When I worked on our sister channel, when, you know, finished fin finish pieces of jewellery, Songia Sapphire was more often than not actually always in, 18, uh, always in gold, or say 9 carat or 18 carat gold. We did a couple of pieces in sterling silver, but they were not single figure prices. Definitely not, and, I, and they weren't 12 carats furthermore. 9.99 for you all today. Please, I encourage you to do your price comparisons, uh, but make sure it has that same incredible quality of colour. Hello to you, Alison in London. Boo-hoo, got COVID, so can't spend Easter with friends. Woohoo! Instead, I can wallow in JM wonderful products, teams and designers. <laughs> uh, every cloud and all of that, Alison. I hope you feel okay, my darling. I know a few people who have got COVID at the moment. So, um, yeah, get well soon, lovely. Get well soon. And you can always do your Easter celebrations at a later date, can't you? Um, hello to you, Vera. I was one number away this week from winning the Wall of Fame. Everyone send your designs in, no matter what level you are. All lovely to see. Totally agree, Vera. Yes. Absolutely. I read something once. It's like, oh, the tickets aren't real tickets. Well, of course they are. Of course they are. You see, me, you see us literally draw them out live. 
Um, everybody gets entered. Like Vera said, it's not it it, it it's not done on on, on sort of your um, capabilities or anything like that. And even the ones that are shown on air aren't chosen out of merit at all. It's literally by fluke. Hello, Alan. Uh, hi, Alan. Monica, I'm working on your vine necklace at the moment. Looking good. Oh. <laughs> We've got brand new kits, so maybe you want to stock up your stashes for the for the next fine necklaces that you're going to be making, Alan. <coughs> and I've seen your makes; they're absolutely incredible. Nine ninety nine for you today with your song here, Sapphire. Would you? Let's 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 let let let's just drape some more decadence onto the back of my hand, shall we? Uh, hello, hello, hello. Look at those. Aren't they amazing? Not long to wait. I don't recall ever doing faceted three mil rounds at type A jadeite. No, and I can see the sparkle from here. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh, they would go amazingly with your song gear, Sapphire. Make sure um, you check out those baskets, everybody, because that 90 quantity has absolutely flown out the door. Did you just say what I thought you said? Obsidian? It's not just me. I mean, I've seen a few gemstones in my time. I've never seen obsidian like this before. Have you ever seen obsidian with clarity? Be bearing in mind it's a type of volcanic glass. A gemstone, absolutely. But how often have you seen, or have you ever seen, obsidian, which almost has like chocolate diamond clarity? Have I got the right strand? Really? Isn't that amazing? I've got to do it again, Monica. Wow. Oh. oh. I've never... I have, hang on, hang on, hang on. Which is it? Smoky quartz or, or, or obsidian? Let's... I don't want, I don't want to... Let's double check. Let's double check that and then bring it back to you because I've just spotted there's a conflict on our graphics there. Um, let's bring that back to you if, if we can. So um, I'll come back to it. Should we do something on appetite in the meantime whilst we just, uh, you know, what's the, what's the saying? Dot, dot the I's and cross the T's. I always have to think about that one. Um, beautiful neon appetite. Oh, look at this gorgeous colour. Again, I would use this with your type A jadeite for sure. Um... Mm. So, Neon Appetite, you know what I'm about to say, the average carat weight is what? 0.15, yes, minuscule, granular sizes, and yet here we are. Look at this one. I'd pay, I'd pay 9 99 for that one on its own. Look at that clarity, they're huge. Um, totally natural, not even, even an ounce of heat treatment has been implicated. Could have absolutely been a star buy had we had a bigger quantity of them. Um, I've certainly shared with you different sort of uh, uh, articles, if you like, online um, for Neon Appetite, sharing, you know, the, how minuscule the size is. And remember, with Neon Appetite, colour does decipher the price tag. Um, the intensity of those colours, Ross is on my wavelength, he's already bringing that PowerPoint and that paragraph up, it is literally just one paragraph to show you. The value of appetite depends primarily on colour saturation. So specimens with a high colour intensity command the best prices. Size does matter when it comes to appetite since finding larger stones weighing over one carat is extremely rare. Um, every single one of these stones are over one carat. I can say that without hesitation, easily. We're at seven pounds and 99 pence for that beautiful, glowing, energetic, tropical blue, quite unlike any other gemstone. If I were to single one gem out, it would be really your, your Pareba tourmaline, wouldn't it? I think, well, let me just give them a count for kick, shall we? Because we're saying anything over a carat is rare. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 29. <coughs> so 220 carats divided by 29. Seven and a half carats approximately of natural, high intensity of color saturation, neon appetite. We're already too low, significantly low. 
Um, you could treat these as cabochons, Monica, couldn't you? You could, yes. You could, you could bezel them. You could um, use them in bead embroidery because it's nice that they have the one flat side. Mm. Um, so yeah, there's all sorts of things you can do with those. Nice as, as a stretchy even. Yeah, it's a nice around your wrist. Yeah. Or with your amber that's coming up a little bit yes. later on. Um, do you know what we're making out of this? No. Friends. Ah, yes. <laughs> Purely friends, and that's the most important thing. Not, no, not, not, not a penny oh. of, of profit as a, as a company. We have to do that, obviously, to broadcast. Um, but this is all about friends, so well done. <coughs> Dahlia, Ruby, Maureen, Susan, Neil and Linda. Good morning to you all, people multi-buying. Hello, Kay, nice to see you. Hello to you, uh, Di in Florida. Hello to you, Gabrielle and Lorraine, nice to see you as well. If you want the quantities that I can see so many of you are allocated to your baskets, um, I, I, have we got quantity of these then, Ross? Started with 49, don't have anywhere near that, that now. Hello, Siobhan, nice to see you up in Manchester as well. Elizabeth in Midlothian, our call centre are on it today. It's a very, very, very exciting Good Friday show for you all today. And don't forget, with every purchase that you make, you'll get a free gift. Not every purchase, every customer, sorry. Let me read. One, uh, one gift per customer. That's nice, isn't it? Per day, so that if you shop with us again tomorrow, you get another gift. I love that. I love that little Easter gift from us all. Um, um, and don't forget to enter the competition on our social, uh, social uh, Facebook page, rather. Uh, you've, all, you've all done it. Well done, Siobhan. Hello to your new customer, Ria. Hello to you. Uh, London, nice to see you. I only had 49, significantly lower than we should be. We are not making a single bean of profit on this. Uh, what we're getting out of it is hopefully your friendship, of course, um, and happy customers, which is what's most important. Big carrot weights, big carrot weights when it is normally a gemstone that forms in granular sizes. I'll leave that with you. Remember, you've got till the top of the hour to make your confirmations. Um, okay, moving on to, ah, oh, the most gorgeous strand of fluorite. Look at this. Seriously, fluorite normally, would you agree, normally has like a, almost a haziness to it. It's, it, 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 most of us would expect there to be some kind of inclusions. Do you want to see fluorite without any inclusions? Oh, this would go amazing with the jade eye. And by the way, they are already being pre-ordered. So they are going lower than what's on the website. It is, uh, so yeah, first time ever bringing you three millimeter fasted rounds, type A grade. Yeah, they are getting snapped up on the website. So if you've got your heart set on owning those, I would definitely suggest you uh, shopping ahead on those. Um, we'll keep an eye on the quantity though, of course. But back to this fluorite. Seriously, look at the clarity. I can talk about so many things here. I can talk about those beautiful spearmint greens. I can look at the lab, talk about the lavenders, um, uh, wisteria kind of lavender tones. I can talk about the beautiful bands that you get within this gemstone, um, often actually referred to as the colour most colourful mineral on the planet. But for me, it's the clarity. We don't often see fluorite with almost that pristine grade of clarity. So much so, are you seeing the reflection, the actual reflection of the rounds at the back of the screen in the front? Does that make sense? That It's that beautiful. Every single one of us as JM Crew kind of gasped when we saw the quality. Can you see it at the bottom of the beads, at, at the bottom beads, can you see the reflection of the strand behind? That's the, that's the level of clarity that you're actually getting here. 17.99 is amazing for 160 carats of beautiful blue, greens, purples. Um, France do some lovely fluorite. Yeah, France, I've noticed some of the parcels recently. Uh, French fluorite, yeah, really beautiful quality. So uh, Ross has just worked like, from France. Mm. 9.99. What would you do with these? Are you gonna knock them? Are you going to celebrate their clarity and maybe actually single them out individually? Um, are you going to use them with some wonderful inspiration from our lovely Monica? Yes, I would use them in earrings because then you'll have the light shining oh, when you're wearing them. Yeah. Beautiful. Or you can make them into charms. There's no reason you can't make a simple round bead into a charm for a bracelet. You know, just put it on a head pin. You can put a spiral underneath. Lovely. Or just on a fancy head pin that's got like a nice little decorative. head or something like that. Yeah. Something a bit decorative. Would you use them with the amber that you've got coming up as your deal of the day? I think this would look quite nice with the little, the little mouse. The little yeah. mouse <laughs> or the elephant or maybe your pendant. 
Um, I think they would look quite lovely. Here we go. I can pop them to the back of your hand so you can actually see. I've got to pick up the Ephalump. He is the beautiful... I love elephants. Absolutely love elephants. My, uh, my favourite species. That could be our texting topic. What's your favourite species? I've got a few, actually. Elephants is up there. Sloths. I love a sloth. Um, uh, you like a raccoon? Yeah, yeah, I like raccoons. They're a bit mischievous, aren't they? Um, uh, apparently, really? You can't... Apparently, it's illegal to pet raccoons. What's your favourite species? Dogs have to be in there. I love dogs. Um, and I've gone blank. What's the ones which are actually endangered? They've got like the... They look a little bit like uh, armadillos, but they're not armadillos. Ah, oh, what are they called? Oh. Per, 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 per. Ross, I feel like you would know this, this bit of information. They look like armadillos, but they're not armadillos. That's Thank it. Pangolins uh, yeah, yeah. as well. They're so cute. <laughs> so, so cute. So text in, what's your favourite species? But elephants are going to be up there, haven't they? Um, and we're going to be sharing some lovely little elephant facts as well during that, uh, during that auction opportunity. Um, <coughs> something to go alongside your jadeite, I think, would look lovely, um, is bronzite. Bronzite and type A jadeite together? Oh, yeah, that'd be like a, a delicious chocolate lime. Here we go. What do you think about that, Monica? Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> totally, totally natural bronzite. You get a level of chatoyancy within this gemstone. Um, how I always describe it in the same way uh, is like a deep, beautiful mahogany. You know, sometimes when you see the uh, sort of wonderful antique furniture and they've got that wonderful yeah. luster across the yeah. surface. Imagine that now in a gemstone and you'll, 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 you'll conjure up uh, an image of something like this. Um, we very seldom see it, rarely ever, ever, ever see bronzite, which is a real shame because it has this, this wonderful, uh, yeah, almost like melted chocolate, beautiful, beautiful luster across the surface, tiny flecks of like metallic appearances within the gemstone. So it has a level of chatoyancy. Uh, and uh, yeah, a little bit hematite-esque as well, uh, under £10. Hello, Alison. I love bronzite. Yeah. Uh, one that's better once home than across the screen. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what? That is always a bit of a challenge for us here, at, uh, Alison. You know, sometimes certain gemstones, opal prime example as well, doesn't come across well um, on your TV screens. Yeah, bro you're right. Bronzite is another one. Get it home. You've got this really beautiful chatoyancy. It's kind of got an element of metallic luster across the surface. Um, and again, totally and utterly natural. Thanks for texting. It's lovely to hear from you. I'll leave that one with you um, because I'm about to move on to... Oh, look. Again. Again, look. Look at this. If this doesn't sell out, I'm snapping some of these up to go with the jadeite. What do we think of that? Oh, I love how the colours are graduated in that strand. Yeah. The work's done for you because it's literally a mirror image. Can you see? Yeah. Alongside your faceted type A jade. Oh, they would be beautiful together. It's a long strand, a really long strand. Um, I would agree. Ross has just said, I think some of these are definitely ruby. I would totally agree. What's the difference between ruby and sapphire? They are uh, basically, they're both part of the Crundum family, but... Um, ruby, if you can imagine pouring a glass of squash and basically imagine your chromium is the squash itself, the more chromium that you add, the deeper the colour intensity. It is basically in the eye of the beholder. So, for example, um, one gemologist will look at, a, 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 a ruby and say it's a ruby. One gemologist will say that that's a sapphire. It's all down to the intensity and the content of the chromium within. So I agree with you, Ross. I actually think you've got rubies then blending down into your pink sapphires, even down to, look, you've even got some uh, um, almost lavender-like colours here. Um, you know what? There are 35 carats. It's completely natural, which is astonishingly rare to get in both of those gemstones, ruby or sapphire. 95% um, of the world's ruby and sapphire is actually fissure filled or heat treated or diffused. Nothing wrong with that. You're getting natural quality here. It's a full 38 centimetre strand. Can I just hold up to the neckline? Because, again, I'm thinking about the amber that you've got coming up. But because it is... Literally, all the work's done for you as a designer. Look, it's, it's, it's mirror. It's mirrored. Yeah. So all you would need to do is restrand that. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> oh, nice. But I would put jadeite in there as well. 
There are 30 available. Ross says, do you want to do something that's never been done before on this strand? Yes, Ross, we do. Always up for doing something naughty. <laughs> I bet you are, Monica, as well. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. I bet you've got a naughty side to you. I definitely have. <laughs> Let's do it then, Ross. I know Ross has. Nine pounds and 99 pence only wow. for natural sapphire. In a perfect three mil round, I mean, again, this is this is sea, bead, uh, sea beading opportunities. It is, yes, yeah, beady beads. Beady beads. Yeah, anything like that. Spacer beads, as you said earlier on. Yeah, but also to sort of um, <coughs> create a setting for a cabochon, to put it around a cabochon. Oh, yeah, lovely. Um, because they are that perfect size, you know. This, they are. You, you could literally do things like bead embroidery and stuff like that. And also, you can make tassels with them. Oh, yeah, perfect for tassels. I was going to say about the jadeite as well. If, you have, if you're making a marlin necklace from jade or... Or anything else, really. These uh, three millimetre beads are great for making the tassel. How? Why have I not thought of that? You know, um, Susie made me a really beautiful jade out and pearl necklace, and I know one of our lovely customers actually made it as well on Facebook. It's gorgeous, by the way. Um, yeah, hers are in pearls, but if you wanted to put jade out yeah. at the bottom, I think that would be really lovely, wouldn't it? Yeah, then you could have. Your necklace made entirely out of jadeite. Oh, my goodness <laughs> <You me. know? laughs> Um Straight away, lots of people are like, oh, I like that idea, Monica. You can pre-order on the jadeite. Don't forget your lariat chains. There are only 100, by the way, of those jades, so that's quite a limited opportunity. Yorkshire, hello to you. Lincolnshire, Jane, Gabrielle, Susan, Carol, Barbara. Hello to you, Paula. Hello to you, Kay, Leah, Lynette, Melanie. Hello, Hilda, Ruby. Hello to you, Berkshire. Nice to be with you as well. Don't forget... We're giving free gifts with the, uh, for each customer that shops with us throughout the course of the show as well. How lovely is that? Get a nice little Easter present from us here at Jewelry Maker. But technically, if you shop with us over the course of the uh, Easter event, you could get three. It is, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or is it Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday? Up to Monday, so you could get four. Oh. Could get four, right. Um, but let's hope anyway, because I've just said it. Um, Oh, wow. Now, this is so, so, so Tiffany's & Co. The beauty of a lariat necklace. It is including Monday, thank goodness. Um, we have it in two colours. We have it in the silver and we have it in the gold-plated 925. Coming your way in a star buy. Now, we bring you lots of amazing chain opportunities. We bring you your Curbs, your Figaro's, your Belcher, slider chains as well. Uh, we've even incorporated the Topaz by, uh, by the Yard, very Elsa Peretti inspired. But not often do we get the chance to bring you um, a Lariat design, which I absolutely adore. Now, it comes, if I just turn the bust around for a second, um, with your bolt ring clasp, and of course, and then you have your inch... Uh, um, extension extension chain as well with the, with the feature of a 925 droplet at the bottom there all of this is precious metal so you could wear it at different lengths if you wanted to but such a simple um i keep saying tiffany's because this is it's the kind of piece of jewelry that i can imagine in the tiffany's jewelry house uh, precious 925 sterling silver you have that wonderful level of movement very elegant kind of draws the eye eye down you know to the decolletage itself um it's not it's not formal it's something that you can wear dress up or dress down on every single occasion but i know there will be some that are watching saying i'm a jewelry maker i want to make pieces of jewelry but things like this we're not we can't make really unless you're a fully fledged silversmith of course um so we need to source them elsewhere now there are lots of different avenues that you can actually buy them from of course we know that um how do we actually compete well we bring you the best possible price for the best possible quality um to my knowledge i don't recall doing a lariat necklace for a very 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 long time um, and it is something that you can incorporate into your design so if you want to turn this into maybe a bubble style because the nature of the link of the chain if you actually look this is a, a classic 
um, oval link chain, you could absolutely feed some of your fine sterling silver wire within there, Monica, and you could create maybe a lovely bubble style, for example. Yes. You could use this to uh, suspend pendants and charms from of course yeah you could just sort of uh, add some beads to the to the dangling section as well yeah. at the bottom oh, if you just wanted to do that instead of adding to the whole necklace create like a really beautiful cascade yeah. almost waterfall s yeah. there is a lot of potential but it's a different variation on say let's say your classic curb chain which we bring you and they absolutely fly out the door every single time so this is a more i'm going to say designer-esque look um, to, uh, to, to a beautiful sterling silver chain. It is precious metal. Again, take a little look at big design houses like Roberto Coin, uh, like Tiffany's and Cota, sorry to mention them again, like the likes of Chopard or Bulgari. Bulgari in particular actually do really work with that, uh, that circular motif um, quite a lot within their designs. And you can imagine the astronomical prices that would come along with a Bulgari pri uh, piece of jewellery. $99.99. That would be, certainly if we were in those jewellery houses, fully feasible. Here you go. Look at this one from Tiffany's & Co. <coughs> Excuse me. Comes with a little pearl. Now, if you wanted to, if you wanted to, you could take away that sterling silver bar and you could swap it for a pearl chain, uh, for a pearl drop. Um, or you could create little tiny wrap loops with the uh, guidance of our guest designers and create a wonderful waterfall of pearls on top. But this piece, £530 from Tiffany's & Co. There we go. It is an Elsa Peretti piece. Maybe you wanted to create a natural type A Burmese jade waterfall literally suspended from the bottom. I know Claire McDonald did one with Grand Didgerite once upon a time on a slider necklace. Can you imagine now doing it with type A jade? Oh. How incredible would that be? It, it, they're the perfect size. Literally, this the, the, they are meant to be together, aren't they? If you oh, prefer yeah. your gold, we have the gold as well. This is not your early bird price tag. Little tiny little uh, wrap loops, basically attaching it to your sterling silver. It's a 48 centimetre uh, necklace. And notice how we've called it a necklace as opposed to a chain because you don't need to do anything to it. It's a lovely piece of jewellery as it is. Um, over two grams of precious metal, but having the talents and the creativity that you all do as jewellery makers, if you wanted to embellish it even further, you can absolutely do that. At 19 pounds and 99 pence, we are still no way near done your price tag uh, done on your price tag um how many do i have i'm just looking over my shoulder oh there's a hundred of these available they're not going to hang around what about you know we talk about use it treating that almost as a bezel so for things yes. like your milliput we had milliput on the wall of fame earlier on yes. um or resin resin yeah also what i like about this chain is if you think about the shape of a necklace normally with a chain you get either a round chain yeah or you get, if you hang a little pendant or something, then you get a sort of a V shape. Yep. But you seldom get like the, the Y shape with a chain. Yeah. Very which, elegant. Which I think is elegant and flattering. So it's, Very yeah. flattering. Yeah, very, very flattering. Um, now look at this one from Gucci. Mm. Now, goodness me, that's a lot, isn't it? Uh, is it? Is it gold? Is it silver? That's silver for 1,800 and how much? Goodness me, that's a lot. Even I, I'm absolutely flabbergasted by that price tag. I used to sell Gucci jewellery in, in, the, in the jewellers that I used to work at. Goodness me, that's loads for something that is almost, well, very similar. Very, very similar. Now, in 60 seconds, we're going even lower. Um, I know that you can buy sterling silver, this, this kind of design from lots of different places, uh, lots of different design houses. You can probably go into places like Beaver Brooks and Ernest Jones. You can probably um, go into certainly your, your, sort of your high street shops. Um, but whether you can source this level of quality um, at the price tag that we're about to, that's maybe, uh, maybe the challenge. Um, very Gucci, very, very Gucci. I didn't even see that piece of jewellery, and that shocked me, actually, Ross, that £1,800 for sterling silver. And we're at £19.99 and still going lower. We've got 100 of these available. <coughs> that's a lot, isn't it? What does that little write-up say at the bottom of the... 
Oh, it is gold, I beg your pardon. But what does it say? I can we zoom into that? So the, uh, all I can see. The Gucci Link uh, to Love collection is an exploration of modern romance characterized new symbols of love. Okay, so called Links of Love. Okay, love that. It is gold. There we go. I did think that was a lot of money for sterling silver. It's a lot of money for gold, to be truthful. Are you ready for your jewellery maker saving? 925, precious metal. A beautiful chain. We bring you those on a regular basis, but instead of bringing you the standard, you're 18, you're 20, you're 22, you're 26 inch, we bring you a lariat. And as Monica said, creates that really lovely, very elegant, if I hold up to the neckline, um, very elegant Y shape. Um, so you don't need to do anything with this, Monica, do you? I mean, look how beautiful no, that it's is. It's really nice to wear just like that, yeah. That's lovely, isn't it? Really beautiful. I don't think I would do anything to it. Have a little look on Etsy. Oh. Um, she looks lovely, doesn't she? Looks lovely. Nice dress. Um, lovely necklace. £46.93. Um, isn't that beautiful? Oh, well done. £12.99. And that's on Etsy. Um, on Etsy, this... Uh, £12.99 for us all. Here's another one. Oh, I love how the models are all going for the plunging necklines. Very daring, isn't it? Uh, yeah, Ross, the, I'm noticing a theme with the pieces, uh, the photographs that you're actually bringing to air. No comment, he says. They look lovely. You could basically buy three of these sterling silver lariat chains for the price of that one that we've just shown you right now. Um, what perfect, beautiful gifts. Again, of course, use your... I can hear him chuckling. What? What? No, no, you. that wasn't what you were going to show them, was it? No, show the one you were going to show. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. She's decent. She's decent. She's decent. She looks lovely. Looks very, very nice with her minimalist necklace. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. All of these girls look absolutely beautiful. Um, of course... Uh, £46 around there or thereabouts is the closest that we can find elsewhere. Um, in terms of a price comparison, £12. <coughs> Excuse me, and 99 pence for you all today. Hello, Joanne, Jean, Sharon. Hello to you, Helen. Hello to you, Ayrshire, Kate, Dan, Elizabeth, Gabrielle, Linda, uh, Essex. You're there, Patricia, Brenda, Anglesey, uh, Anglesey, Angela. Hello to you, Glynis in Swansea. Anna, you're there as well. We have got the gold coming up, um, so keep on dialing through. I'm a gold person. I, I love gold. I think most of us will actually, you know, lean towards one or the other, won't we? However, I know more people love sterling silver than gold. Each their own. We have less of the gold for that very reason. Oh, hang on a minute. It's twisted over. One sec. One sec. There we go. I've got to show this to you. Oh, I like that, actually. It's going through. You can actually... Somebody did it on purpose, okay. So you can wear it like this, or look, you can wear it like this. Well, that's how the lariat is, isn't it? It's, it's almost like a scarf, the lariat. Yeah. Um, if you think actually to things like, and this is probably not the most beautiful description, but if you think to your cowboys, they wear lariats, don't they? Yep. Um, with their sort of leather, uh, leather toggles. I love that. That's so beautiful. Seriously, th this looks like an expensive piece of jewellery, doesn't it? This looks more like the Gucci price tag um, that I saw a few moments ago. Have a look at designers like Bulgari. Again, they quite often work with that circular motif. Um, simplistic in the precious metal, you know, it's not, it's not all about your gemstone embellishments. I mean, don't get me wrong, we all love gemstones here at Jewelry Maker, but even in its most simple, elegant form, um, it's, a, it's a thing of beauty. Of course, as we said earlier on with the sterling silver lariat, if you wanted to embellish this even more, um, particularly with the type A jadeite that we've got coming up within this hour, where has time gone? This It's flown by. You've got, what, 15 minutes left on this hour. There's less than 50 of these available. I'll show it up to the neckline again. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, you can actually wear it at different lengths. Would you wear this with the amber as well? Let's not forget about your deal of the day. Um, oh, I love it. If there's any of these left, I'm going to get one of these. How beautiful that is. 
Look how beautiful. Look how it lays against the neckline. And again, you can wear it at different lengths. 18 inches, which is sort of closer to the nape of the neckline, or much lower if you wanted to, if you wanted to go for the little racy look like those models that we just showed you. This is not your price tag. Um, obviously, uh, jewellery maker saving coming your way. If you are a gold plated sterling silver wearer, then you need to be dialing through nice and early. Um, it doesn't have to be. Um, it doesn't have to be embellished. This is a beautiful chain that you can wear on its own. But there are opportunities and potentials for you to, of course, add your unique twist, your wonderful designs. Now, given the fact that this is gold plated sterling silver, normally most design houses will charge. Um, a premium for that, the fact that you've got precious metal on top of precious metal. We are more limited. Ross is going to give you 60 seconds. And then we're going to match the price of the silver. It, it, it's more exclusive. It's gold on precious metal. Um, yeah, a lot of designers will literally charge like 10, 20, sometimes more. Um, for the gold plated variety, you have to look at Alex Monroe, for example. Alex Monroe is a designer, a design house that I actually admire hugely. Um, if you want the gold plated version, you pay, you know, quite, you know, quite a big chunk more uh, than the uh, sterling silver version. We've said it now, though. In 28 seconds, we are going to match that price tag, but more limited. If there's any of these available come the end of this hour, I'm going to be pouncing on it too, because this is a little bit of me. Really beautiful, beautiful uh, piece of jewellery that you can just literally wear on every single occasion, Monica. And what about flipping it round? Well, that's what I was going to say. If you, if you took the extension chain off and put, let's say, 15 centimetres <coughs> of pearls in there, yeah. and then wore it the other way around so that the pearls are sitting right up on your neck oh, and have lovely. the pendant hanging down the back, especially for brides, you know, where you see the back oh, a lot. Oh, that would be gorgeous, wouldn't it? Yeah, you could literally wear it <coughs> literally going down. I think the aircon makes me cough, you know. Going down the back. Yes. Uh, that would be so beautiful. Very Nicole Kidman. 12 bands of 99 pence. Joanna, Nita, Fiona, hello to you. Suzanne, Ayrshire, Jackie, London, Maria, Carmel, Jenny, Sharon, uh, Lynn, new customer, Denise, Susan, Angela and Surrey, Essex, nice to be with you. Um, maybe you would layer them on top of one another. You can get the silver and the gold for less than £26. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? And, by the way, that qualifies you for a free gift. It's, it's £3.95 delivery, yeah. Less than £30 for the two, and you get a free gift uh, from us here at Jewellery Maker, uh, just to say, Happy Easter! Happy Easter, everybody! But these are more limited. Right now, the graphics on your screens for the gold-plated sterling silver. Um, we've just brought you the silver. They are both only available until the top of the hour, because remember, this is viewer's choice. I'm really visualising. Isn't it funny? I look at the sterling silver lariat, and I'm thinking about the deal of the day, maybe the elephant or the mouse or that lovely pendulum. And then I'm looking at the gold, thinking your amber beads or your jade eye. Oh, what about mixing the two together? Jade eye and amber. Yes, yes. Both faceted. But you could, as you were saying earlier, you could take the little silver bar off the bottom and you could hang one of the pendants, like the elephant pendant on. Love the that. Hello, Tanya. These would make a uh, would look amazing for wedding jewellery. Absolutely, absolutely. Because you know there are some brides that wear some really lovely sort of well, they call it sweetheart, don't they? The sweetheart neckline. So it's really going to accentuate. Um, uh, the design of the dress, which really, let's be honest, is the star of the show. Um, you can still get hold of the silver. We had a larger quantity of those, but you only have 12 minutes to make those confirmations, remember. Um, the jadeite is coming up in about two auctions time. So actually, I'm going to hold them alongside each. So maybe you wanted to create like a really lovely jadeite tassel. Um, I think from the bottom, I think that would be lovely. But likewise, alongside the silver, yeah, it works on both, doesn't it? It's all down to personal preference. Um, and can I just throw this one in there? Mm. Would you mix them? Yes. Jade and amber together. Oh, that would be beautiful. Coming up at 10 o'clock is your deal of the day. Faceted amber. Um, not too long, two auctions for you to wait for your uh, type A jade. Let's bring you, I love this. I absolutely love this. I've got one in my staff order. Um, it is, wow, Millennium Jade. Um, totally natural. 
look at the quality of colour. Millennium Jade um, is a title, a title effectively of um, amazing source um, of nephrite. Nephrite is technically older than jadeite. Um, they're not the same gemstone, comes under the jade umbrella. Um, very, very, very thought of and considered, obviously, uh, uh, internationally. But 90% of the world's um, millennium jade will actually go straight immediately over to China. That's because, obviously, this is the, well, this is ultimately jade is the most valuable commodity um, within their um, history, of course, uh, history and towards this current day. You've got a very Van Cleef and Arpels uh, shape there. Again, look at the, the, the sort of the four leaf clover designs that you see on Van Cleef and Arpels, and you can pay tens of thousands of pounds. Um, now, this is it's a cabochon, it's not drilled, so um, this is something that maybe you'd use with your bezel strips or your gallery wire or your seed beading, of course. We have only 20 of these left. They were launched not that long ago um, on St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, yeah, literally launched on St. Patrick's Day. Um, a beautiful, beautiful, oh, you might look at it like a flower. For me, it's all about the fact that this is Millennium Jade. Um, you have got a Tudor Rose-esque uh, sort of uh, shape to it as well. Seven pounds and 99 pence. Um, again, I've shown you in the past, actually, sort of the... Um, British Columbia is the source, is the location source of this beautiful uh, natural gemstone. 90% of it will go to uh, the Chinese market. The remaining 10% of this gemstone will actually go to places like Tiffany's, Van Cleef, and there's one other, I can't remember the other name, uh, Jewelry Design House, but they are the big, the big jewelry brands. Um, but here we go, this is the Van Cleef and Arpels. This is actually a malachite, but I don't know if they actually do it, um, if, if Van Cleef actually used jade within their design. Certainly Elsa Peretti actually incorporates um, this, uh, this very same gemstone um, in the Tiffany's & Co. 7 99 though, look at the quality of colour, it's completely and utterly natural. The final few, hello to you Carol, hello to you Alan, hello to you Melanie, multi-buyers on this. Would you use it at all? Oh, yes, Ross, yes. Oh, definitely. Imagine those two together. Oh, that's the most perfect kit, don't you think? Oh, yes. <laughs> Imagine that with some sterling silver wire. Yes. And a few seed beads in there. And a few seed beads, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Seven ninety nine. dollars um, It's coming up in one auction's time. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Now, what's better than one gemstone? Two, yes, definitely. Or maybe even a parcel. Oh. Um. <clears throat> So many of you have this in your baskets and there's only two remaining. Look, oh. Oh my goodness. It is all about play of color when it comes to opal. The more play of color, the more valuable the opal is. This is a gemstone that doesn't have um, a crystal structure as such. It's actually made up out of <coughs> ancient, ancient uh, water, basically. Uh, that has over millions upon millions of years created this beautiful gemstone. Um, depending on the actual formation of those microscopic silica spheres inside, that will equate to what color you see and also the abundance of color. You have the most amazing examples. Now, just to put this simply, um, it sold out. Well done. $24.99. I'm not surprised. Um, if, a, if an opal actually has... Over 80% play of colour, it's regarded as exceptional, and that entire parcel has. Now, this early bird is going to go, frankly, nuts. There were a hundred. To my knowledge, and I, I apologise if I'm wrong, but to my knowledge, this is the first faceted 3 mil type A Burmese jade outstrand that we've ever brought to air. And they are so beautiful. It's up next. <music> Now, I know of our regular viewers, um, you know a thing or two about Taipei Jadeite, and hopefully you, you know the fact that that window of opportunity, whilst, yes, it's, it's here, and uh, it, it, it's available to us all, make no doubt about it. Don't be, don't be you know, uh, sort of confused by the fact that it's available to you right now. 
this is one of the world's rarest gemstones, one of the world's most valuable gemstones. And the only reason Jewelry Maker and ultimately Gemporia has it is because we were in the right place at the right time and we also bought a massive, massive quantity of it. Now, things have changed. That was a few years ago. Things have changed. Um, as the, the pandemic subsides, fingers crossed, um, over in the east, of course, the gem markets are opening up again. And this is the most valuable commodity that they, they have. It's not about gold. Uh, that ancient Chinese proverb, remember? Uh, gold has a price. Jadeite is priceless. Um, now, it comes in a variety of different colors, but still to this day, the most commercially sought after color is this beautiful blossom apple green. I could genuinely count on, on my digits the amount of times I've brought you faceted jadeite rounds of any size. But to my memory, this is the only three millimeter type A Burmese jadeite faceted round strand that I've actually ever brought to air. Now, this is old jade, and I need to mention that because obviously with the uh, situation over in Burma at the moment, we are not sourcing gemstones um, in the current state, uh, you know, uh, the current situation. This is jadeite that was bought prior um, to uh, that occurrence. So you can buy this with absolute peace of mind knowing that it is ethically sourced. Now, I'm holding both strands. You are getting put shopping for one, of course, um, but I'm actually holding both strands to show you the level of quality that you're actually getting. There are different types of jadeite that, uh, jadeite that exists out there. You can have type A, type B, type C. Type A is the best. It gets no better. Um, and what that basically means is it's completely and utterly natural. It's not bleached and dyed. It's not polymer infused. Um, it is all mother nature, all mother nature. Now, and I can, uh, as soon as I saw this, it got me kind of thinking, well, why don't we have faceted rounds very often? We see it in sapphires, we see it in rubies, we see it in emeralds, we see it in loads of other gemstones. Why don't we see type A Burmese jadeite in faceted rounds that often? It's quite a simple answer, actually. They don't want to cut the carrot weight away. When you're looking at one of the world's rarest gemstones and one of the most valuable commodities that exists, it is about retaining that carrot weight. So opportunities like this seldom ever, ever are seen. There are a hundred or were. A quarter of the stock is gone and we are nowhere near your price tag. Think Mark's amazing kiss cross. Think, think Alison's looming. Think Monica's beautiful, beautiful vines. You could include these in your vines, Monica, in yes. the next hour. Yes. Oh, yeah. think about your bubble styles. Think about simple, stretchy bracelets. I mean, uh, you said spaces earlier on as if to say, oh, no, as if it was almost a naughty word. Can you imagine, though, Monica? Or the, um, you know, Cara did the, the earrings with, where she had one large pearl or one large bee and then she had the little cluster. sort of like cluster on top, yeah. That would be amazing. Yes. Do you know what I thought of last night when I was prepping for the show? And I'm a very basic jewellery maker, I am, I know this. But that using the jadeite as the necklace and then to go alongside your, uh, your amber elephant. Um, now, elephant, it could also be the point or it could also be the, uh, could be the mouse as well. I'd have the mouse actually probably halfway up the neckline, I think, as if he's crawling over your shoulder. Um, now not stopping here the phone lines have gone absolutely crazy for this opportunity i don't recall ever seeing faceted three millimeter rounds um, and i don't think you're fully expecting just how amazing this deal is remember as jake said to you your gem investor the other day that window of opportunity yes it's open right now but it is closing and it is closing very 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 quickly even if we were to stop at 29 pounds and 99 pence that would be incredible. There are people multi-buying on this opportunity. I don't blame you. I'm joining you as well. I've shown you before that lovely rose quartz cuff bracelet. Um, it was on a PowerPoint that I had ages. Rose quartz, yeah. It was on a PowerPoint that I had absolutely ages ago. I think Kit Team then ran with it and made a kit to, uh, sort of geared and inspired around it too. Can you imagine making a type A Burmese jadeite bracelet? I think it's, uh, is it ladder weave? I think it's like a ladder weave yeah. cuff. It's absolutely stunning. And, and I think you'd probably need to buy 
I don't know, four or five, do you think? Yeah, uh, yeah. I'll show you the piece. So, no, scroll down. A bit more. There. Oh, yes. This one. Oh. Imagine making that with Taipei Burmese Jadeite. <clears throat> well, I think we are going to make that possible. Well, as possible as physically we can. This is natural, genuine, Taipei Burmese jade. And we're at 19 pounds. And 99 pence, that's a pound per carat, and we're going even lower. I don't think there's going to be many of these available for much longer. Susan, Gabrielle, Carol, Lynn, Joan, Patricia, Janet, Jenny, Susie, Wendy, Lorna. Um, people getting threes and twos. Gabrielle, you've just got yours. We're not stopping here. Linda, Lee, West Midlands, Leslie, Marchia. Hello to you, Pat, Sheila, Kay, Angela, Maker Wanting Four, Caroline, Leah, Suffolk. I can't keep up with you now, jewelry makers. Um, I only have 100. That's not 100 for today and 100 reserved for another show on another uh, occasion. That's literally 100 that we were able to purchase. Simple answer, if you were to ask me the question, I think the only reason we don't see faceted rounds very frequently, it's because, you know, you've got to remember, gemstone traders will trade by the carat weight. Um, every single one of those facets will be uh, potentially sort of taking money out of their pocket. That, that makes opportunities like this very, very, very challenging to get hold of. But it's the kind of thing that we want, isn't it? It's, we want faceted rounds because look how beautiful they are. Monica said, I can see the luster from this distance. Aww. That's lower than we should have been. Low, we should have been at £14.99. pence. We've uh, sort of shaved off a couple of other pounds. Um, uh, it's going to be a one, uh, a one auction wonder. Um, we've run over already into the next hour. So good luck, good luck. Leah, Heather, Barbara, Nicolette, Maria. Hello to Shona, Neil and Linda. Susie, I, oh, I can't keep up with you. Dorothy, Janet, you've got yours. Uh, Susie in Wiltshire, you know who that is, don't you? You know who that is. See you tomorrow, lovely Susie, guest designer Susie. Susie, Monica suggested earlier on about creating, a, a, these are these on the tassel, imagine that. Yeah. Oh, Monica, that would be beautiful. I mean, and if, you, if, you, if you look at that bracelet again, the one that you showed earlier, that cuff one. Yeah. Um, I mean, with this, with this strand, you could probably get sort of three lengths of that bracelet out of one strand. So even if you bought, let's say four strands so that you still have some left for the tassel in the middle as well, you're looking at about 50 pounds for that bracelet in pure jade. In Taipei jade. Oh, it's, it's oh yeah, exactly. That's the <laughs> kind of piece that, you know, even even the Christie's and the Sotheby's wouldn't have a yeah. piece like that, would they? No. They yeah. wouldn't. Um, and you, you can make it, as Monica said, for, for less than 50 pounds. Unbelievable. Do you want to know how many's left? 19. That's it. First come, first serve. And by the way, Lynn's just bought five. Janet's bought two. Yeah. Jenny's bought two. Wendy's bought two, Lorna's bought four, you get the general gist. Um, straight after this opportunity, we are relaunching Monica's amazing booklet, um, The Vine Necklace. Just so you know, coming up tomorrow as your early bird, I'm going to say one word, natural. Mm. Natural wow. purple pearls. I think the best early bird, oh, I don't know, mind, look what we're on right now, Ross. I'd use them together. We've got a bigger quantity of the pearls and they are natural purple coloured. Would you use these alongside the jadeite? Oh, yeah. definitely, definitely. Coming up tomorrow in the eight o'clock hour, they are um, half drilled. So you could create the tassels, couldn't you? Maybe they'd be the bottom of the tassels. Um, they've gone, well done, well done, well done, well done. Coming up immediately after the break, we have the relaunch of a sellout book. And um, are we surprised? I'm not. Um, with the lovely Monica, it's your beautiful flower vine necklace with the kits. Join Monica and I after this. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Join me this Easter weekend for what is truly going to be an extravagant event. Coming up on Good Friday, three millimeter rounds in beautiful jade eye as your early bird. At nine o'clock, we have back in stock Monica's introduction to seed bead vine necklace booklet. 
At 10 o'clock, your deal of the day is a brand new amber collection. At 11 a.m., I'm going to be joined by the fabulous Toby Cavill for your Pan Sheer Emerald. At 12 o'clock, Monica will be joining me for her exquisite seed bead purses. So make sure you tune in this Easter weekend. Be sure not to miss out. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hi Jewelry Makers, this Friday at 11 a.m. we have a one-off spectacular show for you guys, featuring one of the finest emeralds that you can find on this planet. That is that of Panchia Emerald, the emerald that is gaining so much traction in the marketplace right now, but more importantly, the emerald that is gaining so much in terms of price. What I aim to do for you guys next Friday is bring you one of the most affordable ways of securing Panchia Emeralds on our planet right now. So come and join me this Friday at 11 a.m. for a super show of Panchia Emeralds. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Join me this Easter weekend for what is truly going to be an extravagant event. Coming up on Saturday, 8 a.m., you have last in stock opportunities of your natural purple freshwater baroque pearls and at nine o'clock i'm going to be joined by the wonderful susie with her super quick jadeite makes at 10 o'clock your deal of the day are brand new hematite rings at 11 a.m your biggest opal closeout ever at 12 o'clock susie will be bringing you her beautiful intention bracelets board so make sure you tune in this easter weekend be sure not to miss out Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Join me this Easter weekend for what is truly going to be an extravagant event. Coming up on Saturday, 8 a.m., you have last in stock opportunities of your natural purple freshwater Baroque pearls. And at nine o'clock, I'm going to be joined by the wonderful Susie with her super quick jadeite makes. At 10 o'clock, your deal of the day are brand new hematite rings. At 11 a.m., your biggest opal closeout ever. At 12 o'clock, Susie will be bringing you her beautiful intention bracelets board. So make sure you tune in this Easter weekend. Be sure not to miss out.
excited. <laughs> Happy Easter, Monica. Happy Easter. Have you had chocolate yet? No. Nor me. No. I'm on a, I'm on a, a no chocolate diet. <laughs> me too. This is the thing. I've got eggs, but I started a diet at the beginning of the week and I can't really oh. just undo everything that... I know it's a terrible time. I know it is, but I've got, you know, I want to go on holiday. Yeah, I was in Cornwall last week, so lots of sort of cream teas and fudge and that sort of oh. thing. So. Fudge. fudge. <laughs> cream, scones. <laughs> oh, no, I'd much rather a leaf. A <laughs> <laughs> Not. Um, do you know what I... Oh, Monica, I think I... Uh, I remember the first show that you and I did together, and I'm going to make you blush now. <laughs> I literally stepped out of the... Uh, we were in Ivy House at the time, and I stepped out... I think it was Ivy House. Yeah, yeah. It? Stepped out of the studio, went straight down to the powers that be and said... And I, and I just said, that uh, this lady is absolutely unbelievable. You really are absolutely incredible. Um, to take these little tubes and turn them into <laughs> those, I find absolutely staggering. Um... And basically, you even write it down so everybody at home can do it too. Yeah, it's, it's possibly more work to do the booklet than to actually make the necklace. Really? <laughs> yeah. well, well, I can imagine that because you obviously have to be quite meticulous in making sure yeah, that the course. instructions are of and getting all the um, done easy. And all that. Yeah. yeah, easy to follow. Now, as you can see, Monica literally illustrates them so beautifully. Um, this is a seven page booklet. And if you get one of your kits, you'll, you'll get the booklet as well, so you don't have to buy that separately. Um, sold out when it was first launched, uh, what, a few weeks ago, three weeks ago? Yeah, about so? three weeks ago, I think it was. Sold out in less than yeah. 10 minutes. Are we surprised, though? Because that's the kind of jewellery that I want to be wearing over the summer. We were speaking about lariat, and some of those are lariats, aren't they, where you have that beautiful asymmetric they, look? They are, they're sort of the yeah, lariat sort of look, oh. the longer ones. Um, that's how the, the booklet is written to create that sort of lariat shape. But I've done this one as a different shape, so you can see that you can, you can vary the A twist. Design. Yeah. Yeah, a twist on it. Now, we have four kits. Um, they all come with the booklet, so you don't have to buy that separately. Um, there are less than 100 of each. Now, the only things I'm going to need to add is your... Is your thread. Yeah. Which would be your fire line. It's quite, um, it's quite flexible fire line. which fire line or wildfire you, you, you use with it, the thickness doesn't matter that much, six pound, eight pound, ten pound, because you're not going through the beads too many times, so any of those threads would work. Okay, we've got that on the show. Yeah, and then of course your beading needles, which size 10 would be ideal, but size 10, a size 12 would work as well, so. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, so that's it, that's all you need to, and we'll bring you, we'll oh, bring and, you that. Oh, and a clasp, you need a clasp. And a clasp, <laughs> and a clasp. Four kits, less than a hundred of each. Look at this beautiful... I've got to rearrange it. Hang on. Look at this colourway. I mean, oh, Monica, I'm visualising this in pinks. Oh, yes. This would be absolutely beautiful, I mean, that it? one's quite similar to this little um, brooch that I've done here. It's not exactly the same because this was from one of the kids last time, but it's a similar sort of colours. Um, so... Mm -hmm. um, what I was going to say is you can, you can, because the way the book is written, it's written in sections. So you've got the rope and then you've got <coughs> different flowers. There's four different flowers on the necklace. So you can use the flowers in other things as well. You don't have to make this particular necklace with it. So you can use, you can make uh, sort of corsages, you can make uh, bracelets, you can make uh, that's a, a brooch pin that I've made there. You can make hair accessories. You mm. can make, you can even use them to put on top of little boxes or anything like that. So I think this is a really versatile booklet um, um yeah so you could yeah I, like, I love that i love the fit the corsages is a great yeah. idea and making flowers you know three-dimensional yeah. flowers effectively yeah yeah um, because you know they're not just flat pieces that yeah. are going to sort of stick to the to the neckline they're literally protruding which yeah. is absolutely beautiful like they're in bloom now we had less than a hundred already oh my goodness me <laughs> Monica, this has to be one of the fastest sellouts. I think so. <laughs> it has to be. I mean, well done you, and congratulations to every single one of you that get, that, that's at home. This includes, in terms of the colours, let me go through it, galvanised hot pink, 
Um, light beige, which is really, be I don't think that describes it as beautifully as it should be. Um, your opaque white and your silver lined topaz, which is the darker color. For me, that's more like a rose gold uh, than a beige. Uh, then you also have um, your pale blue glass pearls. Uh, you're getting a hundred of those in total. Um, you get the booklet, obviously, um, at that amazing price tag. And you're also getting your Preciosa crystal bicones, 50 of those in total. Hello, Christine, messaging in about this, uh, this very opportunity right now. Hello to you, my lovely. Hi both, happy Easter, happy Easter too. Um, I'm in the very process of sewing the flowers on. Brilliant booklet, very clear instructions, oh. best wishes. And that's from Christine in Worcestershire, oh, not too fine. far away. Thank you. I mean, that's yeah. Christine's messaged in live in the yeah. studio. Um, that makes it all worthwhile for you, it doesn't does, it? It does, it definitely does. And actually, it's quite funny because obviously I wrote this booklet probably two months ago now. Um, and then I made the necklaces, the first necklaces back then as well. And then, and then now with a new kit, so I've made the new necklace. And obviously, after a couple of months, you don't remember how you did something. So I was making this yeah. necklace following my own booklet. And I, I love that. I was actually quite proud of myself, thinking, oh, these instructions are not that bad. So, I mean, yeah, because, oh, I don't, never mind designs yeah. like this, Monica. If I go to sleep, I don't know what yeah. I did yesterday. But, but, but also, obviously, when you're writing the booklet, you, uh, there's the, the de design is in your head, so it's yeah. difficult to know whether the booklet that you're writing actually gets that message across. Uh -huh. So it was really good to go back a couple of months later to follow the booklet so that I could see almost with, with sort of fresh eyes Yeah. to see... Um, what and test your own instructions. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um, the booklet is only available within the kits, only available within the kits, so you do need to, uh, uh, and if you want big quantities, I can see some people with six in their baskets. Wow. Um, yeah, uh, make sure you check out because we're straight down into single figures. We have got three other, other colorways, which I think is gorgeous. You can mix them all up, of course. Oh, definitely, definitely, yes. Yeah, you can, we're not doing the booklet on its own on this occasion, unfortunately. It's just literally within the kits, but you're going to need... It's like... What's that What's that, What's that? that uh, food company that does the deliveries with the, you know... Hello Fresh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Places like that. So you get the, you get the recipe, yep. and then you get all the perfect Ingrid. ingredients. Yep. That's basically what you've got with the talent of uh, Monica um, in this booklet. Hello, Jane. I'm in the process of making it. Uh, it the instructions are brilliant. Um, oh. It is going to be the centerpiece on my stall at a craft fair. Amazing. Oh. <laughs> And, and that speaks volumes, doesn't Send it? Send us a picture of your store. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's going to turn some heads, Jane. It's going to seriously turn, turn some heads. Um, how do you put a, a price on something like this? Because obviously you've got to yeah. factor in time. You do, and I suppose everybody who makes it is going to take a different amount of time to make it, so mm, you'd have to judge for yourself how, many, how long it took you to make. Obviously, second one, third one will be quicker. Yeah. Than the first one. So, yeah. Well done. There's literally two left. 123 of you have those final two in your basket. Uh, hello. Sorry, I missed that one. Something about a birthday treat. Hi, Monica and Elle. Uh, so pleased these have been uh, um, reprinted, I think that's meant yeah. to say. Um, birthday treat for me. Many thanks from Michelle in Lincolnshire. Yeah, amazing. Amazing. Well done. Happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday to Hi. you. Now. You get the booklet in the other kits as well. Mm -hmm. Which one should we do next? Which one? They're going to be on-screen sellouts. They were literally three weeks ago, and I don't think today's going to be any different. Don't forget that you get your free gift with, every per uh, with your purchase today, so one per customer. I love this kit. Yeah. I absolutely love this kit. Honest oh, there's 50. That's it. Ready? I'm going to line up these beautiful colours. I know these obviously I'll have to turn down so you can see the colours. No, I can stand them. Let's stand them. Look at these colours. Oh, Monica, this is beautiful. It is. And with this one, you can really play around with the colours um, because obviously that's the one I used to make this necklace here. And um, so I've gone mostly for the red flowers, but you could make it most, mostly blue. You can make more orange. Yeah. So you can make a really um, nice combination of, uh, of colours with the, this kit. You've got a lot of options there. They're stunning. It's beautiful. Let's move that out of the way and obviously bring in your booklet because you get that too. There is only, <coughs> excuse me, 50 of this kit. Um, it will fly out the door. And you can see how lovely the components are. The fact that you've got your lovely shell pearls. 
uh, within. You've got your fire polish and all of those beautiful colours of your Mayuki. The most limited, is that right? It is... Oh, no. But it is limited. Two of the kits, we have 55. This is one of them. Um, oh, it is a perfect summer bouquet, isn't it? Is. It is. I was going to say it was a perfect name, really, because... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I absolutely love it. And, and obviously... You can bring this over so you can... Look, yeah, let's put that alongside. Monica, you are <laughs> absolutely unbelievable. Love Monica's work. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. Um, the first kit sold out. This is going to follow suit for sure. It's first come, first serve. We can't say any fairer than that, really. Um, it comes with the booklet. It's not available on its own. Um, yeah, all the details. So you're getting your Czech fire polished uh, beads, the ones in the little pot that I'm holding here, a hundred of those, and they're citron metallic ice. Ooh, nice. Then you get seven tubes of your chakra colors. Oh, I yes. didn't spot that. Yes. Uh, then you've got your pink shell pearl six mils and of course you get your vine booklet by uh, Monica herself and you've seen customers literally messaging in li live yeah. um, completely unprompted that wanted to share you know their uh, their words of uh, you know uh, and findings we're going low for me Monica I mean I would expect the booklet to be 30 pounds at least yeah I mean if you went to Etsy and you looked at pattern prices um well, it depends on what pattern it is, but the cheapest one is probably about £10. And then you go up to sort of £35, £40 pounds for just a pattern yeah. um, on Etsy, yeah. So that's that, yeah, so that's this without all the components. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's going to sell out very quickly. Very, very quickly. That's amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. I mean, I'm just going to flick this round to the, uh, to the back pages. Obviously, we're not going to go... Uh, but you can just see how perfectly simple it is to follow uh, Monica's instructions just here. Yeah. Look, thread a beading needle with a 90 centimetres. There we go. Three feet onto a thread. No stopper bead is needed. And Monica's literally showing you, walking you and talking you step by step to I make. Mean, yeah, I mean, I don't assume that you know any sort of, have any previous knowledge of seed beading. So uh -huh. if you've never done it before, you can... Um, somebody actually messaged me and they said they haven't done any seed beading before and they did this booklet and they, and they managed to do it as well. So, yeah. That's pretty incredible. It is, yeah. Pretty yeah. incredible. Loads of messages, Monica. Maria saying, stunning kit, folks. Monica, you are so talented. Loving uh, that we all get a free Easter strand. Ah, uh, uh, didn't say strand. Oh. <laughs> now I'm intrigued. <laughs> what, what it could be? It's just a gift. Oh. Could be a strand. Might not be. Um, happy Easter, Monica's lovely designs, jewellery maker and Easter eggs, Jackie and Cornwall, happy Easter my darling, yeah. happy Easter to you, yes you're right there, sorry was it, was it Maria then in the previous message? Yes, Maria, yeah. Um, I actually asked that question and they were like, I'm not saying, it's, it's, it's a surprise, it's a surprise Easter gift, we don't know. So it could be a strand, I don't know, I don't know, might not be, might be chocolate. Oh. Might be, don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> <coughs> I think it's probably going to be jewellery making related, isn't it? Um, but one per customer per day. Hello to you, Betty, Edna, Beatrice, Pat, Jane, Lincolnshire, Wiltshire, Andrea, Caroline, Alison, Marion, Lillian, Maker and Sorry, uh, Susan, Anne-Marie, Essex, Betty, Nadine, Beatrice, Edna, Jacqueline. Hello to you, Janet, Northamptonshire, Worcestershire. I can't keep up. There was 55 of these available. Absolutely unbelievable. You really are a talent, Monica. You're absolutely amazing. Um, and it is, yeah. All you need to do is add your, your beading needles and your thread, which we will bring to air as well if you are literally starting, fr starting from the very get-go. Um, yeah, so I, I love that you said that earlier on, that I don't have to be an accomplished or at a, no. a, a, a specific standard. Yeah. Um, to have a go with this. Yeah, and obviously if anybody gets stuck somewhere, you can always message me and I can try my best to help. So, um, Can I put a, put a question to you? Do you think booklets are easier to follow than maybe a DVD? Personally, I think so, because on a DVD, there's only so close that you can get with a camera. 
Whereas in the booklet, it's almost like zooming right in. Yeah. Especially with seed beads. If you're using larger beads, then I, would, I don't know if, which one's easier to follow. It depends on how you like to learn. But I think especially with seed beads, you get a really close up yeah. still shot of, of what to do with the beads. <coughs> Absolutely. I, mean, I, I agree with you. That makes sense to me. Yeah. Hello to Alison saying very easy instructions. Uh, this is a great project size piece of work. Um, but if you've not much time, Oh, 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 oh. Uh, not much time. It's perfect for doing components, then building later. Oh, exactly. that, I love that. So, Alison, what you're saying is maybe just having like a couple of flowers. Exactly, because I haven't, in the booklet, I haven't given specific instructions. I've written how many of each flower to make to make this exact necklace. But I haven't given specific instructions on where to place the flowers. So you've got a little bit of uh, wiggle room there, how you want to put the flowers. And obviously, I mean, this necklace, I haven't done as many flowers. So you can vary the number. You can make a lot of flowers. You can make flowers on both sides. So it's up to you how many flowers you you add on, really. So you're talking components. Could I make a yeah. matching pair of earrings? Yes, of course, yeah. Oh, yeah. that would be amazing. Or even like an Alice band with the flowers. Oh, on. yes. Oh, yes, yes. That would be beautiful. <laughs> or actually, I made once when I was a teenager, my mum made somebody a wedding dress and I did the embroidery on it. And it was like a, a tight bust section and the whole bust was covered in silk flowers. So I stitched on all the silk flowers. And imagine if you did that for a wedding dress with seed beaded flowers. Some of our viewers might not know this because you're, you, you're a seamstress. I, I am, yes. Well, I, I was. Now I'm a jewellery maker. Now you're a jewellery maker. <laughs> so, I mean, there literally is no end to a talent. I love it. I absolutely love it. There's 12 of this kit left. Um, wow. Yeah, that would be absolutely beautiful. Yeah. It might be a bit heavy. Oh, I, don't, I don't know. You have to have a really well-fitting dress to, yeah. to hold Make the sure weight. Make sure it's tight. <laughs> Make sure it's tight. That's where you... Easter eggs help. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can, it just, it just makes, you've got to eat the chocolate to fill your dress. Or you could do some fabulous kind of hair vines oh, yes. and things like that. Fascinators even. Oh, wow, now we're talking. Um, ten of these kits left, oh, nine now. Well done, everybody. Um, keep those messages coming through as well. Um, if you were lucky enough to get hold of the kit on the first initial launch that sold out in less than ten minutes... Um, this is very much looking like it's going to do uh, to do exactly the same. There are literally eight of them left, and way over allocated on the web and on the phone lines. Um, well, Monica, you can see the the, the the rows upon rows of names <laughs> just there. Um, yeah, I love the colourway of this one. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Just because it's cheerful, isn't it? It is, and I mean, if you wanted to, I mean, this this particular kit has got loads of colours, and so you probably can pick whatever colour you want from there. Mm. But in the other kits where you have three or four colours, you know, it's easy enough to add in one of your own colours or switch out a colour if you want to change the look completely. Yeah. You know, it's, it's easy enough to do that. And you still have everything else that you need in there for, um, for the necklace and the booklets as well. Yeah. Just oh, ooh, just, look at just, that. <laughs> it's lucky that you're wearing black. <laughs> <laughs> I literally do I, I look like I'm wearing a turtleneck and Monica's amazing necklace. Look at that. Monica, that's absolutely incredible. You're amazing. You really are. Down to the final three of these. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Um, we have two other kits to bring you again. Just for those of you that are messaging in, you can't get hold of the booklet outside of the kits. Um, but they're the perfect ingredients, basically, for you to make yep. these amazing uh, these amazing pieces of jewellery. For example, you need your fire polish. Where, where is the fire polish and your... Oh, I can see now. Yeah, if you zoom in on the flowers, it's in the middle of the flowers. And there's also a little... Yeah, there where you're pointing as well. Little sort of stalks with little... I suppose they're little buds. Uh, flower buds. Little blooms. Yeah. Lovely little blooms. Just adds a bit more okay. detail, I think. Yeah. I love it. Right, now let's okay. Let me take this out. bring you the blues. <laughs> blues are... The most popular colour across jewellery. Yep. Without exception. Yep. Um, I don't. I shouldn't imagine sea beads would be any different. There's two left of the previous kit. The first one sold out. Now this is the same as the first kit, mm. but different colourways. So starting with, uh, let's just. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll bring. I'll bring them to air, and then we'll go through the specifications in a few moments. There we are. Now that looks confusing. It is a tube. It's, I think it's 10 grams. 10 grams. Yeah. But you've got more than enough. I mean, you only use in total probably about two tubes. So um, oh. there's plenty in there as well. I'm going to tip these out because you can see them so much better in the little pots. Oh, don't they pop against the blue? This is tulip. 
Blues, again, always the most popular color. Um, so in, in terms of your, uh, your components, you have your blue mystic glass, which is what I'm holding here. Mm -hmm. 30 of those, they're six mil. Then you have your pomegranate metallic ice. Ooh, that's what I've literally... Yes. Um, you obviously get more than what I see. For some reason, I've, I, I've got less than what you're getting. You get 100 of those. Mm -hmm. uh, then you have your Mayuki bronze 11-0s. Yeah. Uh, your galvanized silver 11-0s, which is what I'm holding. Yeah. Sorry, it's five grams. It's <coughs> grams. Yeah, sorry. But there's still enough to do a lot of the accents. and. They go uh, a long way, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. A long, long way. Then you have your yellow gold sea beads. Um, and described as turquoise, opaque turquoise uh, 11 O's. Well, turquoise full stop. That's going to, that people <laughs> yeah. are going to be flying in for this. And this is what you're actually demonstrating with. And it's the colour of that amazing necklace, isn't it? The one that's it actually is. on. I'm actually going to demo with the next kit, but. Um... Oh, I beg your pardon. Oh, sorry. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Looks so yeah. different when it's made up. It's like forget me not blue. It is, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. so beautiful, Monica. So this is the colourway that you're going to be, or the blue it's, it's, uh, is, it's is in the kit. Because the turquoise, is, it would be the same as if you had uh, <coughs> with the gold instead of the silver. Yeah. Because you won't have enough of the silver there to, to put the into the necklace chain, but you can still add the silver into the flowers in the middle so or the edges of the flowers. So substitute you them out, so actually have yeah. the gold. Yeah. Or maybe add from your stash there as well. Yeah. And the fact that you have your, uh, your blue mystic glass six mils um, to create those beautiful little... Little features in the centre. Now, we had a slightly bigger quantity of this kit. Comes, oops, comes also alongside. Um, I, I feel yours. It's less than five grams now. Yes, yeah, this one. <laughs> good job this is a studio sample because uh, otherwise somebody would be getting less. Um, you get the booklet as well alongside this kit. This is slightly larger quantity. Half the stock is already gone. I think we're going to take it even lower. Mm -hmm. I mean, the tubes, the, the, the first two kits have sold out already. The tubes alone of Mayuki are, what, six, nine, yeah, seven pounds? Yeah, six, seven, eight pounds, depending on the finish, because obviously the galvanized ones are more expensive. Uh, okay. So, yeah, it depends on the color. Well, that's so 21 pounds in those three tubes. It is, it is, yeah. Assuming they were seven pounds each. Yep. Then you've also got your your check fire polish, and you've got your mystic glass, and yeah. you, most importantly, Monica, you've got your book, yeah, your actual book, and another tube of Mayuki. Let's not forget those. So, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six components. Yeah. Um, we're already talking what five pounds yeah. per component, which is absolutely amazing. But we're going to take it even lower for you all. I love that forget me not blue. I feel like I feel like my Yuki should have called it Forget Me Not Blue. <laughs> yeah. um, be quick though, we've got a slightly bigger quantity of it. That being said, I still don't think it's gonna be enough to go around. Um, the only reason we're going lower is because of the quantity of it. So this is tulip. Five pounds back into your pocket. Mm. So now we're talking about what you're good at maths, Monica. Uh, how many components? Do you Six. Say? Six. Four. four. Yeah, four. Just over four, four pounds. Four pounds. Fifteen. Wow. Yeah. Sixteen. Sorry, to be exact. I mean, that's pretty amazing, isn't it? Four pounds. How long does it take? Does it take you to write a booklet like this? Oh, if I do nothing else, then probably a week. A so week. A week every day, sort of ten hours a day. <laughs> ten hours yeah. a day. Wow. So it's a lot of work. Yeah, I do a, a lot of this work in the night time when everybody else is asleep because then I don't have interruptions. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> so. yeah, I've, I've, I, I understand you. I understand you there. Mummy, 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 mummy. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, whereas <laughs> this you can actually get down and you wouldn't want to miss anything because yeah. if you do... Of course. Yeah. Then it doesn't end up looking like this. So yeah. uh, meticulous instructions. Thank you so much to those of you that have messaged in uh, and, and shared your feelings. That's the remaining quantity that we have, with just 22 of them left. These are absolutely flying out the door. Nina, Lorna, Linda, Nita, Mary and Jerry, Edna, London, Heather, uh, Wiltshire, Stacey, Lillian, Barbara, hello to you, Hamida, Virginia, Arlene, another Barbara, uh, Joanne, Cheryl, Carmarthenshire, uh, Lincolnshire, you're there as well. Hello, Karen. I mean, can you imagine? I've just, something's just popped, a scenario has popped into my head. Mm -hmm. Say you're going to a wedding this summer. Yes. Um, and you decide, right, I'm going to make that. Can you imagine the, the 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 whole outfit would literally just 
pale into the background. <laughs> um, it would all be, can you imagine the comments? Yeah, you might, might be upstaging the bride. <laughs> yes, I think so. In fact, somebody has messaged in about weddings. Oh, yes. Pamela? Yes. Uh, good morning. Monica, do you think I could do this necklace all in white as a wedding design? Well, oh. you know, I was just going to say that, actually, that you could do it in white. Well, you would oh. probably want to put something else in there, either silver Maybe. or gold you could put or, or something like that, just to sort of outline the flowers a bit so you can see the flowers uh, sort of stand out from each other. Could you, you could you mix you like your, your opaques with your um, ABs? You could. Oh, yes. Your mystic. Course, oh, yes. Different. It would give you almost different textures. As oh, well. Pamela, please make that piece. Or you could, put a, you, could put a, you could put like a pale blue flower edge, for example, then you have your something blue with it as well. So. Oh, yes. But, but most brides will have either silver or gold in their jewellery anyway. So if you use that as your sort of just to separate the flowers from each other so they don't sort of um, can you imagine, blend in, if you know what I mean. You imagine, because uh, 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 another one of our customers was saying about doing that being the centre stage yeah. of their stall. Can you imagine you doing a, a bridal event? Yes. That would be the centre oh, stage, yes. wouldn't it? Would right, nice. the final kit. We've only got a couple of those left. Okay. I think this one's going to... I love... This is beautiful. I don't know how else to describe this colour other than absolutely stunning. Well, it's purple, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yes. Um, oh, it, it's just delicious. That, I don't know, it's a delicious colour. Um, juicy, beautiful. Now, I've got 70. This is the most plentiful, thank goodness. I'm just going to tip out your bicones, because look at those. Mm. Oh, they're amazing. So these are your shiny deep magenta, are they? Amethyst, oh, okay, sorry, that's my specifications are wrong. Preciosa amethyst six mil bicones, you get yep. 30 of those. Then, look at that. Oh, that color is amazing. Um, this is your silver lined fuchsia yes. 11 O's. Yeah. Then you get your opaque purple, that one. opaque yeah. purple, which I think is almost Tanzanite esque. Yes. Then I love this kit, white, opaque white, and then you have a pop of beautiful green, um, described as lime, but they're much more not really lime. I would say more like an apple. No, green. it's a bit. It's a bit more of an apple green. Yeah, color, that's right. Yeah. Um, then. You have, you've, you've, there's so many of you wanting this kit. I don't blame you, it's gorgeous. Then you have your magenta, three mil? Three mil, um, 40 centimetre strand that you're getting. And of course, the booklet. Can you imagine? This is the last of the kits. The first two have sold out. The third kit, very close to selling out. This is the most uh, plentiful uh, quantity that we actually have. The only remaining chance you have to get hold of the booklet is in this opportunity. Um, we have the fire line. Um, I'm sure Ross, have we got needles? <coughs> we can load them though on the graphic. So if you want to literally start your CB journey, we're going to do what? Wow. Doing it in one price crash because the phone lines have gone nuts. We're matching the lowest price. Called Peony, it's beautiful. This kit, I, 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 it's hard to choose a favourite, really. Well, so do you know why it would be nice if, if people who make up this necklace would send in the pictures? Because from this kit, for example, you could have sort of the purple and the pink as the as the necklace section, and have white flowers. Oh. Uh, you could have the green and the white as a necklace section and have pink and purple flowers. Oh. So you get completely different looks it's how depending on use... how you switch the colours around. Yeah. Unbelievable. I'm going to leave this with you because there's so many of you there. Any questions, do feel free to message. Um, in 20 minutes, you've got your brand new amber collection, your deal of the day. Um, five mil faceted rounds. And we have the elephant pendant, the mouse, and also the pointer. So they're all coming up. Any questions you have for Monica, feel free to message us because we are live here in the studio. But Monica, over to you. Right, so I, you won't hear a pin drop from me <laughs> because I'm glued. Um, but I have to reference the graphics, obviously, when we do bring those components in. So what I thought I'd show you is in the booklet, I describe how to make the, the necklace rope, which is one of my favourite rope stitches. It's a, a twisted herringbone rope. Um, 
And it's a really lovely stitch because it's a tubular stitch that really holds its shape well, so it doesn't squish flat very easily. Um, so what I've done in the booklet is I've shown you how to make the, the, the single color because the original necklace had uh, one color on the one side and one color on the other side. But I did mention in the booklet that you could do the twisted, the two color effect, which is what, I, what I've done here with the green and the blue. So I thought I'm quickly going to show you how to make the, the two color version of the necklace rope uh, as well in case somebody um, wants to do that one and it's not completely described in the booklet. Um, also, the other thing I've done with this rope is I've done, uh, if you've ever done a twisted herringbone rope, you sort of know how it works. I've done a two drop twisted herringbone rope because, I mean, two drop just means that instead of using one bead, you pick up two beads at a time. Um, it's kind of like with two drop peyote, you might have seen two drop peyote. It it's, makes two differences to your finished necklace. One is, one is that it's twice as quick to make which helps usually with seed beading. Um, and the other thing is because you've got less thread going through the necklace, because you're picking up more beads at a time, so you, the thread goes through your beads a less number of times, it gives a really nice soft um, slinky rope. You can see that it's quite nice and, um, and flowy, less stiff than if you have a single drop uh, twisted, uh, twisted herringbone rope. So I'm gonna show you how to do that quickly, okay? So use as much thread as you can use because you're going to need to add in anyway. You won't have, you won't be able to use one length to make a whole necklace. And then put a stopper bead on the end. Now here I've just left a little bit of a tail, but if you're making the necklace leave sort of a, at least a 30, 40 centimeter end because you're going to use the tail thread to attach the clasp to the end and to finish off the end as well. <coughs> so put your stopper bead on. Now what you're going to do if you're using two colors then, so I'm using the purple and the white here. What you're going to do is you're going to pick up two purple beads and two white beads to start with, okay? Bring them down to your stopper bead. Then you're gonna go through all four of them again. Okay, and then what you want to do is you want to fold your thread in half or into a circle really, so that you have two columns. So you've got your two purple beads there and your two white beads next to it there, okay? So now I'm coming out of the white. So to alternate the colors, I'm gonna now pick up two purple beads, okay? And then you see my thread is coming out at the bottom of the white. So I want to go in a circle around and come from the top down to the bottom again. Okay. So you've got your third <coughs> column there. Now this, uh, you would probably start your, um, or you could start your single drop herringbone stitch in the same way as this, uh, uh, what I'm doing here. You could, you could do it with just one bead, but you can also start with two beads. So um, it's not very different at this point if you've done twisted herring rope before. So now I'm picking up two white beads and then again, I'm going around in a circle. So now my thread is coming at the top. So I'm going in the bottom, upwards, okay? And then this particular rope, uh, when you've added those two beads, you need to go through the last two beads again. So carry on your circle. So I'm going down through those white ones just so that your thread is always exiting the last two beads because that's where you're going to attach the next two, okay? So this particular rope is six beads around. This stitch you can do, you can do eight beads around, you can do four beads around. Um, so depending on the thickness that you want for your necklace uh, is how many beads you're gonna do um, in the circumference essentially, okay? So that's, I've got five columns now, so I'm gonna add another white. So pick up two whites again, and then carry on my circle around again, in through the bottom, out through <coughs> the bottom. Excuse me. And then again, you're going to come down the last two white ones so that your thread is coming at the end. So now I've got my six columns, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So now what I want to do is I want to close this up to create a circle like so. So I'm going to, I'm coming at the bottom of this white one. I'm going to go up through the bottom of the purple at the other end. Okay, so you can see that's going to close it up into a little, sort of into a little circle. Okay, but it's only joined at the bottom at the moment. So I'm gonna go down the white beads again so that it's joined up at the top and at the bottom. So I need to put my fingers over there just to hold it in place, okay? And then I'm gonna come up the purple again because I just want my thread to come out on the other side, not where my stopper bead is. So I'm going to come up through the purple here. Right, so that's my starting row, okay? At this point, there's no twist, but the twist is gonna start in a minute. So now to do two drop, what you're going to do is you're going to pick up, I'm coming out of the purple, okay? So I'm going to pick up two purple beads first and then two white ones, okay? So I'm picking up four beads now. 
And now I'm going to go down the next column of whites. So I'm coming up the purple, and now I'm going to go down into the two whites. I'm going to go through both of those whites. Okay. So I've added two beads on top there. Just jiggle them around so they sit nicely sort of in columns. And now what you're going to do is, because you want to start creating a twist, is you're going to... My thread is coming out the bottom white. I'm not going to go up the bottom purple. I'm going to go up the second purple from the bottom. Okay. Now the first few stitches, it's going to look a bit odd and you're going to have some thread showing. Don't worry about it. It kind of all works itself out as you get going. Now I'm coming out the purple again. So again, I'm picking up two purple and two white, okay? And again, I'm coming down the next column of white beads, down through both of those white beads, okay? And then again, I'm just gonna go up the top of the two purples in the next column, okay? And then pull that tight. And then the same thing again, so pick up two purples and two whites. Now, it's slightly different in this one stitch here, only this one stitch, because I'm not going to go down both whites here because it's too big a step to go from the bottom here up to the top purple. So I'm just going to come down one of the white beads. Okay, you don't want to have that much thread showing. So you just come down one white bead and you're going to go up the very top purple in the next column. Okay, so you're not going up the second one from the bottom like you've been doing. You're going straight up to the very top one. Okay, now th what this is going to do is it's going to change your rope so that you don't have to have a step up at the end of each round, which also makes this a really easy rope to do because you're not going to lose your place. You're not, you don't have to remember to do a step up and then if you forget, then it all goes wrong. You're going to be doing the same stitch all the time. So no step up, no fiddling around, no nothing like that. So now I'm coming out of this top purple again. So from now on, it's the same stitch every time. So pick up two purple and two white, okay? Then go to the next column of white, come down two beads, okay, and up through the very top purple in the next column, okay, only the top one. So you'll see that that top purple is not sitting adjacent to the white that I'm coming out of, it's one bead higher, and that's what's going to create your twist in the rope. You can see when I pull it, it's kind of pulling across like that, okay. So the same thing again, so pick up two purples, two whites. Come down two white beads in the next column and up the very top purple bead only. Okay, and as it starts to twist around, at this point you can still see where your columns are shorter because it's at the very beginning. But once the twist starts happening, um, you're not going to have such distinct sort of levels. So pick up your four beads again, go down two beads again, two white and then up the very top purple. Okay, so you can see that it's starting to twist around nicely and you can do that in one step actually. So you can pick up two purple and then two white, go down the top two white and straight up that last purple like that. <coughs> this is where it becomes a fairly quick rope to do because you're picking up four beads at a time and you're only doing one stitch after every four beads. So it comes together quite quickly. So down two white, up one. So when I'm making this rope, I'm always saying in my head, down two, up one, down two, up one, because that's what you're doing the whole time. So pick up your four beads, down two whites, up one purple. And you can see now it's starting to twist. And as I said before, there's no step up. Just come down two, up one. So the only tricky bit is how to get started, because you've got the one different step at the bottom where you only go down the one bead. But the rest of the way, it's the same all the way. So pick up your four, down two, up one. So you can see how that's starting to twist. I'll just do one more and then I'll quickly show you how you can finish off the end. There's a few different ways you can do the end. So pick up your four beads again, down two beads, up one bead. Okay, let's do one more. Pick up two and two. And then down two whites and up one purple. <coughs> okay, so there's your twist starting to happen now. Okay, now to finish off, um, what you would do, you can see because you've picked up so many beads, you've got these sort of gaps in between here. So you want to do one round where you don't pick up any beads. So you do the same as you did before. So just go down two beads and up the next purple 
bits. So this is going to kind of join up these last little bits when you finish your rope. Again, go down your two white and up your one purple. And again, go down two white and up that last purple. You might have to do that one in two steps like that. Okay, so that already closes up the end a little bit like that. Okay, and then depending on what you want to do with it, you can either stick um, some wire through the middle, you can put your beading thread through the middle, or you can just close up the end, which I'll show you how to do now, and then you can add a jump ring at the end, which is what I've done on the necklaces as well. So to finish off the end, all I did was I picked up five beads of one of the colors, okay, jumped across to one of the beads on the other side of the rope, went down those beads there, come up one of the beads next to it, go back through those five beads again to reinforce it, all five, and then go down into your rope into another bead than that purple, so I'm going to go into this white one that's next to it, for example, and essentially you've got this little loop at the end which you can then use to attach a jump ring to finish off your necklace or your bracelet or whatever it is. Um, and that's it, it's really simple to do and it's a really, it's a fairly quick stitch as I say because you're picking up a lot of beads at a time and it's kind of a, a mindless um, or mindful, I suppose, <laughs> uh, rope to do because you don't have to concentrate on what you're doing every time, you're doing the same stitch every time so you can make it watching telly, you can listen to music, you can do whatever, you don't have to concentrate on what you're doing. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. I love that because I think I guess you're gonna have to concentrate on everything else. So yes, it's quite nice to actually. <laughs> the flowers build. you're gonna have to concentrate a bit more. Yeah. But as I say, it makes a really nice uh, sort of I mean if I bring over this necklace here, oh I can't take that one off. Let's take this one. Uh -huh. You can see that it's really nice and soft and slinky. So just like that on its own to make a bracelet is really nice as well. Or you can attach whatever you like. To Beautiful. It. It's amazing. Monica, once again, you're absolutely awesome. Um, we have got four additional kits. Ooh. They are different to the ones that you saw a few moments ago. And also, remember, a bit of a reminder, your wildfire um, is coming up straight after the kits now. Um, so I'm going to go through these quite quickly. They have been on your screens before. Um, 13th of March, to be exact. So I'm going to actually tilt those over. They are quite limited. I have some jewellery for these kits. Do you? I do. Amazing. Um, here we go. I didn't put so, the jewellery out because I wasn't sure if the, if the kits were going to be on today. There you go. Beautiful. This is called Scrambled. Oh, okay. Because they've got what we've called, we've called them egg-shaped oh, eggs. Oh, eggs. I get it. Yes. <laughs> I get it. Although they're not so much egg-shaped as they are sort of uh, ovals, I suppose. I mean, I was going to say scrambled. <laughs> <laughs> These are, well, I, don't, I, don't, I yeah, totally didn't get that at all. That's amazing. Beautiful, beautiful colourway uh, within this kit. I'll go through the specifications. You get silver line gold 11 O's, uh, silver line violet 15 O's, uh, your four millimetre glass bicones um, in blue, which are 25 of those, uh, your four mil purple bicones, 25 of those, egg shaped plastic beads. I mean, they're, I also think they're slightly marquise. Would we agree? Yeah. Uh, somewhere in between. You get 10 of those um, and you get your gem duos in your cornflower and also in your dark olive. So a lot of components, seven in total. That's £2.14 per component. Yeah. That's unbelievable, isn't it? £2.14. Um, okay, let's bring you the next. I'm going to keep those little, as we okay. described, egg-shaped because they're in the next one as well. Um, all the same, just slightly different colours. Here we go. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That's red. So that was the bracelet. That's the red. If you look Ooh, back lovely. on the day when we launched these kits, um, I demonstrated how to make this necklace. <coughs> uh, this what bracelet. that bracelet? Yeah. Okay, I'll show you that bracelet. Just one. There you go. So you've got your bicones uh, in your French rose and uh, sorry. Let's start from the top. Opaque white, eleven O's. Montana blue, uh, gold luster, fifteen O's. Uh, in your four mil glass bicones, you've got dark turquoise and red, 25 of each of those. Uh, then you have your egg-shaped plastic beads, which are, um, you get 10 pieces there. They're 16 by 12 mils. Um, and in your gem duos, you have your halo French rose and your crystal Labrador, 14 pounds and 99 pence only. Isn't that Very jubilee. I thought is, the yes. same. 
I thought the same. £14.99 only uh, to get hold of this kit. They are repeat kits, so they're very, very limited. Um, again, watch back on, what was it, 14th, did you say? Uh, oh, I can't remember, Ross. What did Ross... What date did you say, Ross? What was the date these, the demonstration was for these? 13th, 13th I beg your pardon, yeah. of March. Um, I think it was a Sunday with Carol. Um, so, yeah, watch back and you can see, uh, Monica, you demonstrated this very bracelet, didn't I you? Did, Get hold yes. of the kits. Um, we have the wildfire coming up. That was obviously going to be a necessity to uh, both of the kits and also uh, Monica's amazing booklet. Right, moving on <laughs> to this one's lovely. I bet it went, flew out the door. Yeah, Black. That's what I made from that. Oh, I knew it was going to be a bit gothic. <laughs> it is a bit gothic, isn't it? I like it, though. That's cool, Monica. Oh, look. That's absolutely beautiful. Um, but you've also got a pop of pink in this as well. Uh, this is called Fried. Right. I'll, I'll be honest, it's not the most beautiful <laughs> description of a kit. When you've got Monica making amazing pieces, we go, what was the one before? Poached. I scrambled. I mean, okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm all about the poached eggs and scrambled and fried, to be honest. But I don't know if I would. So here you go. Oh, look at this amazing work of art that Monica's created. This is fried. There we are. Anyway, hey ho, it's not important, is it? It's fried. Um, Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence to get hold of this. You've got a mixture of the purples and the pinks and black. I love it. I think this one's quite. Um, we always say it when you see black and pink. It's a bit agent, agent provocateur, isn't it? A bit, a bit, a bit Moulin Rouge. -esque. And actually, you could add these kits to the to the booklet kits as well because you've got your your bicones in there. Yeah. For the for the sort of the middles of the flowers, and you've got some more colours of seed beads as well. So. I was thinking that. Mm. I actually thought it is very Easter esque. Yeah. So why were they called eggs? Egg names. Because of the egg shaped beads. Oh, the egg-shaped beads, right. Which are not actually egg-shaped. So. They're not at all egg-shaped. No, they're more marquees. <laughs> we should have really gone for something a bit more French. Yeah, yeah, not really egg. But anyway, all right, who am I to say? Um, here we are. This is beautiful too. <coughs> want, oh, actually, this necklace that I gave you for the first kit actually went with this kit. <laughs> it went with this kit too. Is that the one? Have yeah. I got an extra tube? There we go. That one? Mm. There. Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence only to get hold of these. So this is boiled. Boiled. <laughs> Fourteen ninety-nine. Uh, so well done. Check out those baskets. They are repeat kits. Loads of you there. Amazing, amazing. It is quite apt actually for today's show, isn't it? It being. Good Friday and all that. Yeah. Um, right then. Three lots of fire line, uh, wildfire, sorry, beg your pardon. Um, wildfire is no different to, to, to fire line. It's no, just basically it's, it's company. Basically the same, yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to start with, it is black, yes. Mm -hmm. Black, which is at 0.5, uh, 15, sorry, millimetre. You did say earlier on with your, uh, with your booklet that it doesn't really matter. No, this, this will be perfect for it, yeah. There you go, and that's the black thread. Just so you know, I've got black, silver, and also the green. Oh, nice. Um, so it's all about, I mean, why would the colour make a difference? Why would you choose different colours? Well, it depends on the, on the colour of the beads, obviously. Um, if you're using um, clear beads, you most likely want to use the, the clear uh, wildfire, wildfire or, or the silver would work well, <laughs> especially if it's not a white clear bead. Mm. Um, obviously, if you're using black beads, then the black thread works better because then you don't see the thread bridges between the it, beads. It'll disappear. So, yeah, it depends on the, the colour of the beads, really. Yeah, so and it's worthwhile actually having each of those colours within yeah. your stash for that very reason. At the end of the day, if you see a kit that's got more black than uh, or darker colours, then obviously you're going to gravitate to this over the white. Um, and the silver threads. Um, our, the price of our wildfire, honestly, you could go onto that river website. I think so many people have messaged in throughout the course of the live shows and actually said, wildfire on, on, on that river website, you're talking £17. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I remember when we were out of stock of it and literally the likes of Monica, Alison, Mark, they were all literally desperate yeah. um, and had to buy it from those yeah. at that river website. Right, let's bring you the silver. I think in terms of... 
In terms of the um, complementing the most, I think silver is going to be one of those. It is, yeah. Um, well, the silver and the green, both of them, to True. be honest with you. Um, but yeah, I would definitely have all the different colours that you can you can get. Because yeah. it's not something, especially the, the coloured ones, are not something you can just pop out and get one. No, no, yeah. exactly. Yeah, um, and it is really the... Why is wildfire and fire line like the best beading thread? Because, well, essentially because it's really strong but really thin. Yeah. And also, because it's a bonded thread, uh, you don't pierce it with your needle. Because mm -hmm. obviously you get your seal on threads and, and things like that, which are also quite strong. Not as strong as your fire line and your wildfire, but they're still strong enough to make jewellery. Uh, and they work well for some... Uh, designs but for most of your seed beading work this is great because you can't pierce it with a needle because as soon as you go through your thread your existing thread in your work mm -hmm. if you go through it with your needle and your next thread then if you have to unpick or if you have to um, change anything it's it's a right proper mess yeah I bet I bet you want to avoid that because yeah. obviously seed beading is a labor of love it is, it is. shall we say so it's worth investing in the proper th uh, threading material um, I remember when we first started doing seed beading, I was like, oh, it's what's what, you just use your cotton? Well, no, of course you don't, because it's not strong. Um, and, and cotton gradually stretches, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Whereas this doesn't. Yeah. Uh, £7.95. I encourage those of you that are maybe thinking, oh, can I find it cheaper elsewhere? Have a look. Have a little look. You'd be really surprised, and you'll find out how amazing that price tag is. Also, regular viewers, the lo lots of you that are, are, are stocking up, know to grab it whilst they when it's on on our screens yeah. because um like as i just said our guest designers even um can't get hold of it yeah. um how many did i have of these then ross oh we've got a big quantity of them but people will get you know like twos threes fours fives because we've all been in that scenario i remember it clear as day you know when we ran out of wildfire yeah. Um, which is a nightmare for, for, yeah. for, for you guys. I mean, even now, whenever it comes on air, I always stock up. I probably have about 50 balls at home. Because obviously, if I run out, I refuse to pay 15, 16, 17 pounds. Totally. <laughs> not, well, yeah, absolutely. Especially when you know you yeah. can get it from us for... Yeah. for I mean, it, for does go, it does go a long way. So, I mean, even if you did pay 15 pounds for it, it's probably still worth it rather than using some other thread because, yeah. because it makes your life that much easier. And as I say, it does go a long way. I mean, there's 50 yards on there. But why pay 15, 16 pounds when you can get it for less than eight? Precisely, precisely. In the silver colour, we don't often see the silver colour either. Yeah. Um, Ross is like, oh, I don't know if I even have. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Um, and we're going to bring you now, uh, lots of you know the item code. Um, keep dialing through. Um, I think it's Mark that's made yeah. this, the item code quite, uh, quite legendary. <laughs> hop, knob. Yep. Not the biscuit, <laughs> although do love a hobnob. Yeah, elite biscuit, don't you think? <laughs> um, elite biscuit to go alongside an elite thread. Yeah. <laughs> um, is it just sea beading that I use wildfire for? Um, well, I'm going to show you in my, in my 12 o'clock uh, demo, I'm going to use the fire line to, or the wildfire to do some normal stitching. Okay. Because I'm stitching your bead beadwork to a zip, which is um, obviously you need a thread and a needle that will go through your beads, but can also be used for stitching. So it's perfect for that as well. So it will actually work with things like embroidery, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Wow. Um, this is the green. What we if, so just turn it around. You can actually see. And you said earlier on this one kind of disappears too. It does. And I know Mark says the same. And I mean, even for your larger gemstones, I mean, um, the wildfire doesn't say the weight strength on there, but the fire line equivalent is probably about an eight eight or a 10 pound fire line is the equivalent of this wildfire. Uh -huh. So that means you can put 10 pounds of weight before it will break. You're never gonna make a piece of jewelry that's 10 pounds. So you can make no. a really big gemstone necklace on this thread as well. <coughs> it it's more, very it, strong. It is, and it becomes much more flowy and, and softer than if you use sort of the, the beading wire. Mm. So, What about pearls? Can I use it with pearls? Yeah, sure. So perfect with your pearls. Hello, Hazel saying I've paid 15 pounds for a small reel. Yep. This is the thing, well, we have to, we, we, that's what we had, to, all of us had to do that, by the way. The small reel is 10, 10 yards. There's 10 yards, whereas you're getting 50 yards on this. There we go, thank you for that, Hazel. Get it whilst you can. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you are, you, you are, you're right, you are almost getting two. Yeah, for, for, the, for the 10 yards that Hazel got. Yeah, it's worth stocking up whilst you get the chance because this is what we call an essential. Um, however, we can't always sustain the demand for it. And you were saying about pearls as well because pearls, we often get the pearls and the drill hole is not very big. So that's why we use the, the silks. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, there you go. You can use it to mend your slippers. <laughs> I, love, I love that. I love that. On holiday really emergency, strong, I use yeah. wildfire to mend a pair of slippers. Yeah. Love it. But also with pearls, you won't be able to, most of the time you can't get a needle through your pearls. So obviously a wildfire uh, you would use with a needle, mm. but it's stiff enough that you can use it without a needle. Yeah, you can literally so you thread can, it like that, can't exactly. you? Exactly. So um, it's stiffer than your sewing thread, for example. So you can just thread it through your pearls like that or your your very tiny microfaceted uh, two millimeter gemstones as well. Yeah. If you can't get a needle through, you can still get this thread through without yeah. uh, a needle. I, I think the last demonstration, uh, the last show I was on with Mark, he was doing exactly that. He yeah. was literally using it with the yeah. wildfire as opposed yeah. to uh, with a needle itself. Yeah. Get them whilst you get the chance because they are not always available. Now, um, coming up after the break, we spoke about how rarely we see jadeite in faceted rounds. Yeah. Um, we even, probably even more seldom see um, your amber in faceted rounds and there is a very good reason for that. We have, as your dealer day, beautiful multicolours of amber coming up and the elephant and the mouse and that pointer. Um, I think they're all going to be sellouts. They're utterly exquisite. Join us after this. <laughs> Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Join me this Easter weekend for what is truly going to be an extravagant event. Coming up on Good Friday, three millimeter rounds in beautiful jade eye as your early bird. At nine o'clock, we have back in stock Monica's introduction to seed bead vine necklace booklet. At 10 o'clock, your deal of the day is a brand new amber collection. At 11 a.m., I'm gonna be joined by the fabulous Toby Cavill for your Pan Shear Emerald. At 12 o'clock, Monica will be joining me for her exquisite seed bead purses. So make sure you tune in this Easter weekend. Be sure not to miss out. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hi Jewelry Makers, this Friday at 11 a.m. we have a one-off spectacular show for you guys featuring one of the finest emeralds that you can find on this planet. That is that of Panchia Emerald, the emerald that is gaining so much traction in the marketplace right now, but more importantly, the emerald that is gaining so much in terms of price. What I aim to do for you guys next Friday is bring you one of the most affordable ways of securing Panchia Emeralds on our planet right now. So come and join me this Friday at 11 a.m. for a super show of Panchia Emeralds. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Join me this Easter weekend for what is truly going to be an extravagant event. Coming up on Saturday, 8 a.m., you have last in stock opportunities of your natural 
purple freshwater Baroque pearls. And at nine o'clock, I'm gonna be joined by the wonderful Susie with her super quick jadeite makes. At 10 o'clock, your deal of the day are brand new hematite rings. At 11 a.m., your biggest opal closeout ever. At 12 o'clock, Susie will be bringing you her beautiful intention bracelets board. So make sure you tune in this Easter weekend. Be sure not to miss out. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Join me this Easter weekend for what is truly going to be an extravagant event. Coming up on Saturday, 8 a.m., you have last in stock opportunities of your natural purple freshwater Baroque pearls. And at nine o'clock, I'm gonna be joined by the wonderful Susie with her super quick jadeite makes. At 10 o'clock, your deal of the day are brand new hematite rings. At 11 a.m., your biggest opal closeout ever. At 12 o'clock, Susie will be bringing you her beautiful intention bracelets board. So make sure you tune in this Easter weekend. Be sure not to miss out. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. You have an amazing lineup of Deal of the Days coming your way. One of our most popular gemstones here at Jewelry Maker surely has to be that of Amber. And actually, when you look outside these four walls, um, it's internationally recognized and also historically recognized. Once upon a time, they believed that Amber were the tears of gods. It is that beautifully treasured. Amber is an organic gemstone. A gemstone uh, which basically forms from fossilized tree resin that uh, only a small selection of trees um, were, were able to actually produce. And it has defied Mother Nature's natural process. And I say this every single time, so forgive me for sounding like in a broken record, but if... If, you know, you and I, we will return to the earth, won't we? There's no, there's no two ways around it. You know, once we have, have lived our life, we will return to Mother Nature. This gemstone, dating from 80 million years upwards, there's no cap, um, has literally seen the earth evolve, which I find absolutely fascinating. It didn't decay, it didn't burn, it didn't... Uh, didn't uh, uh, become fractured in movements of tectonic plates. It defied ice ages. This gemstone has literally seen it all. Now I'm about to bring you um, a, a little selection of dealer days. You've got your strand, the faceted rounds coming up, and then we have three beautiful pendants. To start this showcase though, it's gonna be the elephant. Now, and <coughs> I actually thought, never been on your screens. I, I know I stand and I'll talk to you about gemstones and I'll do that until the cows come home. Um, but I was like, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna this, instead of talking about the actual amber, should we talk about the actual elephant? Because I don't think I'm the only person that 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 recognises elephants as surely one of the most endearing species that walks our planet. And of course, we know they're endangered. Um, we've seen, you know, talking about endangered species, you've seen lots of designers incorporating, of course, the lovely, uh, the, the, the honeybee and the bumblebees, etc., in their design, hopefully raising awareness of the fact that these are endangered. But, so yes, they are endangered, tragically, um, but even, even without talking or dwelling too much on that, they are a beautiful species. And I found this one website, these are not my words, but, and I thought, let's have, let's have a conversation about the beautiful elephant. So found some facts, there's 13 in all, so I'll, I'll sort of go through these as quickly as I can. 
You probably don't need another reason to love elephants, but just in case you do, here are 13 reasons why elephants are just the best. Number one, elephants are the largest land mammal. Despite their size, they can run 25 miles per hour. Um, but in actual fact, I like this bit. Since one of their feet is always on the ground, technically they're actually speed walking. So I always imagine then the elephants doing this. You know that, you know, they do it at the, at, the, at, the, at the Olympic Games. Yeah, that's technically what they're doing. Number two, I love this too. Elephants purr just like cats. Not only do they communicate through trumpet sounds, snorts, roars, cries and purring, elephants pick up sounds of rumbles with their feet and they can hear communications over long distances and vibrations that come up through their feet into their ears. I want to hear an elephant purr. Um, I read that and I was like, oh, that's amazing. This gigantic, beautiful mammal purring like a putty cat. Uh, number three, elephants have a deep family bond. The herd is led by the matriarch, uh, the female head of the family. Calves are raised by the entire herd. When males are about 12 years old, they leave the herd to live on their own while the females stay with their family herd. Females will often stay with their mothers their whole lives. Uh, so elephants often become great grandmothers. Isn't that lovely? And look at the picture. Look how cute. Um, absolutely beautiful. Number four, uh, elephants are highly sensitive and caring animals much like humans. If a baby cries, the herd will touch and caress the baby with their trunks to soothe it. Um, they are highly intelligent animals with complex emotions, feelings and compassion and self-awareness. Um, elephants are one of the few species that will recognize themselves in a mirror. Amazing. Number five, the gestation period of an ele elephant is 22 months. I feel for them. I do feel for them. Um, yes, from have, having been pregnant twice before, 22 months must be absolutely, um, well, exhausting. Uh, there we go. Number six. The average lifespan of an elephant is between 50 and 70 years old. Uh, the oldest recording elephant is Ling Wang, in Asia, an Asian elephant, sorry, who died in 2003 at the ripe old age of 86. Bless her, bless her, bless her. At number seven, like humans, elephants mourn the deaths of their loved ones. They gently touch and caress the skulls of the deceased loved one with their trunks. And they will pause for several minutes of silence in the place where their loved ones died. Even several years after their death, an elephant never forgets. Um, yeah, and I actually read on another website something about uh, there was a certain part of the brain an elephant has actually larger than we do. And that's where the saying comes from, the memories that elephant have. They actually remember more than we do. Um, because that part of their brain is larger than ours. Uh, number eight, uh, also, just like humans, uh, they can be left-handed or right-handed. They prefer to use one tusk, which I think is amazing. Uh, number nine, elephants have over 40,000 muscles, which are used for breathing, smelling, communicating, and they are capable of picking up something as big as a head... <coughs> sorry, uh, as big and heavy as an average-sized horse and also a tiny grain of rice. Uh, number 10, playing in the water isn't just for fun, it's good for them inside and out. When they're able to float, um, the buoyancy provides their leg joints a much needed break. Can you just imagine now? It's an elephant just floating along. Can you imagine? Yeah, I need to see these things. Uh, number 11, elephants aren't actually scared of mice. They're scared of bees. African farmers raise bees to keep their elephants away from their crops. Uh, the all natural elephant repellent. And I actually saw a photograph of this, you know, in one of the, uh, uh, saying this on the Facebook page, um, <coughs> in one of the nature reserves. You've got electric fences to keep poachers and things like that, uh, nasty, nasty humans out. Um, but to keep the elephants away from those electric fences, they've got literally beehives dotted along as well. So um, they don't like bees at all. Elephants can eat up to 600 pounds of food a day. That's how much an entire vending machine weighs. <laughs> um, they're always hungry, aren't they? Uh, number 13, one elephant's molar is the size of a brick. You think that's big? The tongue of a blue whale weighs more than an entire elephant. 
Elephants may be the largest ma uh, land animal, but the blue whale is the largest animal on the planet. Just a bit of fun. Listen, we speak about gemstones all day long. Let's celebrate the wonderful uh, creature that is the elephant. I don't think many of us, um, most of us will say elephants, won't we? Or they'll be up there in our favourite species that walk the planet. I mean, for those very, very reasons, uh, to name a few. This is beautiful. And again, if we can erase... You know, by the the choices and the, of jewellery that we wear, you know, like, I, you know, I bought the uh, Alex Monroe pendant with the bumblebee, not just because, obviously, uh, they are an endangered species, but because it's a thing of beauty. And I think wearing elephants um, could have that same, uh, that same appeal. Here he is. There's his trunk. There's his tusk. There's those lovely feet that now, you know, you can, you can hear with those feet. Um, and in, in the belly, the body of the elephant itself is your uh, beautiful Baltic amber cabochon. Now, it's all framed in sterling silver. I don't know if we've done an elephant before. Um, I think it's the first time, first time ever. Can you see the ear? Can you see how it actually is? It is a ba uh, basically like a two-dimensional piece. Uh, so you've got his lovely ear there as well, which just gently folds over at uh, the Baltic amber. I love him. I think oh, it could be a her, whichever you wish. Um, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It sits on a 925 sterling silver bale. You know, all of the chains that you possibly have within your stash or um, certainly that we bring to you on a regular basis are going to look amazing uh, with the elephant suspended from. Shall we, uh, shall we th what name? What name are you going to, what's your elephant going to be called? Ben Gibbs, okay. I mean, absolutely. We can we can go with that. Elephant Ben Gibbs. An upward pointed elephant trunk dispenses energy, love, look, sorry, prosperity, and kindness. Okay. Do the does the, the direction an elephant uh, elephants move? to express um say it again sheer delight and joy so an upward trunk is a happy elephant i love it absolutely love it brand new now there's only a hundred of these it's not nearly enough to go around um unfortunately there are certain species that i think definitely you know capture um capture all of our hearts um elephants have to be up there you said earlier on monica that it's one of your favorite species they are. They're sweet, aren't they? I think the fact that they are so uh, so family orientated and they're so clever. Go on. Um, they seem to be so sensitive that they can walk across a field of uh, dry leaves without making a sound. Ha what? <laughs> they can and I actually, I actually witnessed this because uh, my husband and my son and I we went to um, Whipsnade Animal Park. And there was a baby elephant there. And this little baby elephant was sort of playing around in front of us on a, like a grass field. It was quite short grass. And there was one flower, like a little daisy or something that had grown probably only about 10 centimetres up from the ground. And it walked past it and it came back and it actually lifted its foot and it was feeling this flower with the base of its foot. A daisy? Yeah. That's amazing. Because <laughs> you almost imagine elephants to be quite clumsy, don't yeah, you? So no. Particularly baby elephants. Yeah. We've all seen the videos of baby elephants rolling yeah. around. Yeah. They're actually not, so he's literally no. feeling around. He was. He was touching the top of it and the sides of it with his, with his foot. Ah! Oh, <laughs> share your elephant facts um, if you've got any more. Um, one very sad thing, the gr you know, elephants' uh, greatest predator, no surprise at all, are humans. Are humans, so they are very much an endangered species. Um, oh, I, I just love them. I think they're absolutely gorgeous, very clever, um, very beautiful. You know, I'm no David Attenborough, but you can see, you can literally see the character in each of their faces as well. You love this too. Um, there are so many of you there. I think my little one would love this. If, if little Willa was watching right now, she'd love this. We're at 79.99 but we're not stopping here. Now, let, let's just make a few comparisons. Not like for like, because they're polar opposite. But just so you can see the price that Baltic Amber can fetch for just a simple, they even say dainty round, 260 pounds. <clears throat> I wouldn't describe your elephant as dainty. 
It's a, it's a beautiful large piece. 19 by 21 millimeters. Uh, brand new to wear, upturned trunk. I'm learning things as well. Um, upturned trunk is a happy elephant. So beautiful. And you're going to be, uh, <laughs> Ben says, we're going to be happy, happy elephants at this price tag. Yeah, for sure. Deal of the day price tag, £29.99 pence only. What's your favourite fact about elephants then, guys? I like the one about bees. Yeah. That's that you expect these big, huge, vast mammals, the largest mammal yeah. um, on planet, and terrified of bees. <laughs> Literally terrified of them. We all think mice. Um, but actually, it's bees that they're scared of. Wiltshire, Linda, Nicolette, Gillian and Frederick, Pauline, another Pauline. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, Karen, Angles, uh, Angela, Alison, Suzanne, Jenny, Glynis. Lots of multi-buyers on this as well. He's sweet, isn't he? Why is there a clock ticking? Half the stock's gone already. Okay, apparently we're going even lower. I think we need to name him. What's the, what's the elephant going to be called? We can't call him Ben Gibbs. I mean, you can call yours Ben Gibbs if you want. Um, but yeah, let's find a name for him. So beautiful. I, I, they are just incredibly majestic creatures. We're going so much lower. That's already an absolutely incredible price. Yes, this is 925 sterling silver as well. Let me just turn it round, pivot it round so you can see the size of the bale. Um, so literally all you need to do is feed. Um, excuse me, Mr. Elephant. He says, do you mind? Do you mind? Just looking at my rear end just there. It's very cute, your little bottom. Um, yeah, you've got a lovely sterling, solid sterling silver bale that will feed onto all of your precious metal chains. There is a hundred of these available. I see twos, threes, fours um, being added to baskets. Um, yeah, I, I, I think a lot of us will go, oh, I know someone that's going to love this. Did you say that earlier on to me, Monica? Did you have somebody in mind or was it literally for yourself? That was for me. That was for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, straight away, I was like, oh, yeah, one for me and one for the girls. Because who doesn't love elephants? Yeah. They're absolutely amazing. Should we go back to our facts? Go back to, go back to our facts and maybe we can add to them. If anybody else has got any nice elephant facts. Um, largest land mammal. I think most of us would think of that. Um... The fact they can run 25 miles per hour. That's, you know, that's quite... I don't think I could run 25 miles per hour. Mm. Uh, elephants purr like cats. I love that. The vibrations on their feet uh, go up into their ears. Love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, number three. Elephants have a deeply... I love this one. This makes me go a little bit soft inside. Uh, elephants have a deep family bond. The herd is led by a matriarch, the female head of the family. Because most, most, like you think about the, you think about uh, lions, for example, it's led by the males, isn't it? So um, it's the females in this case. Uh, calves are raised by the entire herd. Uh, when a male leaves at 12 years old, they leave the herd to live on their own while the females stay with their family herd. Females will often stay with their mother their whole lives. Uh, so elephants quite often become great grandmothers. That's so sweet. So, so sweet. Number four. Highly sensitive and caring animals, much like humans. If a baby elephant cries, the herd will touch and caress the baby with their trunks to soothe it. They are highly intelligent animals with complex emotions, feelings, compassion, and self-awareness. I like this. Elephants are, the, are one of the few species to recognize themselves in the mirror. That's awesome. That's awesome. Completely unplanned, my star by sheet. <coughs> yes! It literally. Hang on. Yeah! It's, what's, it's, it's on your. Sh Why are you going lower? It says £24.99. Um, this is amber. Let's not forget, amber is not a, a, an imitation stone. Be mindful, though. There is imitation amber out there. Uh, this is genuine Baltic amber. The gem itself is millions of years of age, um, which has been beautifully and lovingly transformed into this very endearing piece, uh, a, 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 a charm or a pendant, whichever you wish. 
24.99 but we are going lower um ross is saying i want them all to sell out they're too beautiful to actually be within our vault um and by the way there is enough of you on the web and on the phone lines for it to be an on-screen sellout so we don't need to drop the price but we're going to do it anyway it's your deal of the day one of the things i was suggesting i was like ross can you imagine just putting this onto elastic and that is a stretchy bracelet and with the jade yeah it would look lovely with the jade so imagine those together, 19 pounds and 99 pence. Imagine that as a piece of jewelry, necklace, bracelet with your jade out that you had, hopefully from the, uh, from the eight o'clock hour, I think would look absolutely amazing. Um, your multicolored faceted amber beads are coming up uh, also within this hour. So uh, make sure you stay with me for that. Hello, Linda. Elephants are my most favorite animals and can teach us about loyalty, and family values, what's not to love? I love that. I love that the fact that they, yeah, they are so intelligent, aren't they? Um, and that's a really good point, the fact that we can learn a lot from them also. The fact that they remember their lost loved ones, you know, in the place that they actually died. You know, ugh, we, we, we're almost arrogant as a species, aren't we, human beings? I don't want this to turn into a tangent, but we are. We're very arrogant as a species. Um, and kind of assume that we are the most, uh, the, the, the cleverest, but are we really? What's important? Family, you're right. Loyalty, values like that. 19.99, so many of you there. It's gonna be a sellout. I can see two double rows of names. Should we go and see, see all the, uh, show you all the, all the elephant lovers amongst us? Let me grab the call screen for one second. I'll scooch it round. Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. There we go. I can scooch it round and this literally goes off the bottom of the screen as well lots of you choosing to multi-buy on this one um heather's bought five there we go william's multi-bought sue's multi-bought hello to you Anne, joyce janet sandra sheila multi-buying somerset new customers what an amazing first purchase uh, sheila in washington usa somerset gabrielle were over allocated so you can see these are the people that have confirmed and you go down here by the way you disappear off the bottom of the screen. Um, but on the other side of the call screen are those of you that haven't yet confirmed. Um, the quantity is the issue now. We only had 100. Is that right, Ross? Yeah. Do you want to know how many we've got left? 24. A nation of, uh, of, of uh, elephant lovers. Uh, what other species are your favourite, Monica? Oh, I like uh, the big cats. Cheetahs. Big cats. Cheetahs especially. And giraffes, all oh, African ones actually. Oh, gi giraffes, yes. Yeah. Have you ever seen giraffes having a fight? Yes. It's it's the it's the wildest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Um, you think these really graceful, tall an animals wouldn't get into fights? Oh, they do. They definitely do. Stay where you are. Good luck. There's eleven of the elephants left. Um, I'll keep you posted on that one. Shall we go to the point? I love it. This for me would be on a, a really beautiful long line chain. <clears throat> um, those of you that, uh, that love crystal healing, of course, lots of uh, lots of meanings and beliefs behind um, amber as well. For, again, we were saying I think it's the first time we've ever ever actually brought you amber in a in a point again this is faceted so you know the complexities which i'll discuss a little bit later on um <coughs> of cutting uh, cutting amber textbook amber because ultimately this is one of those gemstones where the more inclusions the more valuable the gem actually is those inclusions are basically life that has been preserved for millions of years it can be uh, flora, fauna, literally frogs, insects. It can be uh, leaves, flowers, which have been captured within these wonderful uh, time capsules. Please be careful where you source amber from. There is a lot of imitation amber out there. Um, so, you know, I, I hear it quite a lot. I have, I have people messaging me saying, oh, I bought an amber from such and such a place, and it, it unfortunately turned out to be just basically resin. Uh, be mindful. All of yours, well, we buy direct from Marius, who lots of you have already met. Um, he sources ours direct from the Baltic region of Poland. Many regard, by the way, the Baltic region as the best source of amber in the world. It is that classic cognac colour. And the first time that we recall actually ever bringing it to you in, um, in your point, 
Um, we discussed this, what day was it? What day was it? What day were we on today? Friday. Um, was it Tuesday? I think it was on Tuesday with Gemma when she was discussing about pointers and the fact that it's about sort of channeling, channeling energy to uh, uh, different areas of the body. Um, if you don't go with that and you just like the design of it, absolutely, I, I'm with you. I, you could wear this as a pendant, it could be earrings, it could also be a charm. We have a hundred of each of these. The elephant is on the verge of selling out. £19.99. That's our first price crash. Okay. Going to an absolutely amazing, unbelievable low price tag. We have a hundred of these available. I like this because you know what? Not everybody, for example, my husband wouldn't wear the elephant. I don't think he would. I would. He wouldn't. But he would wear this. Ross is just saying he'd wear the point. Yeah. Yeah. It's really nice because there's not a lot of shapes or um, cuts of amber, I suppose, that you can use in men's jewellery. So this is really great for that, isn't it? Look at the quality of that amber. It's glowing. It's like flickering, burning embers within the stone itself. We are not stopping here. Um, Ross's words, we're going to an unbelievable low. I think we already are. It is like, it's like burning embers within a fire, you know, like an open fire. Mm -hmm. Those inclusions, and if it is replicated, not this, obviously, but if ever you see amber replicated, they'll use usually like a, like a gold leaf within resin. Yeah. Um, that's not gold leaf. This is actual nature that was present. Isn't it beautiful, Michaela? I totally agree. Nature that was present millions of years ago that has become captured with um, a, a process called polymerization where well, a liquid tree sap and only a handful of the trees actually were able to produce it has hardened over millions of years um, making it an organic gemstone the more inclusions the more desirable 12.99 ross seriously can i put this on a chain because that's that's gorgeous these chains we are going to bring you as well, because if you if you want sterling silver chain for your elephant or for your mouse or for your uh, for your pointer, these are absolutely perfect. Look, literally just breeze it through. Look at how gorgeous this is. That's the kind of jewellery I think you could wear and never ever ever take off. Would you expect it to be twelve ninety nine? No. Definitely, definitely not. Uh, unbelievable prices. Love it. Love what you did there. Isn't that beautiful? I, it, it, we've still got the little mouse to bring you as well, which I love too. He's very sweet. Hello to you, Elaine, Wendy, Karen, Gary. Hello to you, Sheila, Gillian, Lincolnshire, Carol, Catherine, uh, Gabrielle, Janice, Hazel, June, Fiona, Annette, uh, Fife, Jane, Barbara, Ivy, uh, Mary, you're with us as well in, the, uh, in Rhonda, Con and Taff. I only have a hundred of these available. It's not going to be enough to go around. Let me hold it up to the neckline. Oh, that's so lovely. Um, it, there's none in gold, by the way. They are, sorry, it's only coming in the silver. Um, it was a very, very, very limited edition collection. And again, this would be lovely on a bracelet too, wouldn't it, Monica? You could put this on yeah. a stretchy. Oh, definitely, yep. Pop that on a stretchy bracelet with your faceted amber beads that are coming up in a few moments time. Loads and loads and loads of you there. Let's now bring you, there's 29 left of those, so good luck. Let's now bring you the little mouse. He's so sweet. I don't know how you've been shopping ahead, but well done. He could also be a connector, this little mouse. He's got the sweetest little face. In fact, let me show you that way. Look at his little face his little ears and if I turn him around sorry Mousy look at his tail it's a big piece of amber hold it with the let's hold it that way there you go look at him isn't he lovely one price crash just flip him up you can see all that sterling silver look we've even gone to the detail of putting feet he's got feet on the sterling silver on the oh. underside. <laughs> it could be it could be that way round. Yeah, I agree. And then you could put maybe a pearl or 
Oh, something oh. yellow, like he's eating a block of cheese. Um, <laughs> you could put like a citrine or a, maybe one of the purple pearls that we've got coming up. Um, Twelve pounds and ninety nine pence. Yeah, uh, your early bird tomorrow. Natural purple pearls. The little mouse, and they're so sweet, aren't they? Um, going back, I can remember our family cat. My mum uh, so rescued a cat, and um, <coughs> she had one of those. Um, she'd bring all sorts in, and she always used to present it like, you know, here we go. Here is your here is your dinner for tonight. And sometimes these poor little 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 mice would have. Uh, Gone to the other side. Sometimes they'd be they'd be alive, and they are so pretty mice, aren't they? Particularly field mice. Yeah. It's the last of the uh, of the pendants. <coughs> I can't quite believe I've told you that story. It's not really the best story, is it? Um, it's what? When have we started taking amber sterling silver components under under ten pounds? When did that happen? When did that happen? I love mice. I think they're really sweet. You've got mices in your garden. Yeah. Oh. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence only. Field mice have just got the sweetest, sweetest little face. I used to have one that used to just come and sit on my uh, on my patio, and you know, obviously dogs would be inside, but you could see him. He's just the sweetest little thing. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence only. Hello, Berkshire, Catherine, Wendy, Vera, Yorkshire, Surrey. Hello to you, Suffolk, Nicolette, Somerset, Lily, Joyce, Lorraine, Gabrielle, Tina. Uh, Sharon, Anne-Marie, Jill, Susan, Gloucestershire, Hilary, Judith, hello to you, uh, Julie, Marie, uh, Cambridgeshire, hello to you, Zoe, South Yorkshire. Um, I sh what I should have done was put some mouse facts as well, shouldn't I? Didn't think of yes. that. <laughs> some little mouse facts. Um, my granddaughter will love this. She's 14 and wants to be a vet. Ah. Oh. So she'll probably have to care for a few little mice, won't she? Get the elephant too. I don't know, unless she goes, uh, becomes a, a, a vet in a, a safari or a, um, <coughs> one of the sanctuaries that they yeah. often have. Um, now, we're going to do the chain, which we have the pointer actually hanging from. Likewise, you can hang the mouse or the elephant from both of those. Um, could I hold the mouse to the ear? Do you want it nose up or nose down? <laughs> nose up, okay. Hang on. Sure. Is that in the right place? Sweet. Really sweet. Oh, do you know what? I've got an idea. Take the yellow amber out of the faceted rounds. There's his little bits ah. of cheese. There's his cheese. Right, let's bring you the sterling silver chain. Um, so literally, you saw how quick it was. I, I, it's a 20 inch chain, that's my personal preference. It'll sit about here on me. It does depend on build, obviously. Um, but they will breeze through both, uh, both your um, elephant, it will breeze through your mouse. Um, and of course you can use it uh, in amongst your jewelry making stash. They are very much a necessity to us all. We all need um, your sterling silver chains at 12 pounds and 99 pence. Um, we are nowhere near your price tag. I've stood on this very spot and, and, and done price comparisons of 925 sterling silver chains elsewhere. Lots and lots of times in actual fact. And I'll say now what I always say. I genuinely do not know anywhere else that can offer you the quality of precious metal sterling silver at the prices that we do. But what you have to remember is that they might well sell one, two, three, ten chains in a day. We'll sell hundreds in a matter of minutes. That's how we bring you such tiny, tiny margins. So that's not me discrediting your high street jewelers, quite the opposite. They've got different overheads. This entire look <coughs> is 18 pounds and 98 pence. Wow. <laughs> Wait a minute. So uh, yeah, exactly. Paul has just said to me, Elle, I've got that exact same chain that he had to buy off the river website, 20 inches. And how much did it cost you? 28 pounds, 20 pounds. That's not a bad price, Paul. Um, 5.99 though, it's pretty amazing. That's why loads of you choose to multi-buy. I always, always stock up um, when I get the chance to see uh, sterling silver chains. Also, prime opportunity for me to mention your early bird tomorrow morning, natural, 
purple pearls. Can you imagine? And you do get a parcel of them as well. Um, so natural purple pearls, you're going to need your chains for those, aren't you? If you are thinking about sort of business, if you're thinking about setting up on Etsy or maybe you're established on Etsy, um, you're going to need the chains to go alongside the purple pearls. These are coming your way at a true Easter weekend deal tomorrow morning in the eight o'clock hour. Um, the biggest early bird, yeah, I, I think definitely. Biggest early bird we've ever had. These are half drilled. So they're going to go perfectly on your 20 inch chain. Um, just giving you a little FYI that's coming up tomorrow. Um, Monica, do you stock up on sterling silver chains? I do, because although you can change the pendants on them, it's <coughs> if you're just about to go out, it's easier just to pick one up that's totally. already made up, you know. And it, I mean, at that price, you know, you don't have to just have one. Exactly, <laughs> and you know, and and they're especially if you met, you're known for making jewellery. Yeah, people tend to ask for sterling silver chains, or they do in my, um, in my family and friends. Okay, it's time. Now, there are certain gemstones which benefit cabochons. Uh, for example, well, amber looks lovely in, in a cabochon, but also the likes of your opal. Um, it can be faceted, but more often than not, it's in a cabochon because that also magnifies the play of colour. Have you ever wondered why amber is more often than not in a cabochon or a bead or, a, you know, a plain round size? It's because you've got to think about how the gemstone is actually, uh, is actually made and created. This is basically hardened tree resin uh, that's produced, as I said, from millions and millions of years ago. And whilst it has seen uh, the movements of tectonic plates, ice ages, fires, all those things, and withstood it, to facet this gemstone, and if you can imagine faceting a stone, it's on a diamond, uh, a diamond cutting wheel, that will physically burn it. So we really ever see amber with facets on the side. I'm not saying never, but really ever. Um, it's incredibly difficult. Um, you might see faceted imitation amber, but really ever do we actually see, particularly rounds, because that's going all the way around. You think about it maybe a faceted, say like a rose cut, you're, you're, you're cutting 50% of the gemstone itself. This is 360 degrees. Um, one for the collectors and the connoisseurs. Uh, it burns, it literally burns because this is an organic material. It's like pearls, particularly challenging to facet. It's not impossible, but it is very expensive. And the most highly skilled uh, lepidurus will actually be able to work with this gemstone. Now, obviously, with something that is that challenging, I'm never going to have a massive quantity. We've got double figure quantities. You are getting the mixtures of your colours from your cherry, your cognac to your lemon in a full strand that measures 20 centimetres in five mil rounds. Again, I know I referenced it in the eight o'clock hour, but this alongside your faceted Burmese jade, can you imagine? This alongside your amber elephant or mouse or pointer. Um, this just on elastic, literally just fed onto elastic. That simple would be something of just amazing beauty. And rarity, rarity in the gemstone, but rarity also in the fact that they are cut. Now, I'm looking at this right now and I'm thinking, yeah, $89.99. If I was to look online, I can find an amber necklace piece, classic amber spheres, no facets. And here you are, take a little look at this one, £110. It's literally beaded. It's, it, I don't even see a clasp. Um, <coughs> so I think that's just on an elastic or maybe, yeah, I think that's it. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong, um, but £110. Even if you looked on our sister channel, I think you, most of us would expect amber to be prices. I haven't looked, I haven't looked, I'll be honest. Round about what's on your screens right now. But we know that you have to make the piece of jewellery, therefore you want it at a, at a more affordable price tag. And if we can deliver that, we absolutely can. Uh, we absolutely will. £34.99. Bearing in mind now 
The first person's bought three, I don't blame you. Bearing in mind that our usual amber strands, be that ovals, be that rounds, be that nuggets, whatever, is normally, for me in my head, 40 to 50 pounds, a strand of amber. We've already surpassed that, and this is actually one of the more challenging and complex uh, shapes to bring you with the variety of your colors. We're not bringing it to you at £34.99. In fact, we're going to take it under £30 because it is part of your deal of the day. If you got your elephant, the mouse or the pointer, this will look absolutely amazing alongside. In fact, let me just situate. There he is. Put him there. Look at that for a piece of jewelry. And it's so simple to create. I could give this to my five-year-old and she'd be able to make a lovely piece of jewelry. It's all about the luxury of the components. Everybody pays that final low. 24 pounds and 99 pence. For me, that's at least half what a normal round strand would be faceted. Let me just double this over. I'll give it a twist so you can see. I have to be careful because sometimes the knots on our amber strands are aren't the strongest. Um, here we go. Let me just twist that round. Look at the quality of the, fa the quality of the facets. Up close and personal. Look at the lemons, look at the cognacs, look at the warmth of your cherry tones. The quality of those facets and £24.99 is getting you that full five millimeter faceted strand. Um, okay. Ross says this is completely unplanned. They're not going fast enough. We've got your uh, Panchia Emerald coming up in the 11 o'clock hour. We've got Monica's amazing masterclass at 12. Purely, you've driven a hard bargain on this one. Should we squeeze it under 20? Shouldn't be, though. Ross, I mean, as a member of staff, can I buy this for that cost? Wow. I'm better off joining you on this auction as a member of staff. As we do get perks, we get discounts, of course we do. Um, and you get your free gift. Good point, Paul. Good point. Um, if you've just tuned in and you've got any of the amber pieces, you get um, a free gift per customer per day. And then if you tune in again tomorrow, another free gift. If you tune in again on, on Sunday, another free gift. And if you tune in again on Monday with Carol, another free gift. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Don't know what these gifts are. They're a mystery. Um, 19.99. Hello, Marilee, Janet, Margaret, Sheila, Gabrielle, Heather, Lorna, uh, Devon, Sheila, Linda, David, Jill, Julie, you're there as well. Um, simple, simple techniques. What, what do you do with strands like this then, Monica? Because I'm always very basic and say, oh, an elastic. Well, I'm working on a necklace at the moment. You're working with it right now? Yes, I am. Oh... My goodness me. Monica, that, has that got what I think it has with it? It does. <laughs> has Taipei Burmese jade? Yep. Oh, my goodness. The jade sold out, by the way, if you were one of the lucky people that managed to get hold of that. Um, is that a ladder weave? It is, yes. Because we were talking about that earlier, weren't we, with the, with the yeah. cuff. So I thought that would look nice. Oh, that's so beautiful. And you've taken the cherry and put that sort of by the pendant, and then, yep. the, uh, then your cognac, work it up to the lemon. How unbelievably beautiful. Because, yeah, like if, I, I literally just go, I'll pop it onto elastic and put some spacer beads in between. It's as simple as that. Um, I do. Ah. Oh, this is so sweet. So, so, so sweet. The little frog. He's beautiful and he moves as well, which I love. There are 12 of these left. Are you ready? Look at him. Look Aww. at his feet. <laughs> Again, frogs, they're cute, aren't they? I know some people are scared of frogs. I think they're really sweet. I remember walking uh, where I used to walk my dog before I moved. There was a, a, like, like large ponds. Certain times of the year, I couldn't walk them down there because there were too many frogs on the path. Um, and they, they, yeah, they have no spatial awareness, let's just put it that way. Nine of these left. Again, it's, it's literally 360 degrees, because if I turn it this way, um, you, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, let's turn him that way. <laughs> he is literally perched on top of a, a, a wonderful orb of your, um, of your Baltic cognac amber. Isn't he beautiful? Again, you've got that exaggerated bale. So if you've got the 20 inch chain, um, a few moments ago, this would, this would fly on there. Again, people tend to love frogs, don't they? 
On the verge of selling out, there's only two left. Only two left. Oh, this piece is beautiful. Um, now, bear in mind, these are studio samples, so nobody needs to worry about this. Um, I love these earrings. I actually bought them the first time they were launched. It's so 1920s, very Art Deco inspired. We've spoken about how challenging it is to facet, um, to facet amber because it, it literally burns. The same applies. Now, this is a sweet, so I'm just going to show you the earrings first. Um, same applies when you're actually carving, when you're actually carving amber, you know, creating that beautiful scalloped detail. Yeah, very 1920s. I think they're absolutely beautiful. You're not just getting the earrings. You also have the matching pendant. Oh. This, I love this suite. I bought it, like I said, the first time it was brought to air. Um, it's been super, super popular. Um, there was 120. We're down to the final nine of these. Yeah. Do you see why I, I, I get that sort of 1920s Art Deco vibe? Oh, definitely. Look at that. Look at the quality of the amber. Look at the quality. And let me just flip it around. Look at the amount of gold-plated sterling silver that's actually invested in these. If you wanted to separate them, if you don't want to keep it as a suite, then you don't have to, of course. Um, you could literally remove the shepherd hooks, you could remove the bail um, and use them as individual focal pieces or for me, bought it, it's for myself. I'm not sharing that with anybody. I love it. I love it so much. Well done. Well done. Let's do, we've described them as irregular beads. They're, hang on, a rhombus, aren't they? Oh how much you have look at that you've got almost rhombus oh look at it look at it the... yeah they are regular i get it you get flashes of wonderful like cherry cola reds running through um irregular shapes uh, 7 to 14 millimetres in their size. Hang on a minute. I thought I lost one then. <laughs> I thought one just literally just disappeared down the top, but it didn't. Um, here we go. Um, I would literally knock that, Monica. What do you think? Yes. <clears throat> yes, that would look lovely. Or with some of the faceted jade in between. Yes. Mm. With, the, with, with the type A jade. Oh, yep. yeah, that would be so beautiful. So beautiful. The wonderful thing is, amber does complement all of your gemstones because it's it earthy does. tones. It does, yeah, yeah. Um, this is your, well, the most commercially recognised colour of amber. Did you know there's actually over 250 different colours of amber that exists? Wow. Um, we actually narrow it down for ease to seven. Mm. Um, you know, think, when you start thinking about it, yeah, we tend to narrow it down to around about seven. Thirty-four ninety-nine. This is a full thirty-eight centimeter strand. Um, have a little look at places like Not on the High Street, which are wonderful. It's, I love that website, or rather the app, because it really supports um, small businesses as well. You know, you find amber jewelry on there for triple figures. It's so simple to create those high-end pieces because this is a gemstone that. Uh, tends to benefit from uh, large drill holes. So it'll work through most of your threading materials. Stay where you are. <coughs> okay. I knew what you meant by big ones. <laughs> Ross says, L, let's do the big ones. I knew straight away what you meant. Because, you know, I'm going to borrow this chain for a second. This is basically new. Ooh. Can you imagine that? Oh. On sterling silver, you have your beautiful amber layouts. I love it. Separate them if you wish or keep them. The design aspect is actually done for you. Look how beautiful the inclusions with it are. Like those flickering, burning embers within a fire. You also have the, uh, a selection of the three colours. The largest drop pendant, you're looking at a warm cherry red. Then you have your cognac colours and, of course, your lemon. Let's do what? Let's show you a launch price. And then 
Then we're going to go even lower. With seed beading, you can incorporate your amber, of course. Yes. Nice lightweight gemstone. I was thinking if you were to do bead embroidery, because obviously with amber, the way they set it in, in the metal usually is they leave the back open to let the light through. Mm -hmm. But if you set it on some white backing foundation, it would have a similar sort Same of effect. effect. So yeah. the light would reflect back. Yeah, through. you saw me hold it against the bus there, and mm. which was a terrible choice on my point, from my part, because actually it's black. You're not seeing the inclusions, which is really the number one um, most valuing factor of this beautiful gemstone now we launched this um graduated drops you've got the design aspect whether you choose to literally just restrand this onto sterling silver um or maybe you have further amber rounds that you want to take it all the way around the back of the neckline or incorporate your irregular irregular shapes shall we take this to a brand new low look at that loads of you already dialing through this amazing gemstone that i'll say it again it's defied mother nature's natural process i will never stop being fascinated by that fact you and i will return to the earth as will every organic material yet amber has defied that process um and and seen life basically preserved life for millions of years 34 pounds and 99 pence only how many do i have of these available then ross we had 60, but they are going really quickly as you're recognizing how amazing this deal is. Um, the most, arguably the most significant of gemstones, and what I mean by that is, um, here's a fun fact as we're sharing some facts uh, this morning. We've, had, we've discussed elephants we, this morning, now we're going to discuss amber. It has actually identified over 1,500 different species. So not only is this gemologically significant, it's biologically significant. You know, paleontologists, of course, um, I've got lots of, uh, sort of books at home about amber. Yeah, over 1,500 different species. This very gemstone has actually helped identify. That's because those, uh, those life forms have been preserved and captured within. 34 pounds and 99 pence. You, again, you put this on our sister channel in a finished piece of jewelry in some way, shape or form or design. You're gonna be talking probably, what? Three figures? Upwards. One, two, nine. One, two, nine? One, four, nine. Yeah. And that's amazing. Yeah, and that's us. Yeah, that's Gem Pro. That's an incredible deal. But we know you've got to spend your time to create that piece of jewellery. Um, definitely alongside your, uh, your Baltic Amber, the, uh, sorry, Baltic Amber, what am I talking about? Uh, your Type A Burmese Jade that you had earlier on at eight o'clock this morning. Imagine that literally going around uh, over the cross of the shoulders. Um, Monica, you've been working with this little showcase right now. How are you coming along? Look at this. Uh, well, I just need to add the clasp, but um, I can hold it up against the bust if you like. As if you've managed to whip this up, Monica, <laughs> in a matter. Honestly, she's done that in the hour. In the hour. Uh, let's see. Can't see what I'm doing though, so it might be twisted. There we go. Oh, is it straight? So that's your okay. Taipei Burmese Jade accenting the ombre amber and then your sterling silver, uh, sterling silver amber point, which I think sold out, or very close to anyway. Very, very close to. Absolutely unbelievable deal. Uh, make sure you do check out your baskets. Little update, has the elephant sold out? Has the elephant sold? There's still a couple of single figures of the elephant. Okay, let's bring you 18 inch. So we had the 20, this is the 18 inch, so it's all personal preference. Um, if you uh, if you like the, a necklace to sort of sit closer to the nape of uh, nape, then go for the 18. Um, if you prefer something to be a little, little bit longer, that's why we brought you the opportunity to get hold of the 20. So personal choice, also great for actually layering, um, as that's all the rage at the moment. Again, let's pick up the elephant. Have we got a name for him yet? Has anybody texted him with a name? I can't I can't call him Ben Gibbs. Sorry. Nelly, classic Nelly, classic Nelly. Did you know, Toby, yeah. elephants scared of bees? Scared bees? They're scared of bees. Are they? They're scared, they're not scared of mice, they're scared of bees. Really? Yeah. Why is that? Um, don't know, don't know, but actually all these sanctuaries and reservations to keep the elephants in, they put lots of like a fence with bees, beehives, keep them in. to keep them all in. No scared of bees, there we what go. I guess that comes under the same. 
I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, they're one of the few species that can identify themselves in a mirror. What? I know. Nuts. Absolutely nuts. We've been sharing elephant facts. Oh, I love um, me too. Well done. Grab hold of that. Five pounds and forty-nine pence. Lots of you multi-buying on that one. Okay. It is time. Um, I'm welcoming, as you've heard, Toby to the jewellery maker studios. Uh, Monica will be back with us um, from 12 o'clock for her masterclass. You have five lines of Panchia emerald. Now, my, my first experience, and, and this literally was my first experience, was when I was with Toby over in Tucson, and I saw Panchia emeralds alongside Colombian emerald. And to say they blew them out the water is an understatement. That's my own personal experience. Um, but with a wealth of knowledge and to bring you the best deals, Toby Cavill is up next. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Join me this Easter weekend for what is truly going to be an extravagant event. Coming up on Good Friday, three millimetre rounds in beautiful jadeite as your early bird. At nine o'clock, we have back in stock Monica's introduction to seed bead vine necklace booklet. At 10 o'clock, your deal of the day is a brand new amber collection. At 11 a.m., I'm gonna be joined by the fabulous Toby Cavill for your Pan Shear Emerald. At 12 o'clock, Monica will be joining me for her exquisite seed bead purses. So make sure you tune in this Easter weekend. Be sure not to miss out. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Hi Jewelry Makers, this Friday at 11 a.m. we have a one-off spectacular show for you guys featuring one of the finest emeralds that you can find on this planet. That is that of Panchia Emerald, the emerald that is gaining so much traction in the marketplace right now, but more importantly, the emerald that is gaining so much in terms of price. What I aim to do for you guys next Friday is bring you one of the most affordable ways of securing Panchia Emeralds on our planet right now. So come and join me this Friday at 11 a.m. for a super show of Panchia Emeralds. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Join me this Easter weekend for what is truly going to be an extravagant event. Coming up on Saturday, 8 a.m., you have last in stock opportunities of your natural purple freshwater Baroque pearls. And at nine o'clock, I'm going to be joined by the wonderful Susie with her super quick jadeite makes. At 10 o'clock, your deal of the day are brand new hematite rings. At 11 a.m., your biggest opal closeout ever. At 12 o'clock, Susie will be bringing you her beautiful intention bracelets board. So make sure you tune in this Easter weekend. Be sure not to miss out. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane.
It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Welcome back. I don't know where Good Friday is going, but I'm it's gone so quick today. But it's a joy, an absolute joy, always a treasure, never Thank a you. chore, to welcome Toby into the studio. Good morning. Fellow Tucson adventurer. My tucson -er. Yeah. How yeah, are you yeah. doing? I'm all good. It feels like I haven't seen you in ages. I haven't seen you for ages. Where have we been? Ships passing in the night. We do. Yeah. We do. Days. You know. Um, but I tell you what, when you do come, you do come to the studios, you bring... Such incredible My ship treasures. is full of treasure today. Oh my goodness me, Toby. Uh, to say that, for me, this is the number one now. Yeah, I would be completely and utterly in line with that. Mm. And, you know, obviously what you... Unfortunately, I don't get to do as many shows as I'd like to do. No. Um, but, you know, as you know, we've been doing a lot of loose shows recently. We've been trying to bring, you know... I'm, as always, trying to bring gemstones or, you know, items that allow you guys at home to either up your level of jewellery or to provide something different to your competition or add to your collection. One of those three categories. And over the last, you know, over the last year, we've done all sorts of different gemstones that we've been mm. able to bring you. And the number one kind of message I get through chat or directly to my own Facebook page or Instagram is we want to see emeralds. I want to see emeralds. Yes. Now... Of that, I had a lot of different choices that I could have brought you here today. I could have brought you a little bit of our Ethiopian, because yes. that's beautiful. Lovely. Some of the Zambian that we have, so maybe some of our Brazilian emeralds. But out, I'll be honest with you, out of every individual emerald that we have the choice to be able to bring you here, this is the one that we need to bring you. Totally. And it's kind of surmised, as I was saying to Elle during the break, I don't know if you know Rosie, uh, Rosie who presents on our Gemporia Lifestyle channel or, 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 or on Gemporia, she has a, her, her engagement ring is from 1905, and she unfortunately lost her emerald about two years ago. Wow. Now, she, right, as we speak right now, is actually having a brand new emerald set into her ring. She had, what, she had the choice to have whatever she wanted, up to and including Colombian emeralds, but she has chosen Panchier to put in it. This emerald, as you can see already, Yeah, you saw my jaw hit the floor. Does everything you could possibly want. Now, the best emeralds, when you think about emeralds, I've got a little story. I went to Wimbledon maybe seven or eight years ago, uh, mm -hmm. right? And I was sitting at Wimbledon with my sister, and we were there watching Roger, Roger Federer, and his wife's sitting in the audience. And we're about seven rows back from his wife. And she's, you know, she's moving around as she does and, the, you know, whatever's going on. And me and my sister have clocked she's got this ring on, right? At this point, the, 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 the tennis has gone straight out the window. Yeah. And we can't figure out whether she's wearing an emerald ring or she's wearing, like, a Pariba kind of tourmaline. Okay. And that really is the biggest compliment that you can pay an emerald out there. To, for it to be confused with that of a tourmaline yeah. is one of the biggest compliments you can pay an emerald because just like you were saying about the emerald, it, it, it doesn't naturally... Nature doesn't produce it in that way. It produces yeah. it with Jardin. It's a type 3 gemstone. Yeah, it doesn't exactly. just change because of a locale. Because of its formation process, it always stays the same. And so um, it always takes me back to that. And I always remember that moment because we couldn't figure out exactly what it was. It turns out it was an emerald in the end. And uh, it must have been from either Columbia or the location we have for you here today. And you're going to see why. I just want to give you, if I told you today, uh, Paul, let's, have a, let's give our customers a quick sneak peek in a second. If I was to tell you today that I have got an unbelievable green tourmaline show for you and I was to show you this, <gasps> would you bat an eyelid? Oh. Would you bat an eyelid? That shows you just how good this material is. The cleanliness, the glow, the evenness of colour. This right now 
is only comparable to that of Columbia. I'm going to take this one step further and say this outdoes that of Colombian emeralds. Yeah. Now, it's your total preference. And everyone, that's the beautiful thing, beautiful thing about emeralds, is it's all about preference yeah, for true. you. All about preference for you guys. When we came out from, to, uh, when I just came out from holiday recently, there was a lady in the passport queue next to me who was a bit irate because the woman in front of her didn't know how to use that automatic passport scanner thing. A little bit irate, right? And I could see it, <laughs> but I could also see, because she was waving her hands around, that she had this beautiful emerald ring on. So me being me said, oh, it's a beautiful emerald ring you've got on there. That's Zambian, isn't it? And uh, she went from, she turned that frown right upside down, yeah, I can say that. Yeah, it. Because I clocked her ring. And I could tell, again, specifically because of the colour and the jardin that it had, it was Zambian emeralds. These Panchir emeralds are renowned. These Panchir emeralds are so identifiable. And the best part about them is they can only be confused with that of the top scale of emeralds in the world, which is technically Colombian emeralds. Yeah. And this article pretty much sums it up. If we were to, show, there's an, an article here that's talking about emeralds of the Panchir Valley. But if I just skip forward here, you can see that emerald mining in the Panchir Valley of Afghanistan is thriving and has been. The best emeralds from Panchir compete with emeralds from any other source. Mm. And this is from, you know, this isn't just from me. This is from some of the biggest guys out there. Afghan emeralds seem to be the most similar chemically to Colombian emeralds, Ellen. That really explains why these look so good. Mm. The variable, though, and the problem with emeralds that look this good, as we know from Tucson, is that you've got to have the buck to be able to pay for them. Just like anything out there, you've got to have for the money. Right, and, and there's no other way really of getting around it. That was until Jake Thompson uh, really worked his magic with this. And I'll be completely frank with you guys. It, without Jake, right, I wouldn't be able to bring you this show here today. He not only managed to provide one of the biggest deals that has ever been done with Panchir, but the quality that he has managed to bring has allowed us now most likely to be, if not one of the most af um, affordable people on the planet to be wow. able to get Panchir Emeralds. That's exciting. It's super exciting. Because, I mean, you, we again, alongside you uh, over in Tucson, Right. you saw, I, after I'd first learned, I think it was yourself that said that's Panchir, Panchir right. Emerald, and immediately thereafter, you recognised it. I recognised it straight away because of its intensity and colour. But like you said, over in Tucson, it's a, it costs a pretty penny. It does cost a pretty penny. And, and, and it's understandable because, look, where can you go right now? You know, remember when we were speaking to the Colombian miners yes. at Tucson, and they were, what were they saying to us? They were saying there was nothing coming nothing out of the out ground. The yeah. Columbia, I can remember the guy right now. You know, yeah, the guy that's standing there. Walk to the stand. Exactly. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and, and he was saying, look, Colombia is just not coming out of the ground right now. It's just not happening. It's just not going on. And that is driving the price of Colombian emeralds up. But it, what, what most importantly means is now that people aren't going to Colombia to buy. It's like the opals, right? Now people can't go and buy in Australia, they're going to Ethiopia. Mm. And it's the same with these. Everyone now is going to try and get their hands on Panchir. The problem is, is that despite the amount that's coming out of the ground, the demand can't meet that supply, the supply can't meet that demand and only one thing happens. Now I just want to show you two more things and we'll get right into this because this is a super, super exciting show. I want to show you a, 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 an excerpt from Gublin. Now this is one of the biggest gemstone laboratories in the world. Yep. They had done, a, as you can see, this is an information sheet, that they've done a report on emeralds from Panchir. And once again, just to say that it's not just like the GIA talking about the comparison with that of Colombia. Once again, their colour and quality varies. Um, the best being comparable to Colombia's highest quality emeralds. Wow. Now, today, for this quality of... I want to show you one really, really important thing. Because there are Panchir emeralds and there is what we have for you here today. This right here is not a Panchir emerald. This right here is a Pakistani emerald. It's a Himalayan emerald ring. They're trying to push it as a, as a Panchir, yeah. which tells you everything you need to know. It's 40,000 US dollars, 4,000 US dollars a carat. Wow. If that was Panchir of 10 carats, <coughs> that would be about 130,000 US dollars. Wow. That's the price we're talking because of the sheer size of it. And, and as you work your way up, you go big. But you are looking at anywhere, or even at that price, you're looking at 4,000 US dollars a carat. But that's Himalayan, like I said. When we go over to Panchis, even of the sizes we have for you today, you can be paying five, six thousand pounds for this kind of emerald. No joke at all. No. And this is the beauty about what Jake's been able to do for you today. Because today we have got sizes and shapes to cater for everyone. As you can see, the consistency of color are amazing. The two biggest, that we have for you today, we have an octagon, and we have a baguette. Now, both of those break half a carat in size. They're the only two that break half wow. a carat in size today. Now look, I understand it's Easter weekend. I understand we're all out hunting for Easter eggs and all of the joys that happen over Easter. I get that. 
But this opportunity we have for you today is completely unmissable. There is only this many lines. I've got five pieces to bring you here today. And I say, Jake, thank you very much for bringing this, but let me tell you around, otherwise I would have zero lines. Or maybe I'd be able to squeeze one for you guys and not at anywhere near these price points we're gonna do here today. Five lines I'm gonna give everyone watching today. If you don't own a Pantry Emerald, today is the day for you guys. Yeah, sure. Mark my words, every individual piece has been handshaked all the way down the line to ensure that it is consistent. Wow. That it's consistent with that glow, with that green, with all of the levels that you guys expect in some of the finest quality emeralds that you can find. And also, I mean, what you were showing earlier on was it was almost like a forest green. Again, you expect uh, Le Jardin within, but the, you can see there's, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Right. But yet, it's, I was uh, one of a family friend who owns a jeweler back in Wales. A lovely, lovely jeweler deals with some very high end gemstones. I don't think he's ever had Panchia, but I remember him saying to me when I was a girl, Toby, that an emerald should have presents. Right. This has more presents from it than any Doesn't other location it? I've seen. Doesn't it? Yeah. This for me, you, you, I completely and utterly agree. I completely and utterly agree. It's, it's almost too good for an emerald. And this mm. is where I'm saying that confusion with the tourmaline is the biggest yeah. compliment that you can provide it. Yeah. You know, the, when you open up my jewelry box, I mean, the first thing you will see is a big green tourmaline. That's the showstopper. You know, that for me is one of my most you know, beautiful pieces of jewelry. Yeah. Now you get to do that with a big four gemstone, a type three gemstone that defies everything that it's about. Here's our problem though is now, yes, Jake bought this parcel. I reckon Jake bought this parcel now, and time's flying so quickly. I'm gonna say about 19 months ago, something like that. Now, over that 19 months, we have not seen any, we've only seen one Tucson show that we attended. Mm -hmm. Before that, there was nothing going on for a two year period. So this really, in the first time in two years, is the first time it's made it to Tucson. And this is where, right now, the prices point, the price points are crazy. Because now, whenever everyone when went to Tucson, they weren't buying the Ethiopian material. They weren't going for the Zambian material. Everyone was looking for the highest grade that you could find at Tucson, and it was this of Panchia. Yeah, yeah. And that's why today, you are going to be able to make your jewelry different. You are gonna be able to, in, in, you know, increase increase the, the beauty of your gemstone collection. You're gonna be able to possess one of the most beautiful emeralds that you won't just find here at gem, uh, jewel, uh, Jewelry Maker, but that you will find on this planet right now. And I'm not gonna hold back on price today. I understand oh, the I weather's hope, beautiful I out there. Not. I fancy I understand an emerald today. Everyone's gonna, maybe a couple of customers today will have Cornettos in their hands while they're watching, but we are going to make this. And I wanna show you the power of Jewelry Maker and being able to buy like we do with Jake Thompson. Yeah, I mean, th this, yeah, exactly. I, and, and I know for sure, and I'm not too proud to admit, I wouldn't own gemstones like th that I do. I don't own Panchia yet. Um, but purely because, it is purely because of Gemporia. Right. The ways that we source these high-end gemstones yep. is the only reason why many of us actually can afford such luxury. You're completely and utterly right. And, mm. and, and, and you, know, you know, also, you know my history, Elle. You know where I used to work. You know the types of jewellery we used to sell. You know, you have 10, 20, 30, mm -hmm. 40, 50 grand jewellery, you know, from all around the world. Mm. Ross, how many Pancho Emeralds did... What Ross is with me. All right, Ross, Ross, in our whole time, in our whole time where we used to work, I remember one. I remember one, and it was a deep forest green. It was like Brazilian emerald green. But that really shows us, Ross. I mean, we had, we had Bix Bites, we had Argar Diamonds that were four carats, we had Grand Didierites, we had all sorts of world record spheens and Pereba Tourmalines, not one, in Dicolites, you're right, not one Pancher Emerald. And I'm showing you that because even, you know, some of the biggest sources in the world couldn't get it. Jake has done it for you here today. Yeah. And I get to be, I get, I'm get to be the luckiest man in the world here today because me and you, El, get to give people the opportunity of a lifetime starting right now. I love it, I love it, I love it, love it. Um, so I believe, starting with the largest. Yes. Oh my goodness me. Yes. So we're gonna start with a classic oh. octagon step cut. If you want an emerald, I understand a lot, a lot of you like it in the octagon step. Look at the beauty of this stone. We've got multiple recordings for you here today so you can see all around it. You can see that glow. Oh, you can gorgeous. see that avenness of color. You can see just how different that clarity is from any emerald that we've brought you on screen here before. But you think about this, guys, right? That is a half a carat stone. 
I was talking earlier on it just for the Pakistani material, which is nowhere near this quality, uh, looking at 4,000 a carat. Yep. When it comes to Panchir of that same quality, even for a carat, you could be looking, like I said, anywhere up to about 13,000 a carat. Now, for this kind of size, in terms of price per carat, I would expect, looking at, if you're buying bulk L, to be closer to about eight or 9,000, something like yeah. that. Now, that still puts a piece like this at close to 4,000 pounds at over half a carat. Even, even if I'm using, even, ladies and gents, if I'm going to use that Himalayan emerald that I showed you earlier on, at 4,000 a carat, this still here is at 2,400 pounds know, 2, for replacement value of this Panchir emerald. Now, remember, this is fully certified. This, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the biggest, sorry, the biggest piece that we have for you here today. You get the leather-bound box, L. Which you get this lovely. fully certified. You get it all here today. Now, this is really, really key. The quantities that we have for you here today are not very high. L, I've got five of these. That's one of the biggest quantities of the L. I'm sorry that I've only got five, but guys and girls at home, to match these emeralds, to give you these yeah. consistently, is very, very hard to do. Once five go, they are going to go. And we have, I've opened these up for multi buyers as well, Al, because I know people that maybe want to wear earrings oh, or want to make themselves it? a trilogy. Of, exactly. It? Oh, my goodness. Do you know what I think about Panchia? I think, and I know it wasn't the same location, but I think about that uh, um, Angelina Jolie. Yeah. It's that. Isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's that it's good. that intensity. It's that good, exactly. Yeah. Angelina Jolie wearing those magnificent uh, drop earrings. Oh, they were stunning, weren't they? Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, she could literally look incredible in anything. But, yeah, it was those uh, insanely beautiful emeralds. Now, look, guys and girls at home, if you think you've seen all the emeralds, you have not seen anything until you find and see glow like something like this here today. Ross, let's get opening this auction because I can see so many people already joining the phone lines right now. There are only five chances... We are going to get straight into this here today. Once they go, they go. If you guys know me when it comes to price, I've got your back. The mm -hmm. variable here today is actually how many people are going to miss out. Not how many people are going to get them. It's going to be how many people are going to miss out. We've been advertising this show a lot. We're expecting a lot of collectors on the phone lines. Yeah, absolutely. Now, let's have a quick mooch around this, shall we? Let's have a look at exactly what is in our hands. Oh, my goodness me. Look at that. Look at the beauty of this. Imagine that. And that's what Rosie's going to have as her replacement engagement ring here at Gemporia. You know what? You know when you think about Larique's normally? You think about, you know, five carat pieces and ten carat pieces. Mm -hmm. This emerald is so good that of that kind of size of half a carat, that is already Larique kind of size. Yeah. That right there is just as show-stopping as one of the most beautiful Mozambique rubies that we can bring you. Definitely. Or one of the most beautiful diamond rings. You ask me, Toby, right, what would you rather own? A D-flawless diamond or an emerald that looks good like that? Trust me now, I'm taking that every day of the week. As a yeah. gemstone collector... That's what I'm taking it. Oh, and, and I know, I know that, I know that you would definitely say that too. And I can appreciate that because you said about that lady's emerald that you spotted from uh, at, 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 at the, the airport, at the yeah. airport, and at Wembley, Wimbledon, Wimbledon, sorry, yeah. Wimbledon. It's because they were emeralds with presence, with vibrancy, and you will spot this from a distance. You're right. It is absolutely and utterly sublime in quality. Now, guys and girls at home, let's start talking price here today because I can see you guys are already joining the phone lines yeah. as well. Wow. The, the first crash here today, Ross, let's start at this at, say, £1,999. We're already going to start under £2,000 for this yeah. kind of quality. Now, for any of you tuning in right now thinking, oh, my gosh, £2,000, is that where they're going to be finishing here today? <laughs> you just hold on to your horses. Just sit back, have another sip of your Provence Rosé in the sunshine. Oh, amazing. And just get ready to be one of the owners, one of only five people in the world today that can open and own Panchir Emeralds. Heather. I really shouldn't have, she says. Heather, let me tell you this, Heather. When you get this home, please add me on Instagram if you can, or add me on Facebook if you don't already, or speak to our customer service team. When you get this home, Heather... Look at that message you just sent in 
and you think, you think, think about what you've got in your hands. I'm telling you now, Heather, if you were to set this into your own jewellery, I'm not sure what you do, whether you set it on or whether you set it into your own jewellery. If you set this into a ring or earrings, Heather, I'm going to tell you right now, you are never, ever going to look at another emerald ever again in a no. jewellery shop. You are not no. going to need to. Now, Ross, where do we want to go following this? I obviously I know where we want to end. Let's, Ross, I'll tell you what we'll do, Ross. We'll take this now under £1,300. Let's take this to £1,299. You are now looking at half a carat at the, yeah, the, the biggest one that we've got in our building. We're going to take this under £1,300. Now, remember that Pakistani emerald that we were showing you earlier, that Himalayan beryl was yeah. 4,000 a carat. This right now is even more affordable, more, more affordable than that of the emerald we showed you earlier. Have a look at this. Have a look at the, sorry, have a look at the quality of it. Have a look at the beauty of it. It is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. But I prefer what's on the screens right now here at Jewelry Maker. And this is what makes the difference. Yeah. Is you don't need to make it big. It doesn't need to be 10 carats. Yeah. It doesn't even need to be half a carat. Heather, you are going to be blown away. Take it from someone literally that has been lucky enough to see everything under the sun. Every well beautiful done. gemstone with big designers, I've seen it. Without blowing my own trumpet, let me tell you right now, this is so remarkable. Now, for anyone out there, Ooh. yeah, this is where it gets really fun. I can now see on the phone lines, Geraldine, Wendy, Maker, Louise, Maker, Maker, Mona, Wendy, USA. Sarah, Maker, Heather, you're there. Yeah, UK, Yan, USA. Take this now under £1,200, Ross. Take this now under £1,200. You're going to be one of only five people in the world to own this here today. Now, I want to show, here is an example on Etsy of someone selling a Panchir Emerald. Okay. I want to show you the variable. Panchiers don't all come out looking amazing. You can go and look at that right now on Etsy. And this is what I talk about. You now go on Etsy and you show your Panchir Emerald. And let's just do a little crossfade, Paul. I'm sorry to do Yeah, look at that. That right there is top grade, chromium filled, apple green Panchir Emerald. Come back to what what's that I would say is an average, average Panchir. Beautiful clarity. But what's clarity when you've got no colour to go alongside totally it? Totally agree. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely and utterly remarkable. And I'll show you here. Let me show you something just quickly, Ross. It's all right. Because it's also the cutting. You see here these two types of cut on screen. Right, look at the left cut. Right, you see how there is, uh, you can see how it's different to the cut on the right. You can see there how the QLA is different on the cut to the right. Go back to the Etsy one. Sorry, Paul, I'm testing you today. That right there is an example of the left hand cutting. Yeah. You totally. see that? Yeah. Right. Now look at our one that we have for you right there. That is an example of a properly executed QLA because we've step cut it. Because we've gone the whole hog, as we say. Now, you can see them both exactly on set. Now, guys, there are now 17 of these in baskets. There are three of these remaining. I've already had two confirmations. Geraldine, congratulations. Heather, congratulations. Paul, it's clock time. And ladies and gents, I told you to trust me here today. I told you, look, it's bank holiday. I understand we're all busy, but this right here is completely unmissable. We're going lower, of course. This is going to be a serious shop opportunity, Elle. Oh, I should say, and the biggest that we actually have. The biggest. The biggest that we have in our building right now. Oh, oh wow. The... Uh, this is, just to emphasise the calibre, for those people that understand Gemporia, this is Larique. This is Larique piece. This is Larique. So the all eight... day long. The, this is 18 karat gold. I, I do these in the reeks, and I do them of this kind of size in 18 karat gold. Yep. And I sell them, ladies and gentlemen, in the 2000s of pounds, even at Gemporia, utilising the contacts we have here today. Mm -hmm. Because they, they command that. They are not worth any less than that. This is the... This is Mother Nature's kind of hiccup here. You know, she's, she's not followed her normal rules. Now, for anyone out there, what we're about to do is going to shock you. I'm telling you right now, because we're not just going to head into, we're not just going to take another hundred pounds off the price here today. We are now going to take a step into three figures. We are now going to take a step into nine hundred and ninety-nine pounds. Yes, sell for over half a carat, the biggest that we can give you. That's amazing. 
It is That's remarkable. Amazing. It's irreplaceable already at that price yeah. point. And uh, you know, even when we were literally nose to nose, uh, I was admiring Pantier Emeralds in Tucson, which let's not forget is a jet is a trade, a trade yep. show. Um, I'm, sh I'm fairly sure not one of those pieces was under a thousand pounds. No, no chance. And this no. is where we make the difference. Now, how do we do it? Ask yourself, how do we do it? How can you guys, you're telling me right now that you've got the best emerald on screen and that they're better than Columbia and they don't compare. Pounds on yeah, the split that's the beauty about it. Heather, get that home for 250 quid and goes, oh my gosh, he was right. I'm selling this immediately into a ring. This is what you can do. But the variable here is, is because Jake was able to buy this in the rough, because what we do, I'll, I'll tell you exactly what we do. Yeah. I'll tell you how this is possible. We don't buy one carrot, we buy a thousand carrots. Right now, because we've taken a thousand carrots off that individual mine, we haven't asked them to cut it for us. They haven't had to slice it for us or pre-finish it for us or polish it for us. Mm -hmm. We're taking it off the hands in the rough. We run all the risk because yeah. this material might be included. It might be like luster. It might not have glow. Right, so we've, we've got an amazing price point because we've taken out so many individual processes of cutting and all that, which saves us a fortune in the, in the lot. Second of all, we've taken a big carrot. We're not taking 20 carrots, we're taking a thousand, which means that now we pull this all into ourselves. Then what we do is we pass it to our experts. They then go, right, we'll do all the grading. We then pass it to our pre-forming team. They then start to pre-form. We then pass it to our cutting team. They then cut it all. Any of the material that doesn't fit our standard, we then sell back into the market at market price point or you know, just below the market price point because we've right. already got a great deal. Yep. That profits then go into allocating, helping with the cost of our, our goods. Then, yep. and here's the beauty of it is then instead of going, right, for that half carat piece, we'll put it at 5,000 a carat. For the, for the three, you know, for the 30 pointer, we'll put it at uh, 2,000 a carat. What we yeah. say is, we're gonna price allocate across the board. We're gonna make every point the same value of money. Meaning now that we are, you are not having to now pay a huge chunk more, like you do in the industry everywhere else, for a bigger size. Yeah. That's the variable of how we do it. it uh, and it's jaw-droppingly beautiful. Um, there is one of these left, and we have got people within their basket, so... Um... Now, this is where the beauty occurs. It's all... I'm, I'm, no, 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 I'm... no, 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 L. No, this is where the chaos, the chaos begins, because I might have had your leg a little bit here. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking we're finishing at 999. And you know what, guys and girls, in reality, even here at Jewelry Maker, four out of five of these are already gone. But I promise, when I make a promise and I tell you we're going to go to the lowest price point, I will honor that. Irre irrespective of four out of five have gone, Ross, this is the beauty about what we do here. It's the, be the beauty and what's most rewarding, rewarding about what me and Elle do. Mm, Ross, is. today we're not going to finish at 999. You know what, Ross? We're not even going to finish at 799. Ros, we're going to finish at 749 pounds here today. The most affordable that you are going to find for a Pantia Emerald of this size, of this kind of clarity, of this kind of color. Ross, they've completely sold out now. Amazing. Well done. Well done. And do you know what? It gets even more exciting from here because do you know why? That's going to land on someone's doorstep soon. And they're going to open that wonderful box and they're going to see the glow of the Pantia Emerald. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm very jealous. I'm very jealous. Can Shall you... I show you something just quickly? Yeah. I've just been having a look online. Um, I've just been having a look online. I'm trying to be fine, trying to do what you guys are doing at home, trying to find a most affordable Pantia Emerald I can find right now. Have a look at the quality of this emerald. Right now, have a look at the details. So this right here is a 70 pointer. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a 70 pointer yep. with 20 points of diamonds. Yeah, beautiful. It's really affordable too. Let me take you down here. Right, oh, wrong, wrong part. Hold on. I can't do this. We're doing this backwards. Uh, price, £3,400. It's 20 points more than you have just paid. No, but isn't that 700? And, yeah, yeah 700, seven, so £749 pounds for. That's a complete, a completely sold out. Wow. You know? Wow. So this is the variable here, and that is affordable. And this is what you can now remake an That's octagon 70 step. 70 points with the diamond. That, with the diamond, yes. That, so that was, so I apologise, yeah, so I explained that wrong. Carrot. That right there is five points. I apologise, sorry. I do apologise. Um, this right here is five points smaller. Total carrot is 70 points. Total carrot is 70 points. Well spotted, Elle. Uh, <laughs> 50 points was that central emerald that you've got there. So right there, what are you paying? You're, you're not paying for the diamonds in the gold. You're paying for that emerald. You've just paid yourself, again, three and a half grand a carrot for 30, for 50 points. 
£750. We've just done that. That's £749. Love it. Still certified. Still the same. So now, you guys at home, if you're an Etsy user or whatever you wear, whichever sales channel you use, you set that into gold. Let's say you pay £250 for a nice little gold mount. Your overall cost is £1,000. You then sell that at £2,000. You're still £1,500 lower in terms of price than a competitor. Amazing, amazing, Love amazing. amazing. Um, you are, if you can part with it, that is. That was the first one. Uh... I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's only going to get better from here. Uh, yes, Eleanor. So that one. Yeah. Well done. So, and, and, and what you know what's amazing again is just normally with an emerald, you'll be able to identify one from the other from the picture because of the Jardin. There is such a lack of Jardin. I know, exactly, exactly. <laughs> look, look, can you see it here? Look at the insanity of this. We're what, two and a half meters away? Yeah. Look. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're looking for. I'm not bringing you Pancher Emeralds that, you know, are a bit dull and don't have a lot of glow and, you know, okay, they're a bit included. These right here are exceptional. Yeah, they really they are. They look exceptional. This is almost like a bluey green. It's like a, a periberry bluey kind of secondary tone to it with that primary green over the top. I mean, look at that, look at that right there. Oh. Look at that shot right there. You can, I mean, you can see your diamond through it. Like through the, the Pantheon um, That I mean, that yeah. Exceptional clarity, exceptional price. Here's my problem here again, I've only got five. Okay. I've only got five chances available right now. This is a half carat on the nose. 6.9 by four millimeter, beautiful baguette cut. This is a baguette cut. Look at the depth of color there. Look at the beauty. Now you know the kind of prices that I'm going to be doing, so I'm not going to pull your leg any further. I'm not going to make too many stops on this journey here. So let's get straight under a thousand pounds. Ross, let's go to, you know what, Ross, don't go under a thousand. We went through that last time. Let's go to 899 on this. Let's start at 899. Yeah, first price. And it's literally, what, five points. It's, just, it's, a, it's a different cut. Um, so this one's a little bit, it's deeper in the actual coulee uh, yeah. cool of it, in the pavilion. Yeah. Um, so beautiful. Literally five points. I can't see the difference. I can't see the difference. And so that, and that's down to, and you know what, L, if you look at it from a face point of view, it's just the slight variance on the depth of the culé that allows us, you know, so to be way? able to keep this size. Yeah. What's, not, what's hard though is keeping, normally when you're looking to keep the, the face size big, you lose a bit of that depth of colour because the depth of the gemstone is slightly shallower. Yeah. Not with these here today. Wendy, by the way, congratulations. You've already got involved. Louise, Maker, Maker. Rachel's now on the phone lines as well. You're oh. already getting involved. You... When I promise you great prices, ladies and gentlemen, you are going to get them. Ross, once again, take this under £750, £749. Let's get a rocket and rolling. The fact that, the fact that you can get hold of this, and this is the, the beauty of these shows, Toby, and why mm. I'm so excited to have you with me this morning, is sure. because people can get hold of this and then put... Pen if you're not a silversmith or, or a goldsmith, because let's be honest, it is going to be in gold. Right. Um, you know, put pen to paper. Design your own bespoke piece of jewellery. And I'll tell, and as I say to you guys, I've got five pieces to show you today. If you really want some help, I'm here. You guys see me, I'm all, I'm all over the place in this building. I'm always here most of the time doing something. Drop me an email, get in touch with me on Instagram. If yeah. you want some help, I can help it. If you, I don't know, whatever you need, whether you want us to design something for you over, whether you want some help finding something in the Birmingham jewellery quarter, I don't mind. I'm here to assist you, whether you want a couple of concepts. Mm. This is the beauty about jewellery making. You don't just get your hands on this, but no. you get the expertise to go alongside it. You see the experts that we have in this building. You see yeah. Deb, you see Monica, you see all these people that come and assist you. They are here because they are experts at what they do. I'm right, not... Paul, just quickly, El. No Paul, problem. it's that time of the show again. He knows me. He can read me like a book. The 60-second clock. As if we're doing a 60-second clock on Panshear Emeralds. A little egg timer. For, it has to be some, the best emerald in the world. Well, right now, there is no other emerald that we're going to show you today that's going to break half a carat, El. Y yeah. Therefore... And, and I personally, personal, I don't think there's an emerald more beautiful. There isn't. No, I'm telling you I now, don't think so. I'll get, uh, from personal preference, yeah, and same. you know what, I might be biased because I'm here on screen, but 
Once no, again, it's my preference. I know so many people uh, yeah. out there know my experience, and all I'm going to say to you is just trust me. Just trust me. The beauty of these shows is, guess what? You get them on split pay. You can get them home. You can have a look at them. When you go out into the sunshine like today, I'm telling you right now, this right here is going to gleam more attention than if you were wearing a 500 carat topaz around your neck. I'm telling you right now, 100%. or a Santa Maria Aquamarine, because it just has that presence. Ross. What we're going to be doing here today, Alison, Maker, Wendy, Louise, Maker, Maker, Maker. Emily's now joined the phone lines. We're taking this under £700. You can now get this for £699 here today. Exactly. And look at how close that is cost-wise, Elle. You want bank holiday deals? Call me your Easter bunny because I'm giving <laughs> gifts here today. You truly are. You truly are all certified. Uh, uh, it is jaw-droppingly beautiful. And a, a couple of occasions since I've come back from Tucson, which was my first experience right. at Panshia, was, it was, wow. You, you know, you think you know emeralds, you think you've seen the best emeralds mm. in your Colombian emeralds, which are beautiful, there's no denying that. They are. But, wow, Panshia just packs a punch. Isn't it? And also, and I'll say it again, just to make this clear, I'm offering services here. Maker, Alison, Wendy, Maker, Louise, all of you guys there, just managed to get your hands in that. If you need any assistance, don't be shy. I don't bite. Um, I'll always, I might take, lovely, actually. I, I might, I, I might take a day or so to get back to you because I have a lot, but yeah. at the end of the day, I want you to be able to maximise this, whether you want it on an engagement ring, whether you want to make oh, it yeah. a single earring, whether you just want to, whatever you need, if you want it valued, if you want it valued, we can manage this. I can do that for you. Yeah. I know plenty of independent valuers. I know plenty of laboratories. Well, you helped me out, didn't you? One of my friends had a, had a, 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 a Peridot, was it a the Peridot? Peridot, yeah. yeah. Um, um, Cashmere Peridot ring made for his wife's 50th. That was a stunner. It was amazing. She, he had this whole design. They had, we, we, we made it for him. And your friend uh, sort of valued it for it. Yeah, exactly. This is the kind of piece, by the way, that you absolutely should be getting valued. Absolutely. Completely. This is not something for your stash. And this is this is legacy. This is complete legacy. Yeah. And also, I mean, if you guys are wandering around the shops today, if you're you know going out to go and get a Cornetto or something like that, and you go past a jewellery store, you walk around jewellery stores right now. Do you know, what's the problem? What was the, have you been any jewellery store shopping recently? I know you're a busy lady, as it were. I mean, I always press my nose to the window when I walk past a jewellers. Yeah. What would you say? And, and this is completely on the spot question. What would you say the most? Uh, was, if, if you see them, where was the most common location you saw of emeralds right now? And I'm always looking in shops, so I've got an idea in my head. A it, lot of them are it's advertised. Gonna, it's going to be uh, sort of your very high-end boutique jewellers. If that, if, if uh, my personal experience, I'm, I'm just thinking of one jewellery house that has nice emeralds. Sure. I'm not talking about the heavily included ones. Right. I'm talking about nice emeralds. Sure. It's one privately owned, the kind that you know you buzz yourself in. Yeah. Right. And they give you a glass of Prosecco yeah. over one of them. Yeah. And that's the level that you will find these. O overall, though, for me, Zambian. Right? Zambian is oh, what I'm Oh, sorry, you were talking about locations. I beg your pardon. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 sorry. So, you know, I, I thought you meant where can I actually I'm buy sorry, them. I'm sorry, I apologise. <laughs> I'm, I'm not on it today. No. Um, but so when I go around, so again, I've got a number of friends as well with jewellers, and I've got a number of yeah. friends all over the place with jewellers. And the, what you tend to find are, and here's an example, right? Here's an example of Stratford. This is Stratford from Haven down the road. Yeah. Right, high-end jewellers. Uh, as Zambian. you can see, I'm, I'm doing some free advertising for them here today. Um, uh, that right there is a Zambian emerald. It's a two-carat ring. It's seven and a half thousand pounds. Zambian is is what right now is available on the marketplace. Yeah, love Zambian. In fact, when I bought Me my too. emerald, I, I chose Zambian, but I hadn't seen Panchia. There we go. And you know what? There's a significant variable between Panchia and Zambian. Uh, Zambian. And what's uh, what's also key to understand, Elle, is we are in an ex extremely lucky position today to be to be able to have these. Mm. Like I said, I, I I can't take the gratitude for this. This is Jake and Jake throughout. You know Jake very well. You know Jake on a personal level. Yeah. You know how good he is. He, he, he's a very modest young chap. You know, when he sits on air, he tells you these certain things. You don't necessarily understand the lengths he goes to. And the, oh, he and, works incredibly hard. Yeah. Incredibly extremely hard. hard and he's extremely talented at what he does and this mm -hmm. is impossible without him right here now we've got three pieces to show you and i've only got 14 minutes to do it oh my goodness me you ready for some fast and furious action yeah yes always okay this is insane this one isn't this beautiful oh uh... and you know what the good news is on this l I've got 10 of these. Oh, I stand a chance. You stand, well, you don't, I'm going to be honest, but you okay. do. Hope is, hope is a lovely thing. That's what yes. I like to say. Al. It is, it is. Look look at that. They say an emerald chooses you, doesn't? don't they? That's what they say. 
I'm, I'm chosen. That's absolutely beautiful. Shall I drop, shall I drop Tom a message quickly? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah? He's, I probably won't. He'll probably choose not to answer because he knows I'm on with you right now. Um, <laughs> look at the quality. I love the cut of this as well. Ross, open this up at 1295 for me if you can. Yeah, the cut is beautiful of this. The dimensions are absolutely stunning. This is really good in terms of clarity. It looks like a Pareva Torbellini. It is that good. Once again, the perfect comparison. <laughs> that you can compare this it's to that a tourmaline. Blue, the bluey uh, undertone. Is it undertone or overtone? Undertone. Undertone. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Um, 10 of these are available. Ross, half the price for me. Half the price for me, Ross. We're getting into action right now. We haven't got time. It's now the, the ultimate time, the most affordable opportunity you've had to own oh. Panchier Emeralds. Look from that distance. <coughs> I've been doing it all morning. We're not close. We are not close there. I've got 10 opportunities right now. <clears throat> 10 opportunities, Ross. We're going to sell these all out. They're all going to go, Ross. Can I see the phone line just quickly? We're already at the most affordable price point, but obviously you guys know it's going to, you know it's going to go lower. That's beautiful. L. I've got, I've got three crashes to go. Okay. Take this under six hundred pounds, Ross. That is going to be crash number one. One. I mean, I'm just thinking about that beautiful Zambian emerald in Stratford. Yeah. That was seven and a half grand. It was. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. Amazing. Mm. Seven and a half thousand pounds. We're at five hundred ninety-nine. That's us. That's we're not done there though. No. Because now what Ross is going to do is he's now going to take this under five hundred and fifty pounds, and we are still not going to be done. I promised you great prices. I promised you today, if you want to own Panchia, this is happening right now. Mm -hmm. And I'll promise you right now, you will not be paying, you will not be paying a £549 on screen here today. Crazy. You will not be paying £137.25 on split pay. Crazy. Even, even here, from what, two and a half metres, three metres, you see that colour, don't you? You see that glow. You, you see, yeah. see that presence. Today, I'll be frank with you guys, even at 699, this is an unbelievable deal. Even at 799, this is an unbelievable deal. Because I've got quantity today, because it's Easter weekend, we're doing some crazy Easter deals for you. Panchia hands. Emeralds, beautiful cutting, octagon cut. Ross, we're breaking that boundary. We're taking this under 500 pounds here today. The first time ever that you have seen a size like this, L, a colour, clarity, a locale and quality like this. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, that's absolutely unbelievable. And it comes presented as luxury emeralds like this should be. Um, all in that wonderful leather bound box. Comes certified, of course. Put pen to paper. You don't have to be a, gold, uh, a goldsmith. You can design your own and that's what i was saying piece. if you're saying toby you know i'd like a design like this can you help me out yes i'll have a look for you i'll speak to our team to see if we can design something for you mm. if that's not possible i can also hook you up with local jewelers in the uk that you can walk into that will help you with it yeah if you want a cad design doing for you for example if you want one of my colleagues in thailand or one of our colleagues in india to do a cad design and create mm -hmm. you a, a 3d model that you can walk into a jeweler in london with or in bristol or oxfordshire or derbyshire or hampshire or yeah. Greater London or places. wherever it may be, Monmouth on the phone lines, wherever you want to be. Yeah, allow, this is part of the service. And this is, I, I appreciate gemstones like you. I collect gemstones just like you here today. I understand what it means to have a treasure like this. All of the gemstones I own, apart from two, are all set into jewellery. I've had them all set into jewellery because for me, that's how I like to look at my gemstones. Yeah, totally. They look, well, it frames them, don't they? It's like a work of art. Jewellery actually frames it. Exactly. Paul, get me a clock on screen. Because you guys at 499, by the way, thank you once again to everyone who's already confirmed. Ross, I know already 90% have already gone. But, <coughs> but this is the beauty about what we're doing here today. This is not a normal weekend here at Jewelry Maker. No. You've got Team Tucson on screen. Yeah. We are giving you Love the it. ultimate opportunity here today. The ultimate. Louise has just taken two of these now. Maker in Derbyshire, you, I think, are just about to jump on as well. There are literally a couple of these remaining. That is it. Do you know, it's absolutely amazing. You know, I love the fact that we bring these kind of deals. And then you also have that little moment where you go, 
Goodness me, these were literally at trade in the thousands. Yeah. In the thousands. So please appreciate and understand. Give yourselves a giant pack, pat on the back to recognise that that's already incredible. Okay, what are you guys doing this afternoon? What are you doing? You're gonna go for a nice walk into town with mm. you know with the with the grandkids and the kids maybe get yourself an ice cream, maybe a Pinot Grigio, yeah. something like that. Sounds nice good. afternoon with the kids. What's that gonna cost you? Maybe like something like 50 quid, 60 quid to go and do that. Probably. Yeah. Okay. Well, look, I'll give you that free free of charge here today. Ross, we're taking a take another 50 pounds off the price. We're going to 449 pounds, as low as literally I can go here today. And I've just given you a lovely afternoon in the sunshine, all free of charge, which didn't need to happen. Right there. Louise just saved herself £100 Hundy. as well. Um, you can get this home for £112. Yeah. That's insane. Isn't Absolutely it? insane. Beautiful. And, you know, any of the designs, you get a load, a load of inspiration. I love this cut. The cut that we've, uh, your Pantier collection is in, the octagons and the step. Right. Really, it's the pinnacle cut for me. Sure. It's the, it, it showcases how beautiful fine quality emeralds are. I completely agree. I completely disagree. And look, Elle, I mean, you can see it. It just has yeah. presence on screen right there. And if it was an inferior emerald, then they would go for an oval or a round brilliant cut because there's more facets, right? Exactly. Exactly. Kath, you've just taken it down to our final one right here. You're right, but this is the beauty of the of this because it's exceptional because the clarity is exceptional because the color is exceptional we can open up one of the most honest cuts one of the most honest cuts yes, in the world that will yes. show you every presence inside it i'm gonna leave the last one with you guys there <coughs> excuse oh, me oh this is so look at i don't <laughs> oh we've got some news as well oh, you know you? our todd yes you know he's engaged i do isn't that lovely? It's amazing. Beautiful ring. He did say over in Tucson that he was... Uh, he was considering it. He was considering popping, popping the question. Oh, he's gone ahead and done it. Well, fair play to our lovely Todd. Gone ahead and done it. Anyway, nice? uh, Todd was one of our team members over at Tucson. We call him he, Tucson Todd now. Tucson Todd. Um, just got <laughs> engaged. And, uh, and again, talking of emeralds, <laughs> and gents. Oh, my okay. word. This is absolutely flabbergasting. Okay, Ross, how many of these have we got? Just, oh, five of these. We've got one. Oh gosh, yeah, there's one. This is it. This is the only one. This is, if you want a one-off bespoke baguette, okay, it's I know amazing. it's lunchtime, but we're still talking about emeralds, ladies and gents. If you want a baguette cut emerald, it's happening right here, right now. This is the exact one you are getting. So for any of you like the, out there that like to get the one that you can see on screen, this is the one you're gonna have. It's a one of a kind. I would assume, I, mean, I think it was Alice, was it Alice that took two in the last auction, was it? Or was it Louise, one of the two. Um, you know, if you want a matching pendant to go alongside it, here, this is going to be an option. Ross, we go straight down on this. Ross, yeah, let's go straight down. Ross, Ross, open up at the lowest closing price of the day today. Open up at £449. Crazy that open up at those that. kind of figures. Yeah, it's amazing. Crazy, isn't it? and yeah. This is where I sit here and I have to praise Jake. I have to, because as someone who adores gemstones and appreciates the inherent value of these, to do this and even discuss a three-figure price and to discuss a £400 price point I know. is exceptional. Now, guys, we've opened up with that price. We're not going to be finishing there. I've opened up that little guy, a price to allow you guys a bit of time to be able to get on the phone lines. Ross, we're taking this under £400 today. One of a kind, the only one in the world, L, the most affordable of the show here today, £399. It's absolutely and utterly stunning. And, and, and here's an example of where cutting as well uh, can exaggerate the uh, um, the exterior. It looks larger, right? Exactly. And because this, it's baguette. Exactly. So because you've got those um, kind of uh, the beautiful facets next to the table there that elongate the gemstone, it makes it look bigger. It gives it more presence. But normally, like I was saying, to do that, you've got to cut the gemstone deeper, which uh, reduces the saturation of colour. Mm -hmm. Remember the one on Etsy that I showed you earlier on, that kind of really faint one? Right, that's what normally what you'd expect when I'm cutting away the derriere of this gemstone. Less derriere yeah. is less colour. Okay. Now, as you can see right there, now we have actually cut away a bit of the derriere, as it were, or a bit of the culé, but look at still how rich this gemstone is. It has not impacted at all. No. Gone. Not at all. Look at that. Gone. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. The finale. No, well, no. Uno mass. Uno mass, por favor, and that's it. Oh, this cut. Five chances available here. If you haven't had the opportunity, if you haven't had an opportunity today, if you've missed out, 
I'm going to give you it right now. I'm going to give you the ultimate opportunity right now, Ross. It's bank holiday weekend. There are five chances. Here's my Easter. Here's, well, obviously, I've given you four Easter gifts already. <laughs> this right here is the cherry on top. This right here is the cherry on top. Now, this has depth oh. of colour. Yeah. Either the side, can you imagine? You know what? Bank's back in the middle. Thank you. I'll take that diamond out and put that one in the middle. Fair enough. Uh, but yeah, Fair you know enough. what I mean? Either, you're completely right, though. Either side. Look at that. Look at that right oh, there. Oh, it's incredible. This colour is absolutely immaculate. It's absolutely amazing. And you know what? When you can hear our, our Ross kind of wow, wow, wee wowing in there. Yeah, you know, yeah, it speaks. He's a man know. of few words, isn't he, normally? Exactly. But he is a man of few words. But I'll tell you right now, every so often he perks up. And, and I'll tell a, you right it now. It sounds like this. Oh. OK, Ross. Open it up under £700. I mean. It's time to go on an Easter hunt, ladies and gents. It's time for you now to get your hands on a Pancher Emerald, the most affordable Pancher Emerald that you have seen here on Jewelry Maker. I'm making it. I've just said it. I've done it. Wait, Ross. Are you sure? I am very sure. I'm very sure. Okay. I was expecting this to go sort of bounce back. And you know what? Uh, easily, we could do. Mm -hmm. oh, easily, we could do. I've got five chances. I've got a bit of quantity. It's the last pancha here. I've seen a lot of hoverers there on the phone here today that have just kind of been, do oh, I, don't I? Right, yeah. now, now I'm going to remove that. <coughs> I'm going to remove that thought from your mind. Look at the clarity and uh. look at the glow of that. It's exceptional. Ross, take me £300 off the price. Let's take these now to £399. Unbelievable. Toby, that's absolutely incredible. I love the cut of this. Because it's stunning? almost it's almost borderline radiant, isn't it? It is. It's exactly right. It is very borderline radiant, but again, it has that classic look to it. Yeah. It has that timeless cut that has been utilized for centuries I now and worn by some of the biggest people on our planet. Now, big collectors are already rolling in. Welcome to the show here today. This is now the final 55 seconds that we have yeah. to show you these Pantia emeralds. And we're at £399. I'm going to make this the lowest priced outright emerald that you see on your screens here today. The lowest outright Pantia emerald that we have put on screen. Any That's interest it. right now you've got on screen, I've got four chances. Unbelievable. And I'll play a game with you. The more interest, the lower I'll go. Is that a good deal? I like that game. Me too, I love this I game. like that game. And I'm not taking the, exactly. I could take this to 379. We could be done and dusted or yeah. in and out like a dog at a fair, as we say. <laughs> but what's really key is just how low we can take this here today for only four lucky people. Alison, you're in there. Alison was in there before you could say the Straight word knife. Away. Yeah, totally. Well, Alison, you're clearly or, you know, an emerald lover and clearly somebody that recognises fine quality. Panchia, it was, as soon as I saw it, as soon as you introduced, it was, wow. What, what, what? You've got a mischievous look on your Me? face. Me? I never have a mischievous look on my face. No, Ross, we're not going there. Ross, lowest price point of the whole showcase so far. We've got people, and we've got people from the States of America calling in yeah. here, right? Ross, take this, take another 50 pounds off the price, Ross. Take this now to 349 pounds, 349 pounds, Ross, not 379, 349 for this 35-pointer. Step octagon cut, of course, octagon step cut. Just taking your split pay, seriously. To 87 pounds. Yeah, you, you can get best quality emerald that I've seen location-wise in a long, long, long time. I'm telling you now, you're going to be blown away. Remember, you get the box with it, you get yeah, the cert it's with it. You are now getting the best opportunity for Pancher emeralds that we have done here at Jewelry Maker, period. Now, guys and girls at home, Sheila, Alison, Surrey, you've got a chance there. Manchester, Devon. Uh, I mean, what America's now have taken theirs. Washington on the phone lines yeah, as well. Amazing. Welcome, welcome to you guys. Welcome to the show here today. <laughs> um, now, there is one left in the world. There's one left. That is it. Every piece that we've shown you here today, there is now one left. Could I have my name on it, that one. Shall I message in the call centre quickly? 
No, because I'm going to upset customers. I don't think answer. you're going to make. I don't. I don't think the customers are about to leapfrog you, my love. Unfortunately, because you've got Anna, Sandy, Maker, Maker. Mm -hmm. Devon's on the phone lines as well. We've got another person, right? We've now got Aberdeenshire on the phone lines. Top of the not the top of the morning to you, because that's completely the wrong country. Uh, but most importantly, <laughs> <laughs> most importantly, guys, you are having you are having an absolutely unbelievable morning this morning. I'm so glad that I could help you all out. Wow. And, and, I, and, I, and, I'll, and I'll say it once again. I'll say it once again. Any of you that need me help, feel free to go and add me yeah. on Instagram if you like. I think my name is at Tobes Cavill on Instagram. Go and add me. You can message me privately on there. You can message me privately on my Facebook. You can, if you speak to our customer service team, speak to those guys. I'm happy to help you guys. I'm yeah. just like one of you guys. I appreciate beautiful gemstones. I appreciate being able to put gemstones into unique jewelry. And that's what's on the table right now. And also being able to get it for the best prices. I'm, yeah. I'm actually flabbergasted it's exciting, by that. Isn't it? Love it. I love it. It makes our job all the more amazing doesn't super it? exciting toby thank you so much it's my absolute pleasure it's been lovely having you on our, on our show it's been nice to see you again the I'm last time i saw you for this amount of time you were next to me on an airplane for 15 hours 15 hours like literally oh, it literally looked like that Indeed. exactly like that Indeed. it wasn't pretty i could have done it for work to be honest with you <laughs> um but yeah it's lovely to see you again you too lovely we'll take care Stay with us because coming up we've got your masterclass all about. Can you believe these purses? I've seen made her. out of those tiny little tubes. Ridiculous. She's so clever. Oh, well, I'll be honest with you guys. I've seen what Monica's been up to while we've been showing you this in the background, and it's all been going on over there. I'll tell you what. So just tune in because I can tell. I can see. Look at the smile on her face I over know. there. I know. She's a joy. We'll be back after this. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Join me this Easter weekend for what is truly going to be an extravagant event. Coming up on Good Friday, three millimetre rounds in beautiful jadeite as your early bird. At nine o'clock, we have back in stock Monica's introduction to seed bead vine necklace booklet. At 10 o'clock, your deal of the day is a brand new amber collection. At 11 a.m., I'm gonna be joined by the fabulous Toby Cavill for your Pan Shear Emerald. At 12 o'clock, Monica will be joining me for her exquisite seed bead purses. So make sure you tune in this Easter weekend. Be sure not to miss out. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Join me this Easter weekend for what is truly going to be an extravagant event. Coming up on Saturday, 8 a.m., you have last in stock opportunities of your natural purple freshwater Baroque pearls. And at nine o'clock, I'm gonna be joined by the wonderful Susie with her super quick jadeite makes. At 10 o'clock, your deal of the day are brand new hematite rings. At 11 a.m., your biggest opal closeout ever. At 12 o'clock, Susie will be bringing you her beautiful Intention Bracelets board. So make sure you tune in this Easter weekend. Be sure not to miss out. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. 
Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Join me this Easter weekend for what is truly going to be an extravagant event. This Easter Sunday, your early bird are some beautiful sterling silver flower spacer beads. At nine o'clock, Alison Tarry will be bringing you brand new sterling silver jump ring designs with exquisite black jade. At 10 a.m. on Easter Sunday, your deal of the day is a five chain bundle. At 11 a.m., on the go storage boxes. And at 12 o'clock, Alison's Pearl projects, which have never been seen before. So make sure you tune in this Easter weekend. Be sure not to miss out. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, jewellery makers. Wasn't that lovely? How amazing is <laughs> yeah. that, your Emerald? Gosh, they're amazing. Aren't yeah, they? so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Um, okay, Monica and your gorgeous purses. Monica, literally, <laughs> these are insane. All colourways are available on pre-order if you want to shop ahead. And something Monica showed me... This one's not quite finished, that's why it's sort of... Um, yeah, you're going to use this as your, uh, for your demo, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, so the, um, I was sticking that's out why, at the bottom. That's, that's why <laughs> yeah. that's like that. But here we go, let's show you the purple. So you've got three different colourways yeah. to make Monica's brand new seed bead bags. Monica, these are just, it's just incredible that you can turn these tubes <laughs> into something like this. Yeah, they're You're an cute, absolute they? artist. Because the previous purses that we've done, they, they had sort of the clutches, but some people don't like the, the clutch closure. Uh -huh. And also those are quite flat. You can't fit too much into them. So these are quite um, sort of fatter, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, no, no, <laughs> I put get more, more You, you could put there. your lipstick in yeah. there. You could put some, obviously, your money within yeah. there as well. Um, oh, they're absolutely incredible. Now, all the colours are available on pre-order. Now, with your kits on your invoice... Um, yeah. You get a downloadable link to the instructions. Yes. yes. Uh, a lot of people ask how you download them. I found the easiest <coughs> way to download your downloadable instructions is if you log into your account mm -hmm. on the internet and you find your order, you go to my orders and you find your order and then you download your invoice, then under the, the kit that you, that you get your um, downloadable patterns with will be the link to download the pattern. Then you just click on there and it should bring it up because it's also on your printed invoice, but sometimes if you type it in, you, you might not be logged into your account and then you can't download it. Okay. So the easiest way is just to go into your account, click on your orders, download the invoice and click on there. That's what I found is the easiest way if to If you do have it. any troubles though, then do just get in touch because we can actually help. Yeah. Now, it comes with the zip, comes with the chain, the over the shoulder chain. Um, now each one, there's less than a hundred of each of these kits. They are all available on pre-order right now. The blue and the orange, 10% of the stock have gone already, mm. already. Um, just to give you a little bit of a heads up as well, have a little look on our, on our Facebook page because there's a competition being run by social media team where one of you will, it's heavy, uh, one of you will win this. You've got to uh, like, share, comment your guess and tag a friend. How many, how many gemstones are actually within? And somebody has actually counted them. Yes, literally counted them. Wow. Um, the winner will be announced first thing tomorrow at eight o'clock. So get your get your get liking and tagging and sharing and guessing. 
Um, but Monica, I'm going to hand the baton straight over to you to talk us through. Um, we're opening on the black. We'll get the graphics on your screens. Um, I'll quickly show you, um, just for those of you that don't have access to the website. So this is this amazing colorway, Monica. Yes. That's so beautiful. There's one, there's one problem. Yes. <laughs> Which way do I wear it? Because they're both lovely. Oh. <laughs> so you've got almost like this kaleidoscope. Yes. And then... Well, that's part of the downloadable pattern because when I show you in the, in the demo that it's, um, it's made up of triangles. So one page of your downloadable pattern is your triangle patterns or triangle graphs. The other page will be the instructions. I'll talk about that a bit more just now when I do my demo. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. And they're literally usable purse. Yeah. You know, you lit this, they, they're quite roomy. They are, yeah. Now, I haven't lined them. You can line them if you wanted to. But they yeah. do make quite a solid fabric. And I don't so think you need to, do you? It. No. I think they look beautiful exactly as they are. Um, right, we'll bring the price onto your screens. And then we'll throw to the demonstration, and you can pre-order on your different colourways as well. £49.99 only. It comes with the down downloadable instructions. Hello to you, Avon, saying... This is so beautiful, Monica. You're so talented. A oh, natural thank gift. Thank you for sharing. I, I literally have said it so many times before. If I had a fraction of your talent, Monica, I'd be a very happy girl. <laughs> this, uh, they literally are oh. jaw-droppingly amazing. Uh, your masterclass price. There are so many of you there. It comes with the instructions as well. Yeah. In the, in the pink and black. Quite different colourways as well. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Is that what my star buy sheet said? Did it? Did it? Because I saw Monica the picture of these. I thought you were going to say twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah, I was expecting <laughs> it to be thirty. Yeah. Ah, that is what it says. And also the the chain is a really nice, strong, substantial chain, so it's strong enough to hold the bag. Yeah. Um, but also uh, the zip, because um, obviously I originally put these kits together, not the colourways, but I asked, or I, or I said what needs to be in the kit. And um, I insisted that we get YKK zips. If anybody knows anything about sewing, they'll know that the YKK zips are the best quality zips that you can get. Okay, so they're not going to catch and Yeah, break. no, and they're not going to go sort of rusty and horrible. And yeah. No. yeah. It's infuriating <laughs> when zips break, and especially yeah. if you've spent the hours oh, yeah, yeah. that will go into a bag like this. You, that's yeah. a really good point. Um, says, for, says the seamstress, of course. <laughs> um, if you want the orange and the red, if you want the blue and the red, they are coming up, but you can also shop ahead, everybody. Um, Monica, over to you. Right. So, as I said earlier, so the purses are made up of triangles. So there's one of them there. Uh, let me talk to you about the pattern first quickly. So the first page of your, of your pattern is going to be the instructions to ha for how to make the triangles. Okay, I'm quickly going to show you now as well, but uh, you've got it written down there too, so you can, you can follow that. And then the second page has got all the triangles for all the different colorways um, uh, for each of the bags. Now, all of the triangles are the same on each side, okay, except for this one. So this one makes up that face of this uh, third colorway bag. So this one is an advanced one because this one, obviously, you have to make sure that all your triangles are facing in the right direction when you stitch them together. The other ones doesn't really matter which way they face. Um, so I wouldn't start with this one if you've never done anything like this before. Okay, so that's just a quick note about the pattern. So now, um, obviously, your bag has a front and it's got a back and then it's got a side where the zip fits in. So I'm going to start with how to make the triangles, okay? So I will also show you, let me just fold this pattern up so that I can bring over the one that I'm doing. Um, I'm gonna use the zip as my ruler because I don't have a ruler with me. I'm gonna show you how to follow the pattern as well. Okay, let me just uh, make some space, there we go. Okay, so thread your needle, you're gonna need about, probably about four feet of thread to make one triangle, okay? And I've used my uh, usual, six or eight pound fine line uh, and a size 10 beading needle. So you're gonna look at your pattern. You're gonna start with the beads in the center. So you see I've got three white beads in the center of my pattern there. So that's what I'm gonna start with. I'm gonna pick up three of my clear beads. Well, these are silver lined actually. Okay, I'm gonna bring them down to the end of my thread. You don't need to stop a bead, okay? Let me shift over a bit. And then I'm gonna go through all of those three beads again. Okay, and then I'm going to tie them into a knot. 
Okay, just an ordinary double knot. It doesn't have to be terribly secure because um, you'll be going through all the beads a lot of time. So uh, just to hold them in place like that. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to go through the first bead that is next to your knot, just so that you get away from the knot. Okay, so you've got a little triangle of three beads there. Okay, now you're going to follow the next row of the pattern. Oh, how can I put this so that you can see everything I'm doing? I've got so much to show that I haven't got enough. Okay, let me put it there. So, if you look at your first row, so I'm just looking at this section of the triangle here at the moment because all three sides are the same. If you were doing the one that was different, you'd have to follow each side individually. So, I always put my ruler at the base of the beads that I'm following. So, that first bead there at the point, that was the first three beads that I added on. Obviously, one from that side, one from that side, and one from that side. So, that was my set of three beads. Then I'm going on to the second row, so I move up half a bead, and I know that I'm always adding the beads where I can see the whole bead. So you can see the middle one that I added previously, I can only see half a bead, so I'm not adding that bead. I'm adding the ones at the end. Now the ones at the end are your spine beads or your increased beads, okay? And then you've got the middle ones, and then you've got the one on the other end again. Now the one on the end, you have to kind of peek and see what's on the other triangle at the same height. So this gray one here. Those two are next to each other, okay? So that means when I have my little three beads here, I need to pick up two of the silver beads. So that's that first silver bead there, that one, and the one that corresponds to it on the previous triangle. So I'm picking up two silver beads, okay? And then if you go back to your little triangle, you can see where my thread is coming out of one bead. So I've picked up two silver beads. I'm gonna go through the next silver bead. Okay, right, and I'm going to repeat that three times because all three sides are the same. So I'm picking up another two, and then another two. Okay, so that was my second round of my first triangle. Okay, right, so that's what it should look like now. Okay, so now you're going to the next row, so you move up half a bead again. So you'll see, now I can see three beads in this next row, the whole bead. So the first one is a red one, the next one is a silver one, and the next one is a blue one. Okay, so I'm going to peek and have a look at the one that corresponds to that red one, which is this blue one here. Okay, so that means that for the first pair of beads on the next corner, I need to pick up a blue and a red. Okay, then I need to pick up a silver. And then at the other end, I pick up a blue and a red again, right? <clears throat> so my thread is coming out of this one here. Let me just get some of my beads out so I can get to them. Right, so I'm picking up a blue and I'm picking up a red, okay? And then I'm going to go through the second of this pair that I picked up in the previous round, right? So I've got this pair was one that I added in the previous round. So I'm going through the very next bead there. Okay, so that's my increases on the corners. Then I'm going to pick up a silver because this middle bead here was a silver. I'm just going to call it silver. It's a silver lined. And then I'm going to do a peyote stitch. So you can see that my previous round silver on the corner here is sticking out. Then the, the next one is kind of in a bit and then the next one is sticking out. So I can do a peyote stitch in there and just go through the next corner bead which is sticking out. Okay, so then I'm doing my corners again, which as I said here, is again a blue and a red. So it was the same as this corner, so it's a blue and a red. So it's a blue and a red. And then I'm going through the next corner bead. Okay. And then I need to pay a T stitch one into the middle. So I pick up a silver, go into the middle, and then pick up the same again. So a blue and a red, because the third side is the same as the other two sides and then a silver in the middle. So that was my third row. Now here, you just need to make sure, because I've come all the way around, you need to step up. So first you need to go through the silver in the previous round, and you need to step up through this first blue one. Okay, so here you're going up through two beads, like that, so you can step up into the next round. Okay. Right, so now we're into the fourth row, okay. So this was my row with three beads, and you'll notice that the third row was three beads, the second row was two beads, the first row was one bead. So that's how you know which row, um, uh, you know, so you can count on the side here, 
that I've currently got a blue bead, a silver bead, and a red bead. So I know that what I've done is the third row. So the next one I need is the fourth row, okay? So if you look at the fourth row, I've got a red bead and another red bead. So I'm only looking at the whole beads because this is only half a bead. So I've got a whole red, another red, a blue, and then a blue, okay? So the first one, this red, is going to be my corner, which corresponds to a blue bead here. So again, first I need to pick up a blue and a red. That's my pair of beads. And then a single, a single red, a single blue, and then my next pair of beads, which is the blue and the red again, okay? So I'm picking up a blue and a red. This might look complicated on the screen, but as, you, as I say, you'll have the printout as well. So that will help with that as well. So now I'm picking up a single red. And then again, you'll see, you can peyote stitch here because you've got the middle bead sticking out and you've got this red in the previous round and the blue. So pick up your red bead and then go through that silver round that you, or silver bead that you added in the previous round. Okay, then you pick up a blue bead. Then you go into the next corner blue bead. Okay, and then you pick up a blue and a red again at the next corner. Okay, and then you repeat on the other two sides because as I said, all three sides are the same. So you pick up a single red and you do a peyote stitch in there. And you pick up a blue into the next corner bead. And then a blue and a red again into the next corner. And then another red. And then when you pick up the next blue, don't forget, you need to step up again. So you need to go through the blue that's in the previous round and the blue um, that you added at the beginning of this round. So you're going through two blue beads there in the corner. Okay. <coughs> and it carries on like that until you finish your entire triangle. Shall I do one more row quickly? So now I know the last row I did, I've got one, two, three, four beads sticking out. So I did row four before, so now I need to do row five. You can also count the rows on the diagonal here. So one, two, three, four, five. My fifth row starts with this silver bead. Okay, so I know where to put my, my zip in this case. So in this row, I've got two silver beads on the corner, and then I've got a blue, a silver, and a red, and then I'm on the corner again, okay? So I start on my corner with two silver beads, Okay, then a blue bead. And most of the designs you will, because you need to make six triangles to make one side of each bag. So by the time you've made a couple of them, you'll be able to see the pattern as you're making it. So you probably won't even need to refer to the pattern, um, especially the, the sort of the simpler designs. Okay, the red, and now I'm at the second corner. So again, I'm picking up two silver beads to turn the corner. Just jiggle your corner beads around a little so they sit sort of side by side instead of end on because that makes your next round a little bit easier. Then I'm picking up a blue and I'm peyote stitching into the next red. Then a silver into the next blue. And then a red. And then I'm at the corner again. So I need my two silver beads. Okay. And then a blue again, and a silver. And then another red, and then again, don't forget to step up here. So you can see where you need to step up. Um, I don't know if you can see that, because if I skip over one bead, I'm in the second last bead. If I want to go into that last bead on the corner, I need to step over two beads. So my peyote stitching doesn't work out here. That's because this is where you need to step up. So you skip over one bead, go into the blue that's sticking out, and you step up through the first um, silver bead. Okay? So you can see my triangle is starting to take shape here. Okay? So you carry on row by row until you get to the end of your triangle. And then on the last row, the only row that's different is your last row. So this is my triangle, which is the full size, <coughs> okay? Except if you look at the pattern, you'll see this side has got one extra row of beads on. So you can see at the top there and at the bottom that this side has got an extra row, okay? So I'm just gonna do that row quickly. Let me 
just <coughs> thread on my needle. Um, whilst you're threading, I tell you what, let's bring the graphics on for the next kit, which okay. is the uh, beautiful orange. Ooh. I love this. So glad you made this piece up. Yeah. <laughs> In the orange. It looks amazing and so different as well on front and reverse. It does, yeah. Um, yeah. Obviously, you can make both sides the same if you only like one of the designs. Uh -huh. um, I just thought I'd get as many designs in there as, as I can. Why not? I like the fact that it's reversible. Yeah. Looks so different, doesn't it, working with the colours? That it does, looks yeah. almost um, Moroccan. It does, yeah. Very Moroccan yeah. vibe. This one isn't finished because Monica's going to use it as a part of her demonstration as well. But bringing the graphics and the price point onto your screens for your masterclass. Um, you can see the components there that you're getting. The zip, which you said you were yep. stickler for the quality. I was, yes. The chain and the three tubes of your seed beads. 19.99. That's amazing. It is, yeah. Amazing. Yep. Back to you. Well, on this last row, all I'm doing now is I'm doing a row exactly the same as I've been doing up until now. The only difference is if you have a look on the corner here, instead of picking up my two corner beads, I've only picked up one bead, okay? Because you want your triangle to have a little bit of a point. And then you're just going to carry on peyote stitching all the way down to the other end. So essentially, your triangles are just um, peyote stitch and an increase at each corner. Okay, so if you know how to do a basic peyote stitch, you should be fine doing your triangles. Um, the hardest part, I suppose, is following the pattern, which is why I wanted to show you how to follow the pattern. And that comes with each of the kits? It does, yes. It does. So... I've got the three different uh, colorway patterns on there um, in the colors that I've used them for the kits. But obviously, you can use any of the patterns for any of the colorways, you know. Um, you don't have to make it up in the color, because if I show you, obviously, I've got this one in the silver and the blue, and then I've got the others in the purple and the orange. Obviously, you can use the purple beads to do the orange design if, um, if that's what you prefer. So, you know, you can just change the colors out if you wanted to from a different kit. So any of the designs, any of the six designs will work with any of the kits. So when I get to the other end, okay, so I've done my PRT stitching, okay, I'm going to put one bead on the corner again, okay, and I'm going to turn back. So instead of my two corner beads, like I've been doing, just one bead at the corner. Now, if this is your first triangle, you're going to leave it like that, take the needle off and put it aside, okay. If it's your second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth triangle, what you're going to do, so ignore most of this and oh, just wow. pretend I've only got one other triangle here, okay? So I've got, this is the side of my triangle that I've just done, which has got the extra row of beads on, this side here, okay? So what you want to do now is when you have, uh, let me show you on this one rather, <clears throat> I'll flip it around. So pretend this first one is my, my only triangle previous one that I've done. So you want to hold it so that your thread is coming out at this end here, and your new thread, which you're going to attach, is coming out on the same side. So both of them here in the middle together, not one on the outside. Okay, now I need to flip it back because this one doesn't have the beads on that side. So this is what you'll end up with. So your thread, your, on this triangle, if you didn't have the others, your thread will be coming out of here. Okay, so just keep that thread aside for now if that was your first triangle, right? So this is how, you, how it would be, like, uh, actually like that. Okay, so you've got your extra row of beads on this side. So then you come along with your second triangle, and what you're going to do is you're going to hold it in the same direction. So I've got my extra row here, okay, and I've got my extra row there, and both of my loose threads are pointing in towards the middle here in the same direction. So then you're going to take your second triangle, this one, and then what you're going to do is you're going to find that little point bead that I put on the corner. You're going to find it on this triangle here, which is a little hard to see because I've got the other ones there, but it's that bead there. Okay, so that's my point bead. And then you'll see there's an in bead, okay? And then you have the first bead that's sticking out. Now, this is on the extra row, which is not on the other sides, okay? So you're going to take your thread and you're going to go through that second sticking out bead. So not the single one that's the point of the triangle. You're going to go onto the, on, into the second one that is sticking out, okay? Then you're going to go into the next one that is sticking out on your second triangle down here, okay? So you're going to go into that one. Now, I haven't pulled the thread tight yet, mostly so you can just see what I'm doing, right? Then you're going to go into the next bead that's sticking out. So you're still peyote stitching, but you're not picking up any extra beads. You're zipping up. So you're going through the bead that's sticking out on that side, then the next bead that's sticking out on this side. 
So the only important bit here is to make sure that they line up, is to know that you've added your corner bead onto there. You're coming out of your first out bead on this second triangle. And on the previous one, you've got your corner bead. You need to start with the first bead that's sticking out on that side, so which is actually the second bead, because the first one is a, an in bead. And that'll make sure that you have your triangles nicely lined up. So when you pull your thread tight, your triangles are joined together seamlessly. And then you're going to carry on just like that all the way to the outside. So you're going to keep zipping up. You can actually go through two beads at a time. So go through, you don't have to, obviously. You can go one at a time. But it's almost like sewing it up. So you go through the out bead on the one side and through the out bead on the other side. Okay, and we'll carry on with that all the way to the other end. Do you want to show the third kit while I do that? Uh, yeah, we can do. Yeah, um, perfect. This is the one that you're actually demonstrating with now, Monica, it isn't is, it? Yes. So um, it's those beautiful forget-me-not blues again, yeah. which matches perfectly with your nails, by the way. <laughs> uh, very popular on, on pre-order, this one, Monica. Oh, all right. It is lovely, isn't it? Well, blue and red, what's not to love? The biggest quantity, thankfully, available. Um, the length of the chain, by the way, uh, you get a metre of that, so yes. it is perfect for the over-the-shoulder. It is, yeah, yeah. Perfect, but if you wanted to shorten it? Of course, you can make it shorter. You can make it sort of like a purse length and just use, uh -huh. I don't know, 20 centimetres of the chain or something like that. You still have enough left for a necklace after that. Yeah, <laughs> precisely. Yeah, exactly. Uh, 19 99 We've got the biggest quantity of this kit. You can see the lovely colours. Oh, the biggest quantity means Ross is going to do something. Oh. Very Jubilee. Is, yes, yes, absolutely. Very Jubilee-esque. If you're doing anything special for the Jubilee, uh, you could make this ahead, couldn't you? <coughs> Should we go lower? Purely based on quantity. No other reason. <laughs> no other reason. Well done. Don't forget you do get the instructions, so it comes on your invoice. Yep. <coughs> Excuse me. It comes along on your invoice, so you can f literally follow exactly what Monica's doing right now. Going lower purely on quantity. Oh, that's very oh low. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. And, and I, I mean, how much of the tubes do you actually use? Um, I have mm, about that much okay, left. So Although I haven't, I haven't finished the side of it yet. So you probably have mm, a bit less than one tube left over at the end. Okay. So uh, it's going to go a long but way But also, then. I mean, 14 .99, If if we split that into the three tubes and say that's five pounds a tube, which is not very much, to be honest with you, then you have the chain and the zip. If you went into a sewing shop or something like that, a YKK zip of that length is probably going to be about three or four pounds. Wow. Yeah. So, um, and the zip, it's the quality of the zip. It is, yeah. Um, I mean, if we have the best seed beads, you've got to have the best zip as well, don't you? Of course, <laughs> absolutely. And can you imagine, though, if you, if, you know, you get those cheap zips that sometimes get oh, caught yeah. and don't. Can you imagine spending all that time making that, uh, yeah. that bag? And then, and the then zip you're struggling breaks. with the zip. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, snap this up. There is a big quantity. So uh, back to you, darling. Right. So now zipped, zipped up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's also zipping, but it's not with the zip. This is just bead zipping. Yeah. So I've zipped up all the way to the end. And then the last sticking out bead I'm going through is on my new triangle is the first one of the pair in the corner. Okay, so I come out through that one. So now my sides are zipped up nice and smoothly. And then I'm going to do, because this corner doesn't have that single bead on it yet. Okay, it's just, uh, you put the single bead on this corner when you started the extra row and you put the single bead on this corner when you finish the extra row. This corner still needs your single bead. So you're going to pick up one bead and you're going to go through that the second corner bead, like that. And that's your, your triangle finish. So now you need to just finish off your thread. So just go through a few beads. And then <clears throat> turn back a couple of times. And then back in the other direction, just to make sure that your thread is really secure. And I like to do that two or three times. So go through a couple more beads. Turn back in the adjacent bead. Then go forward again through a couple more beads before you cut off your thread. Okay, um, where's my thread zapper? So you can take off this thread. Right, now what you're going to do is, remember that first one when I told you to make the first triangle to leave your thread on? So that would be this thread here, which is now coming out of the middle. Um, because uh, that's why I said you need to have the, the, the ends of your threads 
uh, facing the middle of your round. So I'm just going to put a needle on here. Give me a second. <laughs> oh, come on. This is what happens live on air, isn't it, when you can't thread a needle? There we go. Right. So now you need to zip up the last bit. Once you've added all the triangles, just like I showed before, you need to zip up the last section. Uh, so you've got your thread coming out, just like you had before. Only difference is I want to close up this hole in the middle as well. Okay, so I'm going to start my zipping up the same as I did with the other triangles. So my thread is coming out where it should be, hopefully, after I added the extra row and I've turned the corner, so that's where my thread is coming out of. So in my previous triangle, I should have my extra row here if I've zipped up all the other ones correctly. So again, I'm going to go through, I'm going to find the corner bead, which is this one here, and I'm going to go through the next one that is sticking out, okay, towards the outside. You're always going through the outside because that's the direction that you're zipping up in. Okay, then I'm going to go through the next bead that's sticking out on this side. And I'm going to do a few of the beads zipping up. Then I'm going to stop there. Okay, you can finish it and then come back with a separate thread and do the middle section. But I like to do things um, as quickly and easily as I can. <laughs> so you're just going to zip up the first few beads. Then you're going to turn around. So go back up through the bead alongside and follow your beads along. So keep going through your beads until you get back to the middle and you're coming out of one of the, the corner beads. Remember the single corner beads that we've added on? So just make sure you're coming out of one of those, okay? So now I'm going to close up the middle. So in this case, I'm going to use some red beads. So you're going to pick up one red bead. You're going to go through the next corner bead. Pick up another red. Go into the next one. Okay, so I'm going to go through all of those corner beads, adding one bead in between each of them. Okay, then, then I'm going to step up through the first red one that I added. So make sure you go through the last corner bead and you step up into the first red there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, I want to add three more beads into the middle, but obviously I've got six at the moment. Okay, so I'm going to pick up another red and I'm going to go through the next two red beads that I added in the previous round. So go through the next red and the one after that. Okay. And then again, I'm going to pick one up. And I'm going to go through the next two red beads. Okay, pull that tight. And then I'm going to pick up the third one. And I'm going to go through the next two red beads in the middle again. Okay, and then I'm going to step up into the first of this three that I have in the middle. And I'm going to go through those three new beads. You can do it in a different color if you wanted to make it easier to see. So I'm just going through those three middle beads now. You can go through them a couple of times just to tighten it. So when you pull it tight, they all pull in nice and tight in the middle. So now you've closed up that hole there in the middle. Okay, and then you need to make your way back to, to this side again. <clears throat> so just follow your beads along until you get across to that side where you stopped your zipping up. Okay, follow the bead thread path until you get to these beads down here. And then I'm going to carry on zipping up just as I did before. So where's my opening? My opening is here. So I need to carry on until I get to my next sticking out bead. There we go. So that's the last one that I, that I stitched up before. And then I'm going to carry on zipping up as before. So if I want to show you something else while I finish this side zipping up. Okay. Um, we actually have one of your replay kits and another yep. one of your uh, purse, amazing purses. There are only 30 of these though. Um, this is called Pink Princess. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> it's a very good name, I think, for that kit. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. And um, again, comes with downloadable instructions as yeah. well. Love that. Monica, very, it's like a beautiful shell. 
the markings that you get, um, uh, sorry, the patterns that you actually see within. So there is the end result, the piece that you can take. Again, full instructions come with the purchase of your kit. Um, Here. Sorry, can I just say? Yeah. It's not quite full instructions because it's just the, the instructions for making the actual fabric of it. Okay. Um, if Ross can look up the date when this launched, I did um, a demo on how to assemble the whole thing and then and attach it to the uh, clasp as well. So you need to watch Sunday that Sunday the well. 27th. 27th, So okay. make a note of that. Um, sorry, of, of, of February, February, not March. Um, so there are only 30 of these. If you watch that show back with Monica, um, you'll see the assembly. Yeah. Uh, 27th of March. February, sorry, <laughs> I'm making things really confusing. I beg your pardon. So, twenty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence only. As you can see, you get your class. You get the three tubes of your Mayuki. You get one, two, three, four strands of shell pearl. Yes, you do, because you have four different sizes. Yeah. yeah, I love that. And then, of course, the length of chain to create uh, that sort of shoulder strap as well. Yep, absolutely incredible. But be warned, there are only thirty of those available. Um, back to you. Okay, so I'm still finishing up zipping up this side. Sorry, quickly. Monica, I could, have, I could have strung that out a bit <laughs> You could longer. have taken your time a bit, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Next time, just, get, just go, no, well. <laughs> um, i tell you what, I can show you. Um, these are coming up between now and the top of the hour as well. Round, brilliant cut. You get the most amazing pair of Singida Zircons. Oh, well, in fact, let's do it now. Let's do it now, so we're not applying pressure to lovely Monica. <laughs> of course, not zirconia. Please don't misinterpret. Cubic zirconia is man-made. Zircon is the oldest gemstone that exists on the planet, dated back 4.4 uh, billion years. Yes, the same age as our planet. Um, these have been on your screens once previously. They absolutely flew. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, zircon is doubly refractive. That's why you're seeing such amazing amounts of dispersion and fire light enters into a zircon it'll split twice and of course you get more fire more dispersion twice over to that of a diamond incredibly rare incredibly rare the only reason that zircon is not sort of uh, um, marketed in the same way that say diamonds are is quite simply because the world doesn't offer enough it is incredibly rare in fact it's estimated that if it was sold in the same way that diamonds were um, it would be deplete within 12 months. You're getting huge sizes here. £25 per stone. Oh! But we're nowhere near done. One of the other pieces of jewellery that I regularly wear when I'm outside of the studios is my Zircon. Yeah. And it probably gets more comments yeah. than my diamonds do because they outperform diamonds. They're rarer than diamonds. That pure brilliance of white, that's, that's astonishing. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. These are the calibre of stones that would be in, in gold on our sister channel. Three quarters of a carat in each. You, I mean, imagine them in the ear. Imagine these. I don't know if I've got time to do so. I know, Monica, you, seem, you look ready and waiting. It's all right. Imagine one of these in a classic, what size are they? Five and a half millimetres. Wow. We do mounts for that. So I would probably go for a six mil mount. Mm -hmm. um, and then obviously you can always shorten down the actual, uh, shorten down the actual prongs itself. Imagine these. Oh, look at that. In the ear. Yeah, I know. It's actually a, a gemstone that's rarer than that of diamonds. Wow. And it's the presence that you get from Zircon, which I think many occasions surpasses that of a diamond. £10 per stone is frankly ridiculous. In fact, do you want a prime example? Here you go. You know, this is my engagement ring, which I love, 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 of course. I would never part with it in a million, million years. But do you want to see the difference? See what I mean? Wow. Look how pure, brilliant that white is. It's a pure icy white, yeah. more dispersive, more refractive, more brilliance, £10 per stone. I'm going to leave that with you. Back to you, Monica. OK. Right. So I finished zipping up the last of my triangles. I've just got my corner, little corner bead to add here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just tie off this thread, go through a couple of beads, but I'm going to keep this thread. I haven't got much of it left here, but... So you can finish off the thread and then start with a new thread if you wanted to, but I prefer to join thread. So 
I'm just going to tie it off so that it's holding tight here. Okay, and then I'm going to work my way through until I'm coming out of one of the side beads that is sticking out. Because if you have a look at the side, it's like peyote stitch again. So you've got an in bead and an out bead and an in bead and bead. So keep going through until you're coming out of any of the outer, outer beads there. Now we're going to start doing the side. Okay, so if I, look, if I show you this one, so you need to do two <coughs> sides so that you can attach the zip in the middle. Now I've done different patterns on them. So this one I've done vertical stripes. This one, just to make it easier to show you, I've done just a horizontal band in the red. So this one is going to have an all red um, edge to it. So you can do whatever design you want on the side there. And how thick is that band? Mm -hmm. Well, this one is six rows. So I've done six rows on each side here and here. Mm -hmm. um, and then I will explain about the little bit at the bottom in, in a second. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to get started with the side. So as I said before, the edges here are perfectly peyote stitch. Okay. So you're going to start doing just normal peyote stitch. So I'm going to start with the red beads. So you're going to start just doing your ordinary peyote stitch all along the side here. So the only tricky bit is when you get to where the corners are joined together. Okay, so just normal peyote stitch. I'm just gonna jump ahead here because I wanna make sure that I have enough time to show you how to do the zip. So let's have peyote stitched all the way across to here. Let's do a last few Right, so now this is my last normal peyote stitch section here. Now here, I've come to the corners, okay, if you can see that. So I've got, I'm coming out of an out bead, right, then I've got an in bead, and then I've got an out bead, and then I have a corner bead. So what you're going to do is you're going to jump over that in bead, you're going to jump over the next out bead, and you're going to make a bigger jump right into that corner bead, okay. So it's, it's peyote stitch, but it's a little bit strange peyote stitch, because you're jumping over two beads, right into the corner bead, okay? And that is what's gonna pull your sides in um, from the edge, because obviously you need to start building up your sides this way, okay? So I'm gonna pick up a red bead, and instead of going into this next outer bead, I'm gonna go into the corner bead, which is even more out, if that makes sense, just into the one corner bead, okay? And I'm gonna pull that tight, okay? Then I'm gonna pick up one bead, and I'm gonna go into the next corner bead on the next triangle, right? Then I'm going to pick up another bead again. Now this is the, the same thing as we had here, but on the other side of the next triangle. So again, you've got, after your corner bead, you've got one sticking out bead, you've got an in bead, and you want to go into the next sticking out bead, okay? Because there's no space between your corner bead and the first sticking out bead, so you can't fit a bead in there. So you need to jump over these next two beads into the next bead that is sticking out on the other side. Okay, and when you pull that tight, you'll see that it starts to sort of cup a little bit and turn upwards. And then you just carry on again with your normal peyote stitch along the side until you get all the way around back here again, okay? So then the only thing you need to watch is that you step up. So when you get back to here, you're gonna put a bead in there and then a bead in there and you're gonna go through in the previous round, the last silver bead and you're gonna step up into the first red bead and then you're gonna carry on your normal peyote stitch all the way around again. Just be careful when you get to the corners that you might have some space <coughs> in between here because this is, remember, this is where we sort of took a shortcut across the corner. So just make sure, that's why it works really well if you do use a different color, that you just ignore all of the clear beads and just peyote stitch through the red beads. Okay, so even if there's a bigger gap here, Ignore that, just go through a red bead, add a bead, through the next red bead, through the next red bead, and so on and so on, okay? And you're gonna keep carrying on. Now, what you might want to do is, because it's quite a long length, and you might miss where you've come all the way around, once you've got a few red rows, I mean, you can see here, it's gonna be quite hard to see where your step up is. So what you can do is you can take another piece of thread and another color of bead, and just stitch it onto here temporarily where your step up is going to be. So that you know when you've come around, when you get to that bead, that's where your step up is going to be, then you'll be looking for it. Because it's easy to just beat past it and then forget to step up, okay? So you're gonna carry on. So as I said to Al earlier, you're gonna do six rounds, okay, of your red beads to get all the way to the edge. Then you're gonna add your zip. Um, actually, I'm gonna leave this thread and I'm going to use this thread here. So I happen to have one of the blue wildfires that we had on the show a little while ago, uh, which is quite handy because I'm using a blue zip here. 
but you don't absolutely have to. You can use the clear if you wanted to use the clear. Now to add the zip, what you need to do is you need to stitch it along the side like that, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the open end of my zip. Now, what's quite handy is on the zip, you've got a line here, which might be quite hard to see on the camera, but once you get it home, you can see there's a line there. So if you stitch along that line, you'll know that you're stitching straight along your zip. Okay, you can see that really nicely zoomed in. <laughs> so I've got my thread coming out. Actually, I haven't got, because I'm gonna put that thread aside. So I've got a new thread, which I'm gonna start with on the zip. So I'm just gonna stitch into the zip a few times, as if you were actually doing normal sewing. Stitch into the zip a few times to start off your thread and anchor it in your zip. And you're still using the wildfire? I am using the wildfire and I'm using a beading needle here because you still need to go through your beads at the same time as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so once you've anchored it there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start attaching it to my bag. So my Keep, I'm going to start somewhere else because this thread keeps getting in the way. So let me start here. It doesn't matter where you start, really. So now what you want to do to attach your zip is you want to come up through one of the sticking out beads in your peyote on the side of your bag. Okay. Then what you want to do is you want to do a little tiny stitch in your zip on that line, so about the size of a seed bead. Okay. So you just do a little tiny stitch like that. That'll pull it into position. Then you're going to go through your next bead. And now from here on, you can hold your zip in position where it's going to sit. And you need to do that little tiny stitch in between your next two sticking out beads. So can you see just like that? A little stitch in your zip between your two sticking out beads. Then you go through the next bead that's sticking out. Okay, and then you move along and you stay on that line that you've got on your zip. Make another little stitch in between your two sticking out beads. This is basically, it's more sewing than beading, to be honest with you, this section, obviously, because you're stitching a zip in. Again, do a tiny little stitch in your zip, and then through your next bead again. Okay? And you're going to carry on like that until you've secured your whole zip all the way to the end. You don't have to use your whole zip. You can shorten it. Um, I'll explain in a second how you do that. But if you did the whole zip, you carry on all the way up to here, then the easiest way to do it is to just close your zip, uh, make a few stitches, go across to the other side of the zip, and then attach to the other side. Now, you want to make sure that your two sides are lined up. Uh, you can probably see it better on this one. So can you see I've got the corners, because this is obviously, it's not quite round. It's a six-sided shape, right? So you've got the point here, and you've got the point on the other side. So you kind of want to line that up, um, okay? And then you're, gonna, you're going to attach the other side of your zip, to the other side of your purse, right? So if I put that aside, you can see what you have then. So this is what you have. Ignore the chain, because I've attached the chain to this one already. So if I open the zip, you can see what I've got here. So I've got my little zip. I've got my zip attached to both sides, just like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to work your way. Remember this thread that I left on here when I finished the peyote stitching? You're going to take that thread. Or you can start a new thread if it's, if it's easier. And then what you need to do is this section here, which has no zip, because obviously there's no way for that section to close. So that section, you're going to do some more peyote stitching. So you can see I've carried on the, the peyote that was on the side, and I've just increased it. Now, the number of rows you do here depends on exactly how you stitched your beads, your, your zip in. So I can't tell you how many rows you need to do. You just need to do enough rows that it covers the gap between the two sides on this section here. Now this section, the minimum you need to do is to cover the gap in the zip. You can make it longer if you want a shorter zip in there, okay? But you need to make it wide enough so that it reaches across to the other side. And then you're going to zip up this edge, the same as you zipped up your triangle. So it's, it's normal peyote on that edge and on that edge. So you just zip up the two sides, okay? And then one last thing I did was added the chain for which all I did was I used a piece of thread and I stitched a closed jump ring onto there and a closed jump ring onto there. And then I attached some clasps onto my chain. The only thing you've got to watch with the chain is if you look at your bag like that, you can't attach your chain lower than the midpoint on each side. Yes, yeah. Because then it's going to flip over. So you need to attach it a little bit higher up. Oh, that's a good point that I probably wouldn't think of. Yeah, I, I know Amazing. because I've done it before. So. 
<laughs> Monica, you're absolutely incredible. You I hope really that, are. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> uh, get hold of your kit. Make sure you check them out again. Remember, you get the instructions. Yep. Um, and for the previous perch as well, you can uh, first you can watch that back. Now, I just want to talk to you about tomorrow's early bird because truly this weekend, this Easter, is going to be an absolute belter. Um, natural, probably the biggest early bird we've ever done. Natural purple pearls, all of which are wow. half drilled, coming oh up in God. the eight o'clock hour. So we're not letting you have a lie in. <laughs> not letting you have a lie in. Make sure you're with me. Don't forget, free gifts per customer per day. So make sure um, you stay with us. That's today, tomorrow, and so on. Monica, you're incredible. When are you back oh, with us? Next Friday. Next Friday. Lovely. So we haven't got that long to wait. <laughs> Can't wait to see that. You have a wonderful Easter afternoon. We'll see you soon. Bye.